Good morning, everybody. How's everybody today? Welcome back to Art Addicts Monday. Our weekly show, that many of you know. Hey, that rhymes. Awesome. Our weekly show that many of you know is about artwork, diamond painting particularly. I hope everybody had a fabulous weekend. A fabulous, fabulous weekend. I hope everybody had a very safe uh, 4th of July. If you would like to come up, I'll link you the stream yard. As you can see, there are the chipmunks. Good morning, baby babes. Hello, my sweets. <laughs> We have to move the camera a little. <laughs> so as you can see, as I said again, I hope everybody had a wonderful, safe 4th of July. I really do. Um, I hope all my American friends were fortunate to see their families and do fireworks and hang out, do whatever it is they wanted. I'll put that up there for you as well. So there we go. Beautiful fall background for today. Because why not, right? right? So I see that a lot of my YouTube friends, actually there's four right now. Four of my YouTube friends are also live right now. Morning, Joe. What's up? Not much, buddy. How was your 4th of July? <coughs> Not bad. I didn't really do much. Just kind of <coughs> sat here. <coughs> it's kind of hot today, man. It's 90. It's going to be 90. Ew. Nobody wants to deal with that. Yeah. It's a day off, though. So. Oh, good. That's wonderful that you got to take today off. Well, today is normally my day off, and it's a holiday regardless. Oh, I, got to, I got tomorrow off, too, because tomorrow is a holiday observe. You know what? And uh, I was just going to say, because your holiday fell on a weekend, mm -hmm. so you should get the extra day at least. Well, normally, right? when it falls on the weekend, it's the day, like the day prior. But it, this, one's on right. a, this, this one's on a Sunday, and the days observe. You're know, like, the holiday's on a Sunday, but the days observe Monday. So, like, that never really happens when that does. It's a Tuesday. No oh, okay, I get it. Normally, okay. if I get the, if the Monday's off and the holidays on the Monday, then I get the, the Friday off. But right, the holidays, which makes sense. The holiday observes on the Monday, the holidays on the Sunday, so that's why I get the Tuesday after the Friday. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Actually, really confusing. Yeah. Like to work. There's a whole thing if uh yeah. Well, there's th there's 13 holidays. I, I, I think it's 11 or 13 holidays. They just put a new one in there. But like at the beginning of the year, they have a day or a calendar for like every. Like, say your holiday is this day, your new holiday yeah. is this day, so they make it easy for it. But there's a formula for those who want to figure it out, too. Yeah, I uh, I think I told you I got a younger brother that works at uh, Chrysler. <laughs> it's not called that anymore. It's called, uh, it's called Fiat Chrysler, I think. Regardless. Um, Fear the great. Yeah, they, um, this is the only holiday because Canada Day fell on a Thursday. So it screws up. Normally they get a five day weekend, right? A four day weekend. Sorry. No, five, five, four day. Yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. But because of the holiday following on a Thursday, it messed up their whole uh, like, thing. So we had a couple of days last year where it was like, it was Christmas and New Year's. They were on a, oh, okay. Uh, Christmas. I, I don't know if it was last year. It was you know, in the last three, four years. But there was like, like if a Christmas is on a, you know, like a Wednesday or if Christmas is on a Tuesday, they give us a Monday off. You know what I mean? Like that. Cause yeah, sure. Friday, so. That makes sense. And we get we get days off for like uh, days of mourning. So like when a president dies or something. When an ex president. Oh wow. Dies, you know, it's See, not, not too often, but uh, the next, the last yeah. one we had was uh, uh, God, when George W. Bush Senior died. <gasps> yes. 
We got a day off, and then uh, upcoming we'll have probably. I mean, fucking Jimmy Carter's like ninety-seven, so he'll he'll uh, pass away. Soon. Oh, jeez, that's up there. But after that is the uh, the whole group of Clinton and uh, Bush forty-one and Obama, and those guys are gonna be around for a while. So. Oh yeah. Um. So yeah. That see, it's a lot. It's okay. So firstly, your rules are a lot different, just the fact being that we're in two different countries. But the, the rules are also harder for me to, or the things that go for you that are harder for me are the things that you qualify as or the things that you get uh, above and beyond other stuff because you you served, right? Well, so a, lot of, a lot of those, I get, I, get, I just, it's, a lot of, all those days are just because of for the government, the work for the federal government. Oh, that's work. right. And you have a government job. So here the government people, um, they get different days off on top of like other people's days off too. Do you know well, what I mean? In the States, you get, you get the six big days off. New Year's Day, uh, okay. Labor Day, Memorial Day, Labor Day, 4th of July, New Year's, and Chris, or, or Thanksgiving and Christmas. Those are the big six ones. Yeah, that makes they, sense. Then there's like the, the littler holidays are uh, President's Day, Martin Luther yeah. King Senior Day. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to go through the months here. I don't think there's one in March. Hmm. And then um, now Juneteenth, Columbus Day, and I think there's one more. Oh, and Veterans Day. That's that's, that's all of them. Of right course. So those, yeah. those, five ones, those five ones are the minor ones. Wow. And the okay. only one that's on a, the only the only minor one that you do on the day of is Veterans Day. Every other one is observed. Like Columbus Day is like the second Monday oh, of the month. Right. right. Like even like, like even though Martin Luther King's birthday is on a certain day, it's always like the second, the third, third Monday yeah. of the month. Like that. Our Victoria <laughs> Day is like that. It's 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 always on a weekend. So um it's supposed to be around the twenty fourth, but around means around. Like it has to be on a weekend for some bizarre reason. But well, some people, also, some people bitch like, oh, we should have the day off. I'm like, no, just make a long weekend. I mean, it, it makes no sense to not make it a weekend. It does, especially if people like, um, especially here with people uh, with certain stuff opening back up now, people want to go and check their cottages. They want to make sure no one's, you know, because um, they haven't been able to do that. Um, still no fireworks here. I cannot, this will be the first July in my life that I've not heard fireworks on the 1st or the 4th of July. Um, because that's how I got, can I tell you how I got, that's how I got my flag. Um, my next door neighbors were from South Carolina and they were up here because their kid, I don't know why they, oh yeah, for business, he's a computer whiz. Anyway, their kid um, is part of Mensa. He was doing, oh my God, Joe. I'm telling you, this kid is thir was 13 at the time. My dad was in Mensa. It was a, it was a little silly. <laughs> yeah, he was in. He was 13 at the time, and he was going to the U of T here, and he was also taking Harvard uh, summer classes for Harvard. That's that's too much for a little kid like like that. Um, they need well, he loved job. it though. They, they do, they do, but man, those kids they get uh, their emotional growth and their oh, yeah, it doesn't measure up. The race yeah. relationship growth, especially, just doesn't. It just fucks you up totally, man. If you do too much studying when you're young, it's just yeah. a bad question. And you're, and you're like, like I guarantee you now, if you look, look, look on the internet and find like, a, oh, kid graduated at twelve or whatever from college, you go look yeah. now, he's probably fucking, you know, homeless or something because he never got to experience. Yeah. Being a kid, man, it's I don't. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to tell people what to do, but uh, you know, I wouldn't uh, send my kids to school that young. It's just it's counterintuitive, man. I mean, there's, uh, this is about my flag, Joe. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Hi, Ash. Oh, yeah, no problem. You can bring your playpen over. Come on in. <laughs> um, yeah, so Joe, anyway, um, his name's David. And when he went over to, he actually got invited. Uh, he, he got invited to go over to uh, Oxford um, in England. And he went for the weekend so they could they were going to give him a full scholarship of course um to go over there and attend he didn't end up going by the way because uh he didn't want to be over there without his parents at that young age well yeah because he's fucking 12 and he doesn't need to be doing shit like that okay listen 
He brought me back a beautiful Oxford t-shirt from the university. And uh, his parents brought me, had a flag sent up from South, uh, South Dakota. I said South Dakota, South Carolina. Sorry. Um, South Carolina has a sweet ass flag. I'm not going to lie. What's that? I said South Carolina has a sweet flag. I'm not going to lie. Oh really? Oh, they they got me this American flag. So. Oh, I thought it was a South Carolina flag. You said no, South this one on my wall behind me here. Oh, uh, well, if you get a chance, look up and get the South Carolina flag. It's really cool. Okay. It's a. It's a. Uh, I mean, I, I not not a lot of people collect or no, collect or even know about state flags, but in the no. United States, the the uh, South Carolina flag is easily the coolest. It's, it's, it, if it's not the coolest, it's right up there because it's a just a plain blue flag. Well, now I'm gonna look so. They got a palm tree and a crescent moon. It's really cool. Oh. Isn't that cool? South Isn't that cool? Carolina. South Carolina. What state flag? State flag. So for Joey, it would help if I took that out first. <laughs> <laughs> Not Amazon, you twit. Jesus, South Carolina State flag. <laughs> oh, wow. That one's cool, and New Mexico it has is. a really cool one. New Mexico has the second coolest one, I believe, in my opinion. And I'm trying to think of there's another one oh. really cool. Alaska's is really this cool. This one, Joe? Alaska's just a, the Big Dipper. Literally, it's Joe? just the Big Dipper. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I want to show you something. I agree. That's a really pretty fly, actually. I want to show you something. Do, 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 do. Man, Joe, this thing you got me, man. This thing was glowing all night. Look, two days this thing's been going. Nice, nice. Awesome. Well, usually, nice those are, those are, usually what people do with those, they just put them in their yard and you know, when they're done with the they yeah. to I mean, I don't know if they even have batteries. It's for the dollar store. Most people throw it away anyway. No, it doesn't have batteries. <laughs> it's just, no. So I don't know if you've seen this. Hang on. I'm going to show you, though. Do, do, do. I'll be going in two, a couple minutes because we're about to go eat breakfast. So just to let you know. When I say yeah. bye, I'll be going. It literally could be any second now. Just to let you know. Okay, that's okay. Did you see this? Let's see. Oh, nice. That's our provincial flag. Most of your guys' flags got the Union Jack still up in the corner there. Well, yeah, we're still a British uh, thing. Protector or whatever. Why do they still have the... Uh, they go back to that. Why was it $216? Oh, that's just where I looked it up, Joe. I looked oh, it up oh, on oh, Flags oh. Unlimited. Well, yeah, probably. Oh, yeah. Amazon, this, this is the, the one thing to get on Amazon cheaper than anyplace else and easiest is easily... Flags, like any flag in the entire fucking world. I got um, I got two. Like yeah, 16. I got two Union Jacks coming. I thought about getting a different flag, and I was like, Nah, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna Why don't you just it. hang up a bunch that you already have? Well, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to put like a. I like rotating displays, so I don't want to have mm -hmm. a static display. <laughs> so what I'll probably do is like put a. Uh, I don't know. Yet. Put some shelves in here, or something that way I can put shit on the shelf. Sweet, I love that idea. I got a lot of jerseys, like you can see a Tony Gwynn jersey over there. I want to put a yeah, hang, hang some jerseys up too. I don't know yet. We'll see. Yep, I do. I recognize that actually. I like your jerseys because there's lots of uh, different options. And I can also hang up, you know, different shows, t-shirts and whatnot. And, uh, no, that's true. You're right. Um, one more. But I got a lot of crap. I got so much crap to go through. And every I time it seems, it seems like I get more and more and more. And it's like every time I try to do something, it's a giant. Uh, you know, um, I actually I actually have a lot of hats and I used to hang them along in a row on the wall. Oh, I got dude, I got fucking at least 50 hats. Probably. Yeah, probably. I got about that. Probably. They're all I this one. I just bought, just bought this one over the weekend. It's the uh, Lake <laughs> Lake Erie Crushers and their slogan is "Fear, fear the Grape." So, I, so I go to Nikki. I go, I go, I go, "Fear the Grape." Fear I it. love it. It's so weird because it looks cute because it looks like it's a an axe. It looks with like blood. a little. It's cute. Yeah. Right, it's, but it's supposed to be blood, but it's just grapes fall off things, just being cute. <laughs> That's very cute. So, what did you say you have to go do any minute? Sorry. 
Oh, me and Kim are going to get breakfast here in a second. Oh, nice. As soon as she gets dressed, as soon as I hear the door close, I'll be out of here. That's See, a it really might nice. A, it might be an abrupt exit. I might not even say bye. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting used to it between you and Squirrel and Dorito. Yeah, we're, I mean, the, the, the states are opened up now, so we're kind of like doing whatever. So I don't I mean, blame you. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. I would too. They, they try to toot this Delta variant horn of people like, whatever, dude. We're fucking vaccinated. We're not listening to your stupid shit. You, know, you can talk about the Once you get the vaccination, the Delta variant's not a thing anyway. So it's like, why do I even care? Quit, and, here they're saying, and here they're saying something completely different. Oh, exactly. And we have, and, and keep in mind now, the states are the ones with, the United States are the ones who came out with the vaccine. So it's like, you right. know, we, we should know more. And then why, why would Canada act like they're, they're trying to, what, what Trudeau is trying to fucking do here, and, and everybody in Canada knows it, is starting to even permeate the U.S. politics, is he's trying to outthink the U.S. and be like, oh, yeah, let those crazy Americans do whatever. They're going to go get killed. And he's finding out it's not fucking true. You know what I mean? So what's going to happen is, yeah. you know, Canada's going to be a bunch um, of I mentally different idiots while we're out here fucking drinking and having the 4th of July. And I agree with what you're saying, Joe. Totally. It's full summer. But <laughs> I'm just going to have to just wait it yeah, out. I mean, there's, there's really nothing you can do. I mean, you can't. No, you can't. I, no I'm not going to start a civil war. So right, right, right. You can't. I mean, <laughs> I'll just deal with it. That's all. Canada, I can Canada doesn't do. have the uh, the one the one major difference between Canada and the U.S. is the uh, willingness to accept things. You guys just whatever and accept. It. In America, if there's something ridiculous, we will complain until the fucking cows come home. We are we are the the most bitching nation ever. Like we complain about everything. Yeah. Hello, sweetheart. How are you today? Everything. Who's in the chat? Oh, Kate K Cowunder of Arlene Singing Ditto. I, Hello, it, my uh, dear. Oh, she's probably one of Marlon's uh, Marlon's people. Yeah, she has a very interesting channel. She, oh, she's from Taiwan. Is she from she's from Taiwan? Is that what? Yeah. That oh, nice. I heard Taiwan has the cheapest beer ever. It's like fucking eighty cents a beer. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but the thing about Taiwan is it's fucking hot as shit, man. It's really hot. Yeah. It's like fucking. Probably right now it's like 35 degrees Fahrenheit, I bet. Wow. Or sorry, Celsius, I bet. Hello, my friend. Nice to see you. How are you today? I hope you are well. Oh, my God, Joe. I got like friggin' nine things coming from Amazon today. Holy crap. Nice. Wow. Oh, it's funny because you order stuff and something says two months and something says one month and then something says three days and everything gets screwed up. And then all of a sudden you get up in the morning, they say you have nine deliveries today. It's like, what the f mm. craziness, you know, I got three packages coming, but I don't know when they're coming because two are from China. Yeah, then that's my point. I got that. Well, they're, they're like direct from China. I don't, I don't even fuck with the, uh, a lot of times I don't even fuck with the, you know, American distributors. I just go right from China. All right, I'm going to take off. Talk to you guys. Okay, bye. Have a nice breakfast. So how are you, Cup, today? Are you doing well? I hope you're doing well, my friend. What time? It is 10.48 at my, at my time. There's a chipmunk for you. <laughs> in the morning, yes. It is very early. I start at 10.30 usually. So, yes, that is, that is what I do usually, yes. What time is it where you are today? I do not know my times very well. I know what time it is in Korea. I know what time it is in England. And I know what time it is in the west coast of the United States and Canada. Outside of that, I do not know what time it is anywhere. Is morning. Yes, it is morning. Mm-hmm. It is morning here, my friend. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. It is morning here. Mm 
what do you do in Taiwan? Okay, so six hour. Okay. I will remember, no, seven hour. Oh, I think seven. Taiwan. Hmm. Taiwan sounds like nice place. Taiwan, beautiful Taiwan. What is it that you do there, my friend, working here as caregiver? Oh, wonderful. That's a very important job you have. Very, very important job. Do you enjoy your work? Oh, lockdown. Yeah, see, we're Canada's been in lockdown all year. It's, uh, yeah. It is very crazy place. Well, you must stay safe. You must stay safe, my dear. And be very careful and very cautious to be very safe. Ugh. I have had my vaccines, yes. Although I still have a bump in my arm. Yes, you do need lots of patience, yes. Absolutely. It's a very important job, though. I mean, I'm not a caregiver of people, but I'm a caregiver of animals. Does that count? <laughs> Does that count, my friend? I'm just answering a message, my dear. Here we are. Yes, two, two, two doses. All done. Two week of two weeks ago. Two weeks, second shot, two weeks. So very important. Uh, Canada, Canada is getting very, um, very much, um, Canada is getting very much ahead in the, in the vaccinating people. Yes, very, very much so. So, yes, that's very important, my friend. Yes, a little, well, yes, it's, it's, it's harder. It's hard. It's human, much harder, but um, animals, yes, animals can be hard to care for. They can be very hard to care for, my friend. They cannot talk. So they do not know, they do not know, they do not speak. So you don't know, it's very, very hard to figure out what is wrong or what is, um, you know, what is going on with them. You have to just. You have to just try, and you have to just try to figure out what is happening. And try to make things better. Sometimes very, very, very hard, like you say. Very hard. 
But as long as you like your friend while wow, also in Philippines. Oh, okay. I understand. It sounds like a very nice place, though. It is very hard. It is very hot here. Because it is summertime, of course. Do you have any things that you like to do? Do you like to... Oh, you said you're in lockdown, yeah. Um, do you like to go swimming? Do you like to... Go out? We only notice if they feel better. Yes, right. Yes, it's, it's very hard to... Um, it's very, very hard, yes. Very hard, my dears. But as long as you love your job, then, you know, I love my animals very much. Hello, good morning. Please come in, say hello. There we go. Yes, I understand. I understand what you mean. There we go. There's a banner. Good morning. How's everybody? I am well. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, many, many, many lives on today. My goodness. I guess, I guess once I have more people, it's harder when you have more people and then more lives to go to and more places to be. It's very, very hard to um to be at everything you know hopefully i don't know my days i go live are very very thank you hi colin how are you you're more than welcome to come up colin i need a friend on the panel here <laughs> Kyle, you can come up as well if you'd like uh, my 4th of July was okay, Colin. Um, uh, you saw most of it, so I did about an hour live. I guess I figured out that everybody was everywhere else, so I um, jumped on where you saw me, and then that was that. I was off the rest of the day. Mm-hmm. We have about nine things coming. Oh, you're going? Okay, bye-bye, sweetheart. Come back anytime. Yeah, if you're not doing anything, Colin, by all means, come on up and talk to me. Still figuring out if... Uh, still figuring out if Miss... Princess is going to need to go back to the vet. Just really not too sure. You know? I hope you had a wonderful 4th of July. Since you're in the States, you could come and tell me what you guys did. What? How did you end up spending it last night? Or yesterday afternoon? Because I came to that stream... Well, you can come, come. <laughs> Unless you're at work. You might be at work, too. Yeah, I have no idea. But maybe, don't you guys in the States all have the day off today? Because yesterday was the holiday. <laughs> mm 
Yeah. It's weird how that is, isn't it? Yeah. See, it was crazy here because of the... Uh, it was so crazy here. Because of the day off. Um, for Canada Day, that was Thursday. And a lot of people got Thursday off, but then had to go to work Friday. So it was a really bad timing on our, our birthday um, celebration. Well, of course, I, I don't know of anybody here who celebrated Canada Day at all, honestly. There's too much stuff going on here. Yeah, oh, okay, cool. Well, as I said, come jump on if you'd like. We're just doing some artwork. I got a buttload of crap coming from... Um, I got a buttload of crap coming from Amazon today. So, Whew, excuse me. I apologize. Mm-hmm. I still have my flag on the wall, though, as you can see. <laughs> I'll, I'll be leaving it there now. So I'm waiting for my UK flag that's coming because I thought maybe they should be a like there should be a pair of things on my wall, not just one. So that's on its way. So that's all good. NBA playoffs don't start for another day. So I'll be waiting for that. I'm hoping our friend Kevin in Vancouver is doing well because they've got all the wildfires out there. It's a very, very scary time to be anywhere right now, really. From the immense heat. Yes. Joey was here, but he had to go. He's gone out to breakfast with his lovely wife this morning, so that's good. Saw lots of July 4th videos yesterday. Wow, there's so many. Pretty fun, though. It looked pretty fun. You know? <laughs> So I know you told me, I know you told me about the flag on your wall, Colin, but I can't remember what it's from again. It's the really pretty stars and stripes one, except the stars are in a circle, not in uh, lines. And I can't remember what that is from. You told me, but I my memory is not what it used to be. I apologize for that. Some kind of, no, not federal. It can't be a federal flag because you're, you know. I don't exactly remember what it's from. And Amanda, if you come in today, dear, I am working on the wolf. So I hope you get to see that. Because I think that would be good. <laughs> mm -hmm. The chipmunks, they are, um, most of them are asleep, lazy things. I think they sleep a lot more than people realize, you know. I really do think that. Just people are like, I never see them. And I'm like, dude, I never see them. They're always sleeping. They sleep like a die. 13 original. Oh, thank you. Hi, Tyler. How are you today, dear? I hope you had a nice 4th of July, Tyler. I hope you got to do sparklers and fun stuff. You know? I know, Tyler. That's part of life, sweetheart. I think I mentioned that to you yesterday. It's no good that he's dying, but it's part of life, sweetheart.
try to think of the good times you've had together and don't focus on the don't focus on the 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 the, the slowly dying part just think of the good memories and stuff you know that's what i would suggest for you honestly think of the good things don't yeah yeah it's okay you'll you'll be okay you're young you'll be okay i know it hurts i know i've been there i have no grandparents and i now have no parents either so i you it you'll you'll be okay you'll go through this i think it's six stages and eventually it'll you'll be okay you'll you'll be okay I know it's very awful, and I, I know. But, you know, if you ever want to just come in and cheer up, you just come on in, and we'll, cheer, we'll try to cheer you up. I can't promise, but I'll do my best. You know? We'll do our best to pick you up. Just try to think of the good things. Try to think of your good memories. Did you go fishing together? Did you, um, did he teach you something really special? Oh, okay. Well, then if he's on pain, listen, um, Tyler, they wouldn't let him be in pain. You have to believe your mother's right. No, your mother is, is right. They wouldn't let him be on pain. They wouldn't let him, no. They wouldn't let him suffer, Tyler. You have to know that. Your mom is 100% correct. So is there a special memory you have of something that he, oh, he always told funny jokes? <laughs> See, that's the best. Do you remember any of them offhand? Maybe you can share it with us. What's your favorite joke that he ever told you? How about that one? Would you like to share it with us? I would like to hear it. <laughs> I like funny jokes. If you can remember one, that would be really great. I'll give you a second to think of one. How's that? He would say someone peed on your plate every time there was peas on the plate. Ah. <laughs> That's the best kind of humor. That's so funny. <laughs> he sounds like a great guy. Yeah, he sounds like a fabulous guy. That sounds wonderful. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I think that's that's an awesome that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty great. I like him already. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> it's a funny guy. Do you want to know what? Do you want to know what my? Do you want to know what my? Um, <laughs> that was great. Do you want to know what my? Do you want to know what my fondest memory of my grandfather is? I will tell you. When I was a little girl. 
we would go up north and visit my grandparents. And they had a wonderful, uh, they had a wonderful garden. And they had a little gazebo, which is a little outside. It's a little outside place that you go, and it had it had netting on it so that the um, the bugs wouldn't get in. And there was a record player there. And my grandfather used to come out every day with nuts in his, all of his pockets. And he would go outside of the door, and he would whistle and he would shake all of his pockets and all the chipmunks would come running to him and he would go and sit down on the gazebo and they would all climb up and they would all climb on him and they would try to pick through his pockets and take all of the nuts and one and we would love that and i got to pet them and stuff and they loved my grandfather very much and then one time one of the baby chipmunks was leaving le leaving the tent thing the gazebo thing and it jumped on the record player and it jumped on the record player and it kept running it there was no record on it but he ran on the turntable so that it was like this and it was like being on a wheel but it was around like this and it was very 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 funny <laughs> that's what i remember and i was about uh oh geez maybe six years old so that was almost 50 years ago and i still remember that i don't have pictures i wish i had but i don't um it was a different time you know so it was very very nice memories I actually really wanted to buy their house, but it didn't work out that way. But I, I would have loved to have taken that over. Now I have to shut my door because my cat just walked back in. Give me one ah, quick moment here, guys. <laughs> That's a great memory. Oh, I love that memory so much. It's my favorite one. Oh. So yeah, Kitty, what are you doing on her? Hey, what are you doing? Nobody can see you, honey. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, you alright? No, don't go. <laughs> I'm trying to keep you guys on camera and you just keep going away. I know. There you go. I know. I guess I should get you guys out or else I should put it on cat on Chaz, I think. Yeah, what do you think? Hey, what do you think? Oops. Okay, first of all, sorry guys, do not put walnuts in the litter box, you crazy things. I don't know what you're doing. You're crazy. Yes, you are. You're crazy, Chazzy. Chaz. You this nice almond? Oh, you get the jazz. <gasps> he says, oh my goodness, it's so good. Okay, come on, guys. You gotta come up. I got, I got people here, and you're not coming. Come here. Come on, Nana. Come on. Oh, there. Come on, here. Come up here. Here. Go there. Here. Bloop. There you go. Don't be attitudey. Don't be attitudey. There you go. Okay. Be good. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm coming back having trouble keeping them in the picture today they don't seem to want to stay still but that's okay they're animals they never stay still thanks colin oh sorry my favorite memory with my grandfather he would hide eggs around the house on easter mm. what a nice guy that sounds great that sounds like a lot of fun 
He sounds like he loves you very, very much. He sounds like a wonderful man. Sounds like he loves you very, very much, Tyler. Yeah. So try to uh, try to not be sad. I know it's hard, but you know, if he understands what you're saying to him, then when you see him, maybe you should. Maybe you can tell him that that's your favorite memory of him. Let him know that. You know? Try to smile and, you know, try to, uh, I'm sure it, I'm sure it bothers him very much that it upsets you. Um, I'm sure of that. So, maybe try and share the happy times. Maybe that'll make it better for both of you. I don't know. You know, I, I don't have the answers. I wasn't there when my grandfather died, and I wasn't at the funeral because I wasn't in the country. Yeah, I wasn't even in the country when it happened, so. Yeah, I was in Mexico, so, yeah. Boy, did I ever take a lot of heat for that. Although you do have to remember, guys, this isn't a time of no cell phones. Uh, you know, I was on vacation. I, I didn't I didn't know until I got home, and then I'd already missed the funeral. So I took a lot of heat for that. Like, he died very suddenly. I'm sorry that I wasn't here. But... Uh, yeah, I don't think my grandmother ever forgave me for that, actually, but, yeah. Uh, I'm just sad he went through this. He really deserved a way better life. I wish we could help. Well, you know, um, I'm choosing not to go see him because I don't want to... Okay, well, that's your choice as well. Hey, how about this? Um, thank you. Uh, yeah, Colin, I know you. I know. You, I know. Um, Becky or Tyler, sorry. Why don't you? Why don't you write him a note? How about that? Maybe you could write him a little, um, maybe you could write him a little card and put your little memory in the card. Just write it. Make him a something. Make him something he can read from you. How about that? You can do that. That might be something very nice. It'll give you something to do and it'll, it'll, uh, even if he can't read it, maybe someone can read it to him. You know, maybe. Listen, chipmunk noodle heads. You guys got to stay in the frame. I can't keep getting up to change it. Oh, okay. All right, Becky. Or Tyler, sorry. I know it's Tyler, but I see Becky and I say Becky. It's, sorry. I apologize for that. So, yes, I totally get it. I really, really, really do. I understand where you're coming from, and I understand your situation. I wasn't there when my grandmother died either. Five hours, six hour drive away. Nope. It actually wasn't very good. <laughs> so maybe we shouldn't talk about my experience because I don't have good things to tell you. <laughs> um, um, yeah, you know, Becky or Tyler, uh, My mother died when I was seven years old. So if you want to talk about having to deal with something hard, that was pretty hard. And then, of course, I went back to school and all the kids teased me because kids suck. And I had to leave school again. 
It's a very hard time. Kids are so awful. I mean, I don't know how they could tease me. Um, it made me very upset. Hello, Farmer Life. Namaste, my, my Indian friend. Guys, this is Farmer Life from India. Namaste. That is a greeting, I believe. Um, very wonderful person. Very wonderful friend. So, yeah, I just don't know what I'm going to do without him. Well, as I said, Tyler, if I can survive without a mother, you'll be all right. You will be okay. You just got to believe me, kiddo. I've been there. It's okay. Lean on people in your time of... Uh, Lean on others in your time of need. That's what you need to do. Seek. Seek. Uh, seek help and. Um, and friendships. And you will survive. Try to. I told you. Try to think of the good things. Because someday it will happen where. You'll be doing something and, and a memory of him will come flooding back and you'll laugh and you'll think about the happy times. And then instead of being sad, you'll just be thankful for the time you had. If that makes any sense at all, which I hope it does. I don't really have any more better words for you, except that you'll be okay. You're young. You'll be. You'll be fine. Unfortunately, it's part of life. <clears throat> and it'll happen a lot more as you get older. So try to. Try to find a way to cope. And um, just try to find a way to cope, my dear. I know it's hard. I have friends at school, but I don't have their number. Well, you know, I don't know if I'd tell people at school, especially, Hi, Kitty. Hi. Are you going to come leave me, Mom? Come here, so we don't. Come on. Come here, come and see me, Nana. Come on, there's my big girl. Where's my big girl? Hi. Hi, kidders. Kitty, come here, kitty cat. Come on. My cat is here. Hi, Jules. Oh, it's on the stream, baby, but I'll put it up for you guys if you'd like it again. Here you go. Do, 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 do. Hi, Jules. We are trying to help Tyler through. His grandfather is very sick. He is quite upset, understandably. Can you see it? Here, I'll put it in private chat too, guys. There you go. Sometimes for some reason it's not working. It's in the private chat as well, if you'd like to, uh, if, you, if you can't get the link, try there. Okay. I have an awful lot of stuff coming from Amazon today, guys, so this is how it worked out. Here's the wolf, my dear friends. Here we go. It should look better here. I'll show you up a little closer. There we go. So you can see it's coming along beautifully. I must say, Amanda, you have an incredibly good taste. These are be absolutely beautiful pictures. 
Um, these are what Amanda brought bought me for my birthday, guys. So she chose these wolves for me. Yeah. So yeah, anybody who'd like to come up, you're so more than welcome, as you know. What should we do next, Jules? Hmm? What color should we do next, guys? The F? There's a lot of F, too. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? The F? F is color 13. Yeah, come on up, guys. It's, can you see the link or no? It's in the... It's also listed in the private chat, too, if you can see that. All right. I hope you like the beautiful fall colors I chose for everybody today. And we have all right. Mr. Colin. Hey, Janice, how are you doing? I'm well. How are you? Yeah, not too bad at all. Great to see everybody there in the chat as well. Yeah. There's... I've got more and more people that I follow now. I'm trying to get more. Um, I'm trying to take Jules' advice and get out there. And oh, poor Jules. That's okay. You can come on and be sickly. We'll take care of you. <laughs> anyway, I've got. Uh, I when I woke up this morning, Colin. I, there are six other streams running right now. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. Well, you know what? Um, that's okay. And um, uh, because a lot of them are people that I've just started, like I've just met recently. Um, right. I don't know their schedule very well and they don't know mine, but I always go on at 1030 Monday. That's like the one day for sure that I'm here at 1030. So yeah, I got to yeah. do it. I mean, I don't want to start. I don't want to change my routine. No, absolutely. Because everybody's everybody. I'll get tuned in and be timed in and be waiting for you. Right. You know, I'm right. glad I can. I'm glad I could jump on on yeah. today. It's, it's I'm back to work tomorrow. Yeah, I was just talking yeah. to um. I was I think I told you guys if I didn't, I apologize. Joey was here this morning because Joey's always here, and yep. um and he and his wife are have gone out to grab a, a lovely breakfast since they nice. have the yeah they have the day to do that because she's off obviously because of the holidays. So um yeah, of course for the people in the states um yeah. Ka Wonder was here. She's from Taiwan. She was here oh. this morning. Yeah. Um, my friend Josh in Korea was on live this morning, but I missed it. I miss him every time by like right. 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Because when he's on, okay, when he goes on in Korea, it is 13 hours earlier here. Wow, that's crazy. So he goes on at 7 at night. It's 6 a.m. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah wow like I, I i try so hard to make it and i miss it every single week and i'm like ah you know but then he feels the same um not frustration but like not a bad frustration just kind of a ah i really want to support you but i'm never able to when you're on because of our time differences um, yeah that, that time difference is massive it is people mm -hmm. don't People don't get it. It's so hard. Yeah. Um, okay, anyway. Go ahead. Sorry about that. No, no, you're fine. It's funny. Well, he what he does is, and for anybody who's watching, um, he does wonderful vlogs, and he goes to the most beautiful, the most beautiful coffee houses and museums, and just he just it it's like it's like going to Korea without going to Korea. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Like, I told, well, I haven't told Char this, but um, what would, and, and I would say the same to you, actually. If you were still in Ireland, mm -hmm. I would say, hey, Colin, how do you feel about taking out your camera and taking some film footage of Ireland for us? Oh, yeah. No. You know if, I ever go back, if I ever go back, I'll definitely do it. Uh, that, that, yeah, because, I mean, that's the only way I'm ever going to see it is by... Yeah someone else filming it yeah no it's fabulous i love stuff like that and josh um josh is a teacher he's mm -hmm. american but he's a teacher he lives in korea and he's learning korean so oh, wow. he does these shows he does these live streams where he has a program that teaches you korean 
and he runs through it. Like if I really, really wanted to, I could learn how to speak Korean by watching his channel. Like that's cool, right? What if you, what if that's a language you want to learn? That's so cool. Yeah. It's so it's yeah it's a pro it's a it's a program that teaches you the language and every now and again you get it like every little bit you get a test and they give you this test and you have to answer it in it's either in korean and you have to answer it in english or it's in english and you have to translate it to korean and he's I, trying, I, would love, I would love to learn another language you know too. well i know a couple but that's really not the point i would love to learn something really out there like German mm -hmm. or um, or Italian or something Chinese, Japanese, something really bizarre, <laughs> you know. Yeah, um, that'd, that'd be fantastic. You know, but, I uh, I have a few customers. You know, they're yeah. obviously in, in the military. Oh yeah. There's a couple of the guys that uh, they're going through language schools at the moment. They they speak oh, like Arabic. Yeah. You know, uh, and the different Middle Eastern languages, you know? Yes, those and, would be uh, very hard. Yeah. Um, but uh, me, uh, languages wasn't my best thing. That's it's not your cool. forte, is it? Yeah, it's just, yeah. you know, some I people do. are talented in different areas, you know? Yeah. Like, wasn't mine, although, uh, you know, I still would love to learn one. I, sure. I, if, I, if I was going to learn one, apart from learning my old... Uh, uh, ancient language, uh, you know, the Irish language, a Gaelic. Oh, you know, yeah. I, I would learn that, but it's, it's pretty much like Latin. It's kind of... Oh, kinda I don't want to learn Latin. That's hard. But uh, I, I would probably learn Spanish, to be honest with you. Spanish you know? is ex almost exactly like French. It really is. Yeah, they all kind of um, bounce off one another. They're and so similar. And like Italian also, yeah. you know? Yeah. There's, there's, there's so many, you know dialects and the, i know it's so and that's the thing like when even when they say okay so in canada they teach french unfortunately mm -hmm. um i didn't like i, I didn't like okay i want to I, I need to you reiterate what's the word uh i need to say why i'm unhappy with that um number one i don't like being forced to take a language that i don't want to take right um, six years in order to get your high school diploma you had to have six years of french that's ridiculous to me wow. um i don't like being forced to take a language like i would have liked to have had options we didn't have an option it's you take french or you don't get a you don't graduate wow. oh, gee thanks like if they'd have offered spanish if actually you know what if they'd have offered anything i would have taken anything else um mm -hmm. i believe I believe, I'm going to say I again, but I believe that um, Quebec and French Canadians demand far too much from the rest of the country, including forcing us to speak French. Mm. Um, they don't have to take English class. Why do I have to take French class? Uh, please remember this starts in school in like grade four, four or five. So it's a very long time ago. Um, so you end up having to take two languages in high school, but you've already been forced to take four years of it in primary school. Oh, wow. So, yeah. And then when you get to high school, you have to have two language credits, but the only language they offer is French. Well, okay. I suffered through it. Yeah. So you went through, you went through the same system as us in Ireland then, Janice, you know, because yeah. not so much in primary school, you know, right. um, yeah, there was, there was, you know, some languages were, were introduced, you know, mm -hmm. the kids growing up. But then when, when we get into high school for the first three years, yep. you, know, you had the, the choice of uh, I, the Irish language, mm -hmm. then French, and then Spanish. You're so lucky. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that, that, that was in high school. You know, yeah. I, was, I, I never even applied myself. You know, no, now, I know. Now, obviously, as we get older, your mind's different, and of course, you, know, you would. But, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, you, you know, you had French teacher, Spanish teacher, and then you had, you know, a uh, teacher that could speak, uh, you know, uh, the original Irish language. Mm -hmm. but, 
as I say, you know, I, I never applied myself. And that's kind of one of those, you know, one of those things you, you kind of look back on, you go, gosh, I wish I had it. You know what I mean? Yes. I um I ended up going to college at 27 mm -hmm. till 30 because I wasn't, I wasn't going to spend my own money to go to school unless I was sure. Mm-hmm. What? Because I mean, when I went to when I went to college, of course there were all kinds of kids. Their parents were paying for their education. They couldn't give a flying hootie duty about class <laughs> or studying. Or, but you know what? When it's your own money, you sure care a lot more. Right. Um, I maintained. I had. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm, I don't want to. I mean, I also had life experience by then too. But I. I mean, I had a two year old when I went to college too. So I mean. Mm -hmm. a lot of juggling but i did manage to maintain uh president's honor roll every term and which was not an average people think oh that's easy you get nine a couple of 90s and you can float by no you had to have 80 or over every class and i had to take german history which was oh, was really hard <laughs> mm. and um the whole entire class was made up of two 50% exams. So I had to study my rear end off for that. And um, I ended up just getting by with an 82. So I was very lucky. And the 82. second, yeah. 82. Hey, that's not bad. No, it's, it's bad considering the rest of my grades. But when you put, oh like gosh. I said, if you put two whole exam, like the only thing you were marked on was two tests for the whole year. That's tough. Also, that when I took the the second, when I took my second um, history exam, it was my third exam of that day. Mm -hmm. So I had English first, not English, English, but English, um, basically grammar. Yeah. Oh, it was tough, man. And then I also had. Um, current events that was also that day and then I also and then I had German uh, I had my history last and I was so tired of studying I mean I could have done better but I was so tired three exams in one day is too much yeah it's crazy and, uh, but I mean I took criminal law and I got a 98 so there you go that's I only made one mistake on one test all term so not, nothing wrong with that eh? yeah I did well um but now about the French, yes, I did okay. <laughs> but you know what? Out of out of being so angry that I was forced to take it, I tried to forget it as much as I could, and now I can't speak a lick of it now. Oh, really? You, you, well, you, no. Yeah. Well, also too, you have to realize you need to talk. You need to have people you can speak it with. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. So right. how do you? <laughs> You become yeah. out of practice. Yeah, right? no, true, true. Um, you know. There wasn't the inter. You have to realize this is like when I graduated high school. It was like 1980. Uh, I don't know. Really, I before 1990. <laughs> I, I graduated in uh, was it or 90 or 91? Okay. I, I remember being at the end of primary school. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was down to primary school, but I had like a, a period of a couple of months in oh, Pennsylvania. Okay. Pennsylvania. Do you see so, this? Oh, you got out. Yay. I don't know how she got out. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> how did you get out of there? Oh, because I left the door open. <gasps> Mommy's so bad. Oh, my goodness. I'm so high. The Great Escape. Hi, Escapey. <laughs> Udini. Hi, Chatter. You should have put him okay. back in there. <laughs> yeah, she's back. I left the bottom door open. Silly me. Uh. It's all right. Anyway, go ahead. So you okay? So Colin, can I ask? Um, can I ask how old you are? Uh, in September the twenty third, I'll yeah. be I'll be forty seven. Okay. Cool. September twenty third. So that's what two months. Two months time. Because I'm 54, mm -hmm. and uh, we graduated school roughly the same time. Yeah. Now, era. I pissed. Okay, I I did leave school. I will admit, I dropped out. I was stupid. Blah blah blah. 
I did go back. Mm -hmm. I went back and got all my grade 12 classes. That's what I did. So I went back at 25 and got all my grade 12 and graduated. So uh, 24, sorry, 24. I went to night school until I got my diploma. So because by then I appreciated what I had missed and realized, hey, I better get my diploma. I'm never going to get anywhere in life. Yeah. No, so I did. No. <laughs> so that's probably where the difference is for us is because I went back. So right. um, I didn't have the sense. I was too, I was too out of control at the time. Um, having one parent is, makes it really easy to be out of control. Also. I'm the I'm same too. I, you know. Yeah, I just. My mother and father were married, you know, but, you know, they broke when I was like three years old. Yeah. So I grew up my mother. Yep. And then, then I left home at 17. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and I never, I never went back for Sunday no, dinner. me too. Like a lot of people do, you know. I never regretted it now. I regret it, of course, mm -hmm. now. But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, um, I got married at 23, uh, 24, 20. Man, to just after my 24th birthday. Just oh, after. Really? Yeah. So, um, yeah, you know, you look back and you think, oh, you know, maybe I kind of wish I'd have stayed at home and saved some money. No, I wanted out more than anything. I did not want to be there anymore at all. Oh, Can't me either. I, oh, my gosh. I was, you know, as I say, I, I left at 17. But, yep. um, you know, my mother and father had moved on with their lives. I was sure. like, I was like the. Uh, Sorry about that. If it's the right termination, I was like the the black sheep. Yep. You know that's the right. Yeah, that's the right expression. Yeah. Um, I get uh, it. My mother, you know, she she had a son. My father remarried, had three of a family. Right. It was me, you know. Yeah. It's and uh, I'm just looking at the. Uh, the messages coming in there, you know, uh, with, with Tyler, you know, about her grandfather. Yeah, and I yeah. totally, totally can touch base with Tyler, it's, you know, and yeah, it's, so much expression and love that she has for her grandfather because I grew up with my grandfather, yeah, you know, yeah, my, you know, was, was, was with my mother day, you know, they have a 17, but I was with my grandfather all the time. Right. And even, even before I left, uh, Ireland, mm -hmm. it, in 2000, you know, on, they come to the United States on a permanent basis. Mm -hmm. I spent all the time with, with my grandfather. You know, the guys used to think I was weird because, you know, the buddies used to be heading down the town on a Friday or Saturday night, you know. Right. You, you, know, you get the beers in and, you know, do whatever, you know. Like, right. Why is it on the town? I used mm -hmm. to sit with my grandfather. Yeah. You know. I get it. We watch soccer games or, you know, whatever yeah. sports room when, when we had our beers, you know, together. And yeah. he told me all the past, all the history. And I was I was intri intrigued just to sit and listen to him, you know, and I learned. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's there's certain things. And Becky, uh, Becky, sorry, Becky is Tyler's mother. That is Tyler's mother's account that he's on. OK, right. So you see Becky, it's actually Tyler. So okay. anyway. Um, yeah, like, I, 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 I totally, I totally get where he's coming from, but I mean, it, yeah, you got to roll on, you got to try to think of the good things, try to think of the good memories. Yeah, Let's exactly. Focus on the bad right now, because he doesn't like, Tyler, if you're still here, honey, he doesn't want you to be sad for him. He wants you to be okay because he he doesn't need that stress of, of worrying about how you're going to be. I know he's going to worry, okay, but if you just try to already start thinking, like every time you get sad, try to think of one thing that he did or said that made you happy or think about like um, my grandfather used to take me fishing. That's what he, we did. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember that. I don't think about all the other stuff. I think about, I try to focus on a good thing. And then that makes it okay. Now he died when I was probably 20 and I wasn't even here. I was in Mexico. I wasn't even in the country. Right. And you're talking about 87 folks, no cell phones, no computer, like barely any computers unless you were, 
working on some bulky in the office structure that looks like a like a furnace <laughs> right it's like something yeah that's half the size of my room yeah right um, <laughs> so nobody had any way to reach me. Well, I'm sorry. I was in Mexico for two weeks. I don't like I my grandmother never forgave me. And I'm like, what did you what do you want? What do you want me to like? Yeah. What did you want me to do? I didn't know if I'd have known I would have come back, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think she ever forgave me for that. But I mean, like I said, I, there's there's nothing I could like. She's like. Well, you should have been calling home every day, and I'm like, why? Why? Why would I? Why would I do that? Why would I? What? <laughs> yeah, I like I like you say, Janice. You know, back back in those days, you know, even though it's not a million years ago, it's no. still what, 34, 35 years ago. You know, yeah. like I remember being in Pennsylvania, and mm -hmm. I couldn't call my mother back in Ireland, but mm -hmm. I, 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 you know, for the the time I was there. I wrote her a couple of letters. There you go, postcards. I sent postcards. Yeah, but you know, it took took the letters like two or three weeks <laughs> to go across the Atlantic. You're already home, and they're like, "What's this?" And I'd be, yeah. oh, yeah, I said that two and a half weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, they, those um, were the days. Where they were those were the days where they were still taking Polaroid pictures. That's right. Now, from my trip in Mexico, by the way, I did take a one ten. It was a disposable camera, and you got 24 to 26 pictures. I still have the pictures from Mexico, right? But um, I don't know how she, I don't know how I could possibly be blamed for that. Like, I didn't. He wasn't even sick. <laughs> like, so it was. Yeah. It was a sudden. Yeah. Problem. So how am I supposed? So I'm. I'm a 20 year old girl that lives on her own and has been fighting tooth and nail since 17 to survive Amen. because I was stupid yeah. and left too soon. Mm -hmm. um, and because of that, I didn't get any help, which I get. I mean, if you want to go, you're on your own. I, I get it. Um, no, I, I did the same as you. <laughs> yeah. So you know, you have to suffer. It's it, you just have to get through it and eventually it gets easier if you're lucky. Yeah. And, um, and I said, listen, I saved for this vacation. I saved money to go away for two weeks. And the fact that that happened when he was gone. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry. There's nothing I could do about it. You missed his funeral. Well, I didn't know. And the yep. first thing I did call and I got home mm -hmm. and I called my little brother. So my little brother would have been, he's actually, it's his birthday today, guys. Oh. His, his his birthday is one year and four weeks after mine. Wow. So, to the day. So, his birthday's today? Today, yeah. He'll be 50, you know, 53 today. And I just know, turned 54. So it, It's it's funny that you mention that, you know, because, and I don't mean to jump in on what you're... What oh, no, you're, go but ahead. But it's funny you mention it uh, because, you know, I, I, you know, I just said, you know, I, I spent so much time with my grandfather. Mm-hmm. My grandfather, his youngest son, mm -hmm. uh, is exactly two years and two months older than me. <laughs> so, can you imagine we wow. grew up? We grew up like brothers, but you know mm -hmm. what, Janet? Mm. It's it's his birthday today, also. <laughs> his name is Adrian. Adrian That's Cassidy. Crazy. Adrian Cassidy. That is crazy. Yeah, because he's actually yeah. 40, 49 years old today. And yeah. uh, I sent him a message on WhatsApp, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got, I got home and I, of course, called my younger brother because that's the first person I chose to call and say, hey, I'm home safely from Mexico because, you mm -hmm. know, you're worried and plane could have crashed. Who knows, right? I'm always thinking. And he I'm says, crazy. boy, are you in trouble? And I said, I'm sorry. What do you, he says, grandpa died. And I said, oh no, when? And he said, two days after you left. So of course now it's been 12 more days, right? Joey's in the basement, Janice. Hey Joe. Thanks babe. Hi Joe. You've been down here for like 20 minutes, dude. You ain't paying attention to your chat and your oh. followers, Janice. <laughs> your stream, your channel's going to shit. I'm just kidding. I was only there for like a couple minutes. <laughs> We went and had some. Uh, I went and had some eggs and some uh, 
Or me and Kim actually had the same thing. We had eggs, two eggs over medium, bacon, mm. hash browns, and white toast. And I had a, yeah. cup, and had a pop, and it was like fifteen eighty four for the two of us. And I tipped them like seven bucks. That's so, cheap. It is, man. Twenty one bucks with tip is what I paid, and it was a nice tip too. Yeah. That's not bad, Joe. It's awesome. Love, love cool. place. It's, it's a place called Canaries, and it's right by us. And it's uh, the real. It's real good, man. It's a, It's I don't know who owns it, but I think it's a. Uh, I don't think it's like a national chain, but it's like maybe a regional or something. But it's uh, oh, that's good, cool. They got good food. There's not too many places. It's like the old diner style. They don't have too many pl those places around anymore. I like They're, diner style. They really do. New Jersey oh. had them everywhere. When I was living in New Jersey, man, you trip, you fucking fall, th fall, find three diners, man. It's ridiculous. There's a couple here, Joe, but of course they're not open right now. But there right, are right, a couple here. There. Mm -hmm. There's one that serves breakfast all day, every day. Oh yeah. And like if I'm sitting, like sometimes maybe it's a really hot day, I'll go there for dinner and have bacon, eggs, bacon, eggs, toast, hash. I love that stuff. It's well, Kim, so we, don't, we don't want to get up on the weekends. You know, we'll, we'll sleep in a little bit, and then so by the time we get ready, it's like, oh, you want? She always wants breakfast, but like it's you know eleven o'clock yeah. sometimes. So yep, gotta find the right spot because there's this yep. bar called uh, right by the airport. It's called Great Road Tavern, and they okay. uh, they open at nine and they have breakfast at, you know from nine to ten thirty. So oh, I, I, wow. I, like, I like going there sometimes, but the thing I like about that that place is that they'll have wings like at nine o'clock. So if I want wings, oh, that's I can, cool. You know, I can order wings before uh, you know before the lunch rush comes in. So it's kind of cool. So you can order, that. yeah. So you can have whatever. Like this place, honestly, um, this place that serves breakfast all day, they're packed all the time, like mm -hmm. all the time. Oh yeah. Well, um, the, the, model, the model is they, they'll sell a lot of stuff to, or you know, massive stuff to a lot of people instead of just a little bit of stuff to. You know, some people, you know, instead of selling, you know, one twenty one hundred dollar meal to one person, they'll sell five twenty dollar meals to five people, you know. So oh yeah, and it's the turnover is so fast too. Oh yeah, um, you, you can eat breakfast when you're out in a half hour. I mean it's not not oh really yeah, easy. Whereas I think I told coffee. you uh when we go to the keg, I think I told you about the keg yesterday, would they do lobster fest thingy in the summertime there in August, July, August when some when lobster is very um abundant and um I can mm. spend an hour, hour and a half in there easy eating dinner. You've got, oh, you got to have your appetizer, right? Oh, it's so that's lobster. like a $150 meal, right? <laughs> so you would expect it might take a little longer. I like lobster. I like lobster and other things like lobster pizza and lobster. Mm. Meat. Oh, lobster meat's so good. It's really good meat. We oh. don't have a lot of that here, Joe, at all. But maybe it's because... Um, <laughs> Maybe it's because Ontario's not a coastal place. I don't well, like know. here, like here, but there's a place called the Red Lobster here, and uh, yeah, yeah, we don't have we have it, but not near me. Okay, okay. I mean, the closer you go to the coast, the more it is. I mean, like if you go up to Maine and Maine I mean, is all beautiful. the place stuff, all the place stuff is known for. They have it. Like when I drove right. up the coast of Maine, I mean, there was fucking lobster shacks every ten minutes because Dude, they kept that's where I went. <laughs> yeah, no, I I hear you, Joey. You know, it's it's like. You know, years ago, I I had a cousin. He was living in Montauk, at the very the very tip of Long Island. Oh yeah. And mm. I, I remember going up to visit him. And now, you know, before I left Ireland, I I never had any seafood. You know, except you know, cod, oh, fish, fish, you know what I mean. Right. When I got up to Montauk, you know, uh, my cousin, God rest him, he since passed. Um, but uh, he was up there, and uh, you know. And uh, he was living up there and working up there. And uh, my gosh, the seafood. You know, I remember going into a restaurant and the boat pulling up and they were bringing out these big, it was actually tuna. And they were hanging up on that, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the spikes. And the guy was just carving it off. And they were eating it raw. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. yeah, but no, it was amazing. You know, it's a, way, it's, a, it's a way of life up there. I mean, the, the sea is such an abundant food source. It there. is. And we, as as people, as human beings, we've learned to fish to the point where, I mean, if we wanted to drain the entire ocean of fish tomorrow, we could. I mean, we just put nets in there and drag everything out, and it's, it, we were really good at it. But they had that's why they had to, you know, there's laws out there. If you really get into it, it's kind of fascinating. Sure. Like, like about commercial fishing and stuff, they don't let people do it because we're, we're too good at fishing, really. Right. right. What, you know? But yeah, that whole that whole main corridor, man, you just drive up there. It's, uh, it's really nice. Like, I, I drove up all of Route 1, all up the coast. When I was I, in, I was stationed in New Jersey, I drove all. I wanted I wanted to hit all the New England states. And I wanted to hit New Brunswick, so I drove all the way up from New Jersey, Fort Dix, McGuire, up through you know Massachusetts and all that. 
uh, up, up the coast of Maine, you know, stopped in Aiton, Maine, then went up to New Brunswick and, you know, got over there and uh, did that stuff. But, yeah, they, they, uh, the, I'd love to visit Maine. Just, uh, Maine uh, is they, beautiful. Yeah, just, you know, driving through, it's really pretty up here. Yeah, I'd, I'd like, to, uh, like to visit Maine myself, you know. Maine is freaking awesome. <laughs> Okay, I went for two days. We went for a weekend, but you know what? It was oh my god. We had this. We were sitting at this place, and it was like a, what Joey was saying. It was like they had these big fire pits with these big pots, and they were just boiling lobsters left, right, and center. And you just put oh, and garlic butter, and you had this bib, Ooh. and you just, there was just oh my god, it was so freaking good. <laughs> I still remember that. I was like, oh no, I'm not, I'm not. Oh my god. It was so delicious, and I got to see Stephen King's house, so it was a fun weekend. Nice. Oh, you can yeah. talk about talk too, yeah. man. Back in that same trip in 08, not that, not that same exact trip, but I would just take trips on the weekends. I drove the whole island to go see Montauk. This is back in 08 when gas yeah, prices <laughs> were like, you know, expensive as shit, man. The, the, the further you got out on the island, yeah. by the time you got to Montauk, it was like five bucks a gallon for gas. It was insane. Mm -hmm. But there's this movie called, uh, you, if, you, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It has... Kate Winslet and uh -huh. and Jim Carrey in it is called Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yeah. In the, in the movie, if you haven't seen the movie, the plot of it is uh, Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet were dating. And there's mm -hmm. a there's a service where they can erase your memory, and uh -huh. they, they, erase, they erase one of the memories. But it's all about them trying to, you know, get back to the connect again without the memory. It's really, it's a fucking mind change. It's one of Jim Carrey's wow. best movies. It's really good. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's I really have not good. seen that, but I love Jim Carrey anything. But, and one, so. of the, and one, one of the lines is, he goes, meet me in Montauk. And then uh, they show the train station. So I drove all the way out there to see the train station, took pics out there. Oh, sweet. The Long Island Expressway, the Long Island Railway goes all the way out to the end of Montauk. And that's what he takes oh, out. Movie, he takes it out there. It's really cool. You can see all the places they filmed it. That's, why, that's the reason I went out there. You know what? I never realized how long Long Island was until, <laughs> until I drove to Montauk <laughs> from Virginia, Northern Virginia. Dude, what was drive all Long Island is about five hours, I think. Isn't it? Four, it's five long, hours. Man. It's, it's like know, it, seemed, it seemed like forever. Well, it's, it's, only, it's only two days going, going the whole way. And uh, there's a lot of rich houses there, too, so it's a lot of traffic and shit. So it's... Uh, it's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah that, that's yeah, actually in the Hamptons, all the rest of it. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah. That, if you ever, James, if you ever hear about the Hamptons, that's where it is, all Long Island. Man. That's where all that the New York Hamptons, money. I know lots about the Hamptons. I've never oh. been, but you hear about it all the time. All that New York money, man. All those stars, yep. they all buy their uh, vacation yep. houses out there. Yeah. The, the owner of uh, one of the cosmetic firms, I think it's Estee Lauder, has the biggest property out there. It's like 60 acres. It's insane, man. Jesus, man. 60 that's acres of Hamptons. Fucking millions, dude. Eternal um, Sunset. What's the title? Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It's actually, I've seen part of it and then I got interrupted, but I'll finish watching it. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Okay. I'm just writing it. It's quite down. a title, too. It's, it's, it's such a good movie, man. Because it, it, it didn't really get much pub. And the first time I saw no. it was on a, uh, air, I was on a flight. To, I was going to Korea and I was fucking half lit. Oh. I saw it. I wow. saw it because when you fly overseas, you get free drinks. So I was uh, telling the waitress bring as many beers as they could, and I was watching. Sure. The movie. And that movie, when you're when you're like half groggy drinking beers in an international flight, that movie really, really <laughs> sticks with you. And then you know, I watched it again and again afterwards. It's just such a good movie, man. Oh. Is it a comedy? No, it's it's a uh, it's not a comedy. I mean, there's there's funny parts in it, but it's it's like right. a it's like a dry comedy kind of a little bit. But it's not really yeah. funny. It's more of a uh, more of a mind fuck. But it's not really a uh, Sadistic mind fuck is more of a. I'm trying to think of a good comparison movie. Like, um, I'll check it out because I love. Yeah, yeah, I you got Yeah, you watch, I watch, 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 watch and uh, I love Kate Winslet as well. Oh, Kate Winslet's Kate Winslet's so good. She has an American accent too. She doesn't do an English accent. <laughs> That's it's, so uh, oh, it's such a good movie, man. Kate, what, Kate Winslet's one of the she most was underrated good. actresses. She's one of the yeah. most underrated actresses of our generation. She really I think is so powerful. too. She is she so good. Cool. She is she so, is so cool. beautiful. Back, yes. you know. Oh, back in the other day as well, oh. she was, you know, she, you know, she would was one of the girls that obviously, you know, what I mean, but she was an actor, but one of the the ones I would have looked at and says, "Wow, what a beautiful woman." Yeah, so, you know, so, so you don't know a lot of stuff with uh, what do you call what do you call that English actor? Uh, the guy that was caught caught in the back of the car. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Janice. Oh yeah. Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. Oh yeah. 
Okay. What was that? Was it Notting Hill or? Notting Hill. Yeah, I remember Notting Hill. Well, I thought Notting Hill was uh, Julia Roberts, wasn't it? That was, yeah, Julia, was Roberts. Julia Roberts. No, you're right. You're right, Julie. No, there was another <laughs> one. I can't remember the name yet. But uh, Love Actually, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I need, I need to do uh, pull up the Google. I'm looking up Hugh Grant's uh, IMDb right now, so I'm going to try to find a share. Let's see. Are you talking about... Uh, okay, I don't know. It was I don't run. I don't know. Um, Hugh Grant. Yeah, he's okay. I mean... He's, he's a great actor, actually. Dude, do you remember, uh, Colin, I know you remember when, uh, you remember when he, Hugh Grant went to... I think he got a prostitute or something. Yeah. You know, it was like the next, light, the next, it was like the next light night on Jay Leno. Jay Leno looks at him and goes, what were you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Des Desiree Washington. That was uh, Mike Tyson, I thought. Wasn't that Mike Tyson? Was that, was that Tyson? Yeah, Desiree Washington was the girl who Tyson, or the girl Tyson did stuff with, I guess. Right, right. <laughs> no, but I remember Hugh Grant was caught in the back of a car. We uh, we had prostitute, and at that time he was, he was, uh, <laughs> he was dating uh, one of the supermodels. Uh, was it Helena Christensen? It was that was twenty years ago. Oh, fuck, yeah, I know. Would ever I make you do that when you're dating a supermodel? Wake no, it's up, about, it's, dude! It's about, it's about variety, and it's about when you're drunk, you want variety. It's uh, I mean, it's a you you're not a guy, you don't get it. You know, it's uh, I don't know. And the, and the supermodel was probably annoying. She probably wanted to, you know, go out to eat all these stupid places. Didn't want to do what she wanted to do. There's there's yeah, maybe. Like, he created a life for himself to where he could do whatever the fuck he wanted, and he was That's doing true. just that, you know? That's true. <laughs> so I want to tell you about the best. I want it other than me. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you about the best seafood I ever had. Mm -hmm. And it was in Clearwater Beach, Florida. And it was swordfish. Mm. Swordfish is good. Have you ever it had a. Was, Oh my God, dude! It was caught that day. Was and it like it, a steak? Was it a steak, a swordfish steak? Yeah, or? and it oh. and you just all you had to do was like take your fork and it just it just it just like split apart. It was like, oh my God! It was so freaking good, and that was probably forty five years ago, and I still remember the taste of that food. Nice. It was. So good. It was so just, fresh. Like you couldn't have gotten it any fresher. Just oh, like oh, oh. Dude, in, Bal in Baltimore, you go, uh, there's a lot of places because they're known for the crab cakes. And I love crab cakes. So you can mm -hmm. get them. They, they do them right there. There's a place. They got places. They got barges, like a boat, a boat restaurant. They just float through. You just go there and eat the Get crab the cakes. Hell out. Oh, yeah. I love crab cakes, Joey. Oh, yum, Baltimore's, yum, yum, a, Baltimore's yum. a good area, but you got to be careful in Baltimore because if you're going on one more wrong street, you're going to be in a very bad area. Very I got bad. Lost in Detroit. <laughs> 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 we had to, our work training academies in Baltimore. So, like, for when I had to go for my first job, I had to go to Baltimore for six weeks. Hello, and, beautiful ladies. Hey, Jules. And there was a McDonald's. Yo. From our hotel, there was a McDonald's about two blocks uh, east of where we were staying. Uh -huh. and, uh, and that place was so ghetto. It was the worst ghetto McDonald's I've ever seen in my life. Like, there were <laughs> going around the lobby, and we, we, we took one look and we left. When I when we went back in 2017, that place has been torn down. That's how bad it was. McDonald's just tore uh, <laughs> Miss Jules. Jules, what's going on? How are you feeling? How are you, how's your, your, your injury? I'm not feeling so great. Uh, Aww, it's so, it's so, so. It's definitely Do you have any ginger ale, Jules? No, I'm drinking um, lemonade that I made. Country time lemonade. I put some of this in there. Oh, Two okay, packets. cool. Yeah, I my okay. my daughter has had it for a couple of days, and now I've got wow. it. It's so, do you were just in Maine? Mm, yeah, I was. Did Beautiful. you have any seafood while you were there? We never did. <gasps> We're, we were crime. trying to save money. We were trying not to spend too much money. I understand. I understand. Hey, Tyra. That is, um, hey, Becky. Oh, That's um, Tyler. Becky. Um, guys, Tyler's having a little bit of a rough time because his grandfather is dying. And he's, hi, Tyler. He needs a little bit of uh, cheering up. So we were telling stories today about our favorite memories of our grandparents. So if you mm -hmm. have one, Jules, by all means, go ahead and share. Um, Tyler, I'm just going to tell you 
uh, I'm going to give you a suggestion, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. If your grandfather is still sound of mind, record him. Let, let, have him tell you some stories and video, you know, like get your phone out. Tyler will not go you and will, see him. You will be happy you did that, huh? Tyler will not go and see him because he does not want to remember him this way. Well, my... My nephew, mm -hmm. a couple years before my dad passed, yep. sat my dad down and asked him to tell stories, asked him questions like he was in, in he was interviewing him, like he was on a show or something. That's kind of like what Joey does, you know. Right. And he recorded it, and now I have that in here. Awesome. That's kind of cool. And when I'm missing my dad, I can just go click. And I can hear his voice, and I can see him. That's kind of cool. Gotta I can hang on to that, and it always will it. be with me. Because you know, Tyler, you can always. Oh, he can't talk. Once they're um, gone, they're gone. Well, you know? that's, well, we got. I oh, tell Jules, tell Jules your joke that he used. She said, um, Tyler said. His grandfather always used to tell him jokes because he's funny, and I asked him to tell us a joke. So, can you tell Jules your joke again? I don't want to spoil it. So, oh. you know, I, I, I would say, I, I would say, say, Tyler, you know, if if you can if you can muster it up inside yourself, you know, he might not be able to talk, um, but he can listen. And if you can muster it up inside yourself. Just go and whisper in his ear, and I'm sure, I'm sure he, he, he hopefully he, he, he might be able to squeeze your hand, and uh, yeah, people can you can just your eyes. Yeah, because, exactly. Yeah, we uh, we don't want to discuss how old Tyler is because it's irrelevant. But I've told I told him my my best grandfather's story. My grandfather used to take me fishing. And he used to stand outside the house by the garden. And he was probably about six foot seven, my grandfather. He was freaking huge. And um, he would put he would put shelled peanuts in all of his pockets, Jules. And he would whistle. And like six chipmunks would come running. Wow. And, I know, right? And then one time they were leaving the little gazebo thingy. And one of the babies, um, there was no record player. There was no record on it. But one of the babies landed on the record player and was running in a circle and it was turning the turntable and I thought that was the best thing ever. That's I really a child. So here, here, Jules. So my grandfather would always say someone peed on your plate every time we had peas. <laughs> <laughs> that's cute. Well, that, that's a great sense of humor. That I love, That's a great thing. Nobody ever said that. Get something to do with peas and take it to him. There you go, Tyler. There you go. That's good. Yeah, I don't know if he can handle. You can get him like, I don't know, a hat if he can wear a hat for five minutes at all. But you could get matching hats that say, you know, two peas from the same pod or something like that. Yeah. And you guys could take a picture together. Yeah. You can have the optimal or what you want. You may be in the hospital. But there, this is something that you could look back on. And it could be a cherished memory. I yeah, know you don't want to, but yeah. Jules, try to so focus on the good times just like that. Your jokes, was, write them down. I was in Mexico, Jules, when my grandfather died. And, and I, I'm talking I heard this story. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking to Colin saying, look, like, I, d unless I phoned home every day, I would not have known. And why would I do that? Right. I'm on I, I didn't get to say goodbye to my dad either. So right. I mean, I hear you there. Do right. so you get it? It just happened. Yeah. And yeah. you're not prepared. Well, she held it against me forever. She well, left me out I of her will, guys, like by the way. Did you know that? That happens. Because, that? I missed, because I missed my grandfather's funeral, she wrote me out of her will. Oh, my God. That's yeah, so she was petty. Pissed. She was really pissed. That is so petty. Ah, well, whatever. It's petty and stupid. And if we ever meet again, I'll be sure and bring that up. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so what? What do you do? You know, it's it's it's, it's life. It's a, uh, it's uh, the old Elton John song, uh, yep. the, the circle of life. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, that's from The Lion King, right? Yeah. 
Uh, yep, not, I know it. Not, not a massive Elton John fan, but no. you know, but I love some of his songs. Sure. That, that doesn't sound contradictory, yeah. but um, but no, it's same same as myself, you know. And I'll just I'll just share with Tyler. Tyler's back on there, you know. You know, I'm 21 years in Virginia. And I talked earlier about spending so much time, quality time, with my grandfather. Mm -hmm. But he he had uh, bladder cancer. Oh, that's nice. Uh, you know, and then you know he 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 died. But I, I never got to go to his funeral. You know, I never you know got to participate or anything like that. But I missed my mother's. I yeah, missed my mother too. Now. And you know what, Jules? The same thing's probably going to happen to me. You know, my mother and father are here up, up, in, up in years. I went to my father's. My my family made sure that I was able to go. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice, I guess. I had to fly across the country. It was a rough trip on me. Obviously. And when I got back, I had jet lag, and I fell asleep at my desk, and my boss fired me. Oh, great. <laughs> right after my wow. day. Yeah, people, are, um, people are mean. Jules. That's the only job I've ever been fired from, and I am wow. almost seven years old. I was. I gotta appalled. tell you, Jules. Honestly, um, I don't think I could. I don't think I. I could stay at a company that would even want to fire me for yeah. putting my life first. She was threatened by me because whenever I wasn't there, and I missed work because of my health issues, but I was caught up. Right. So when I wasn't there, if there was something that she needed to cover for me, she couldn't do it. She didn't know how. Yeah, well, you made know her what? feel inadequate. Mm -hmm. You know what I say, Jules? Good riddance to that job. They don't deserve exactly. it. The, the there lack, of, the lack of compassion. Loss, not yours. Exactly, Janice. The so, lack of yep. compassion is quite evident. So uh, good luck to them. Yeah, bad, too bad. bad. You got, they get exactly what they deserved. Yeah, exactly. You know, so, I, hate this, I hate this old saying, but, you know, it's true unless you change your ways. Yep. What goes around comes around, right? It does. Yeah, karma is what you put out there is what will come back. <laughs> what are we talking yeah. about? So Tyler, Unless you have a great idea. We have are a great idea for about, Tyler. We are talking about not happy things, so maybe we should cheer up the conversation. <laughs> so, Joey, who is your guest this week? That will be fun. Shadow Stevens. It's a Thursday night this week. All right. Oh, you're doing it Thursday. Yeah, we'll probably still do a Friday show, but Shadow only could do, he couldn't do Friday. So I, I said Thursday at 8, and he said, okay, that worked. So we're going to do okay, uh, that's live, cool. live Thursday at 8. Who? Ch Shadow? Yeah, Shadow Stevens make from the sure Hollywood you, Bridge, yeah. uh, Make oh. sure you get that thumbnail out there, Joe, so we can put a reminder up. Yeah, he's uh, he's 75. So, and he said, yeah, he's uh, he seems to be a uh, nice guy. So we'll see. I haven't talked oh. to him. I just emailed him. So That's cool. And then on the 16th, I don't know who's going to come up on the ninth. We might just do a just a round table with the guys. But on the sixteenth, we have uh, there's this band, Don, one of the guys in the show. His daughter is uh, like eighteen, but she knows we were talking local about band. that. Yeah. She knows, knows this local band in Cleveland, and they're going to come in studio. They're younger kids; they're like a boy band or whatever. But they're going to cool. come. Up, they're going to come in studio, and we're going to bullshit with those guys and see what they're about. So, that's are they going to play? I don't know or not. I'm probably not going to have them play just because. And maybe they can do an, maybe they can do an acapella. Yeah, just do a singer or something. Yeah, singing or something yeah. like that. But, but in terms of like hauling all the kind of instruments into this tiny garage, it's not going to happen. I know, but we'd like to at least hear them sing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have them sing. For if sure. they're a band, I want to hear their music. There's four of them. They got they got really crazy names like Slad and uh, I got I was chatting with uh, Don's kid. Cause the one I, I said, I said, guys are gonna be ready to smoke, right? I don't want to come into the show, and you know they're. And she's yeah, the one guy smokes, so he'll uh, he'll hook it up. Let me. What the fuck was that, guys? I gotta I gotta find their names here. Okay. Uh, oh, Vince Raz, <laughs> Raz all over there. Slan S L A N. So Vince Raz and Slan. There's another guy came here. So there's four of them. Wow. Okay. So who knows? There's my. Might be the next, next, next Backstreet Boys. Who knows? Hey, you Maybe. never know. You never know. <laughs> Vince, Vince, yeah, Vince makes me think of Vince Neal, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's next Friday, Joe. That is on the sixteenth. <clears throat> yeah, next, next Friday is uh, well, ne well, next Thursday is obviously Shadow, like we just said. Yeah. 
I don't know what we're gonna do for next uh, next Friday. I'll still, I might just have because uh, Mayo's not doing a show. I might just have him come out and we'll just bullshit oh, like that. Geez. Somebody. Oh, Mayo got that. He doesn't know you guys, but he. Uh, well, he's a comedian, obviously, but he got some news. He might be opening for Marlon Wayans for. Uh, you know, Marlon Wayans is the used to be on. Anime oh yeah, Club. I love the Wayans brothers. They're all hilarious. And there's another guy called Bert Kreishner. I don't know if you've seen him. He's a comic who performs with the shirt off. He might be open for him, too. So we'll uh, we'll see. Good news for Mayo. Man. He's moving up, man. Mayo's, uh, you, you've been sleeping. In five years, you might be listening and be like, oh, yeah, I was on Joe's show, and Joe knows him. He's, he's, he's making serious moves, man. He's uh, That's cool. I like that. He's killing it. Hell, yeah. He's younger. I'd like you to see you get some up-and-coming uh, future whatever. Oh, yeah. That's probably the way the way... I mean, honestly, that's, eventually, that's the way I wanted it to go. I mean, I want to... Of course. You know, people to come to me with, hey, yo, yo, I'm going to be on the show. Because if they, you know, like, say this band comes to the show, say 30 of their followers watch, that's 30 new subs. You know, that's still where sure, yeah, no, yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah. I, th I think you're gaining you're gaining speed, for sure. I think... Yeah. Uh, it's, oh, that, that, Buff, that Buff Bagwell interview gave me a lot of pop, man. That was a nice interview. Yeah, he was awesome. I got so many watch hours out of that too, man. I got like 150 watch hours off there. Whoa, Joe, <laughs> that's awesome. That's insane. Yo, and to put Joey. it and to put it to put it into comparison, like for the last week's interview, I only got like 25 watch hours. So I got like the what the buff is five times more popular than most of my interviews. You know what though? Wait, Joe, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm just gonna tell you about I'm just gonna tell you from my experience on my lives, okay? And I know they're totally different. We have different stuff, but um, I might have a, I might have a, a live and then like, this is what I'm saying for you. That 150 look in a month, it's going to be like 250. You'll see. Oh, It'll yeah, just yeah. keep gaining. People will watch it afterwards because they'll be like, oh shit, I know. Oh man, a three hour interview, man, I gotta watch this. Well, after a while yeah. too, the, uh, the algorithm steps it up. I mean, we're, we're, my, we're, our, channels, we're our channel struggles that we don't really have a niche. I mean, you have a pet niche, but. Yeah. I mean, you're, you you don't you do other shit too, so it's not like you're just yeah. pets. You know what I mean, so no, I don't want to be one thing. I right, don't, and, uh, and then at the end of the day, we we chose that life. It's a slower yeah. growth process. However, right. it's it's better for us internally because we get to do what we want instead of you know like if yeah. you were just a you know if, if you were just an art channel or I was just a you know wrestling channel or just a football channel or something. You it's know, too really limited for me. But, right, right. It would limit you, yeah. and you'd feel like it was a job. It wouldn't be like uh, it wouldn't be fun. Yeah, you know? it wouldn't be fun. I like getting to do fun stuff. Yeah, you got to be diverse. You like know, like, whatever I want to do, I want to do. I don't yeah, absolutely. You know? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, at the end of the day, we are the stars. You know? Although. Yeah. Hey. You got to think like a rock star if you want to be a rock I star. I do not it, wish right? to interview people. That will that, never be something I'll do. I well, that's, just not, that's not your channel. You're not an interview. No. That's, uh, that's not how you are. Right, and I won't do reactions. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not doing them. I, I won't either. I mean, I'm not. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I can't. I can't sit there and. I mean, I, mean, I could, could. I sit there and watch a performance? Yeah, but I'm not gonna sit there and watch a performance and try to get like. Oh, this is no. All my views off of that, you know, shit like that. It's ridiculous. Why does anybody care what I think? I mean, <laughs> I don't care I mean, what. All I the think. reaction stuff where you know, AB and fucking Squirrel and all them are getting pop is that. You know, a lot of people like seeing how other people react to their cultures. What that is, I like, guess, but I just like I, no, just no not for me. And react. No, like if, uh, like, say you were an Indian person, for example. I'm just using India yep. as a country. It could be sure. Pakistan, it could be Mongolia, whatever. But if you're if you're a Pakistani or an Indian, you're sitting there, you know, in a, in a cool American sitting there laughing at, you know, the, the top Pakistani comedian or whatever. You're gonna you're gonna be like, okay, that's kind of funny. I want to watch that. That's the appeal of the reaction channels. I mean, at the end of the day. I, the YouTube is a YouTube is a micro, uh, di microcosm of society. I mean, YouTube is a very lowest common denominator kind of thing. Like the shit that's going to get the most views is the oh, the, here's what happens next, and the reaction shit, and the you know, just because I mean that's that's the nature of the business. You know what I mean? I will not change. I will not do something I don't want to do just for views. I will not do it. I can't. Well, no, no. Well, you have fun with it and go from there. I mean. I, you have to. I mean, if you're sitting there a month, months on end, and there's no new subs coming in, okay, yeah, you might have to change your product a little bit. But we're still growing at a, in a yeah. decent pace. One to two to three subs a day is about what you're looking for at this uh, growing level. You know what I mean? If yeah. you gave me, it goes viral. I mean, it's just, you know, how it is. Um. Yeah, just be yourself. You know what I mean? And, 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 and to be honest, every new YouTuber is, is is like us. I mean, they all do. Oh, I'm just gonna do whatever. You know, and that's not the best way to grow. I mean, YouTube right. does not classify your shit. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. If you want to grow, we were just better, talking about that, Joe. I had when I signed on today. There were six total live lives on when I signed on today. Six. Mm -hmm. And I said to Colin, I said, you know, I I wish I could be there, but I'm always on Monday at 1030. I'm not going to change it. Right. Even right. if I have 60 people that are live on a Monday, I have well, to do. Me and Squirrel will talk about this all the time, too. It's like, don't ever base your YouTube schedule around right. you know, other people. Okay. It's, your, it's your channel. Like, if you've got good right. shit. You know, people will come to you. I mean, obviously, if you know, if your friend has, you know, if, if you have a sixty percent mutual audience with some friend and they have a giant guest, it's probably not the best idea to put up your show. Probably not. You know what I mean? Right. So you have to be still somewhat cognizant of your friends. But I mean, at the end of the day, just fucking put your shit up and just roll with it. I mean, if you're good, you're good, and people are gonna listen to you. If you're not mm -hmm. good, yeah. You know, I it. um, I would never go up against you on a Friday night. I just that's where I am. That's where I'm at on Friday night. Well, when, well me and you are kind of intertwined at this point. We sure. Yeah, well, that's true off. too. But I still yeah. didn't do it before either. Oh yeah, and yeah. Well, like, one time, one time Lep was up and he's like, "You might." I was like, "Dude, fucking your channel, go on." I mean, at the end of the day, my shit, my shit has more. You know, the, the the live streams. You know, people watch them there. I try to get replay value on it. Sometimes it that works. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Um, just watching another month, Joey. I bet you you'll double that 150 on that. It probably will. Yeah, we'll it probably will. It might even be I know. I haven't checked it. In, uh, I don't think I checked it today. Let me see what it is now. You it's should good. check it because I'm telling check it once a week. Now, if if Buff yeah. actually got signed down with WWE or one of the major promotions, it might even go more than that because I think right now he's like technically That's a, true. Because it'll uh, always pop up when, when he his name is searched. That'll come up. So... That's pretty cool for you. I would admit. Hell yeah. Um, it's at 161.2 right now. Nice. 456. See? That's nice. Look at that already. Just like that. Boof. Oh, yeah. Not everybody can go three hours, though. I mean, if, if I had these kind of numbers every week, I'd be monetized already. I mean, that's a. Yeah, I see. I think that too, but. Because you need like 325 hours every 28 days. And so that's the, to get uh, to, to average out. It's like 75 hours a week, I think. Is what you need to monitor. Yeah, so that's like a, a year to get I one. Get, I, get the, I mean, what, if, if I had the subs now, I could easily just do a, you know, do daily streams to get the watch That's what I say, too. I can get the hours. It's watch hours are nothing. Watch hours are nothing yeah. for me at this point, just getting the subs. Because, I mean, the, the subs I got are, are pretty quality, in my opinion. I don't have a lot yeah. of uh, you know, a lot of people get out get out there like, I mean, not to knock on Steve, you know, but Steve has a lot of subs. I mean, a lot of his subs aren't quality. Subs, right. you know, like, like Steve subs like fifteen hundred channels, and it's just it's a a lot to you lot to do like that. But you got to get quality subs. When I say quality subs, like 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 Jules is a quality sub, for example. Just like gonna, me. Uh, yeah, you, you everybody yeah. on this panel to me is a quality sub. Like if I have of a course, show and the indicator goes yeah. off, you guys, gonna, you guys are gonna click on it at least see if it interests you. And like that's why I talk about quality sub. You don't want yeah. somebody. Oh, I'll sub your channel, but I'm never gonna watch you. Like don't even fucking bother. <laughs> dedication, oh, you know, dedication. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that advert. Oh, yeah. Joey was on an advertisement kick yesterday. You can save 15% or more by switching your car insurance. Yeah, he did that all morning yesterday on my stream. <laughs> yeah, so was, uh, it was Sausage good. McMuffins. It was funny. Sausage McMuffins now, two for 222, limited time McDonald's participating. Yeah, in you're crazy, man. <laughs> I love it, but it's oh, I should see where my Amazon stuff is too. I got nine things coming today, guys. I sent Squirrel those Skittles, and he still doesn't open them yet. <laughs> you sent right. him squid. You sent him Skittles. Yeah, I told everybody to send uh, squirrels some Skittles. Why? Skittles? I haven't had them in years. Well, it's funny too because the uh, go on Amazon. This is not a joke. Go on Amazon, and they have the the Pride Month Skittles. But for some reason, they got rid of all the colors, and the Skittles are all white. And it's what? it's a. Uh, I swear to God, go on Amazon right now and type in Pride Skittles and you'll see Albino it. Skittles? Yeah, literally all white Skittles. What the hell? Well, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. What a thought. That's crazy. Well, they say dyes are bad for you, right? Especially red. <laughs> I'm going to share my screen, James. You got to uh, you got to look. Oh, it yeah, of course, Joe. <sighs> I'm ready. Mm. Well, we got. Be mine. Aww. Hot tea with honey. There we go. Oh, look at that. It says wow. only one wow. rainbow matters during Pride, and, it, and it's all white. So they <laughs> We don't have that. Yeah, color about nope. absence of color. No, we right. don't have 
We don't so have those. I sent, I, sent, uh, I sent one of these, the 50, I think it's a, a 15 pack yeah. or whatever to, uh, to Squirrel. So he's going to get these Skittles coming in. Actually, you know, it's a big bag. Shit. Wait, it's a big bag. And I think about it. Oh, that's a wow. big bag. 15.6. Oh, look how big that bag is. So it's that's a, huge. Pound, a pound of white Skittles Squirrel's got coming to him here. <laughs> that's crazy, Joe. That's amazing. <laughs> so what is the significance of sending those to uh to uh to squirrel? So he doesn't stop eating and he gets really big and fat so he can make fun of him. Oh uh, I'm just teasing. I don't know where it came up, but some reason that Skittles just came up and I was like, everybody send squirrel Skittles. So if you're out there, well, I didn't get the box. memo, so I didn't send them any. Hopefully they didn't melt. So it'd be funny if they melted as one big Oh giant. my god. And you know what, Joey? Thank you for that, by the way, because because your stuff melted on the way to me. So it's I a good double, right, it's I good double, example. triple wrap squirrels chocolate so that it wouldn't get on anything else. <laughs> so thank you for that. <laughs> it was in its own packages inside a bubble wrap package and then taped like so taped. Nice. So, well, because I thought if it melts, it'll just melt in its own thing. Right. All right, all right. So that's why. So thank you. I learned that from you. So that's good. Yeah, I have four boxes of cat food and three diamond arts coming today. Oh, nice. I got two. I got three shirts. There's uh, the one shirt I got is uh, I got one for lap too. It's a it looks like a glass of beer. Like from here up, it's just all beer bubbles. It looks like a big glass of beer. It's all over print shirt. It's fucking hilarious. I saw it. I was like, oh, I got to get that. And then I ordered a uh, brown good morning. Beer, and good I got morning. Hey, it's afternoon now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Ashley. How are you today? Or afternoon, sorry. Yeah, I'm tired now. <laughs> yeah, you had a long I was weekend. I pop on earlier, yeah. but I had too many people going, so I didn't want to kick them off. You were uh, fishing this weekend. Yes, yes. Did you catch anything, I Ashley? Mean, I mean, no. So, no, Colin, I'm, you know I'm what useless. When I have to jig fish, I'm a horrible fisher person. Okay. And we were yeah. doing jig fishing, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not good at it, which is stupid, because there's not supposed to take much talent to be jig fishing, but. Well, can I show them some of the fish you caught? Yeah, go for it. Are you sure it's okay? All right. Yeah. Oh, poor Jules. See, I don't have the, oh, I'm not on that phone. I was just saying. I, I okay, think I, I have, have it on my I tablet here if I'm allowed to show them. Yeah, no, no, go ahead and show them. All it's right. Just, I, was, I, I know I didn't send them all to you. I know there's more. No, I have a few, though, guys, if you want to check them yeah. out. Here. Here's one of them. Ooh. That's the bass. Small yep. Mm -hmm. Nice. I have a couple pictures. I won't show the one with people in it, though, like with the, okay. You can zoom it in. Look at this, guys. Place. Look at that. Oh, he's a beast. That's actually sheephead, but he's freaking huge. How many pounds was that? We didn't weigh them. Oh, wow. I don't think we had a big pound right there. It's a yeah, he's, he's a beast. Huge. Yeah, he's huge. Wow. He's like twice Good the size God. of that bass. Oh, my gosh. Is that, is that bass? The first one was a bass. The first one was a small oh, man. Jules, the second hang one was a hang on. Let me find that for you. Hi, Ash. Awesome. Hey. How are Here, you? Jules. Here you go. Uh, I wish I could say I feel great, but I don't. I'm getting so sick. There's the That's cool. Yeah. Very, Very cool. <laughs> wow. That's pretty cool. I wish I was there, man. The hockey goalie guy, what's this about? What is that about, Joe? It says NHL goaltender Matisse Kanovic is dead from 24 because of apparent head injury. Whoa. Uh, it says goaltender for the Columbus Blue Jackets of the National Hockey League died Sunday night after an accident involving fireworks at a private party. Oh, wow. Jesus. That's, well, damn. Fireworks. Got, really? Got good. Wow. He's only 24. Holy fuck. That's terrible. So yeah, basically, people, the, the fireworks flash. scared me. And he, apparently, That's horrible. Out, the fireworks scared me. He hit his head on something and died. Jesus. I don't know. Jeez. This is crazy. That's, no, there's another reason not to have fireworks. You can show those ones too, Janice. That's a steelhead. I sent you a bigger picture of the steelhead. Oh, okay, or sure. not steelhead. Sheep Whatever head. you... Okay. Yeah, I got and the other ask. one you can show. It doesn't show much of what she looks like, anyway. So you can show that. Are you sure? Because yeah, it's, okay. she got glasses on everything. I'm not gonna say her name. You know what? Is that the How about this? How about all no, no, it's more fishing, fishing pictures. It's just Janice who's only got the oh, okay. early morning pictures. Here, I can show that picture, like oh, that. I got gotcha. you. Nice. Yeah, let me just show the whole thing. 
You sure? Yeah, she's wow. in and just uh, right. show it on landscape. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, no, not, not that one. The one with the three. She's got three. The other one. <laughs> oh, I haven't got there yet. Oh. Yeah, no, she got three. She got walleye. She got three oh, walleye. Wow. Woo! Turn on hey, I, I see. I see. Yeah. Wow, guys. Look at this. There you go. Four. Oh, sorry. Uh, look at this, guys. It just looks so warm. Yeah, those are walleye or really? pickerel, depending on. I think you guys call them walleye. We call them pickerel usually. And yeah. um, walleye is um, a delicacy here in Ohio, man. We we got wall fried walleye nuggets. Oh, they're so good. Fuck. Yeah, and, then, uh, and then the other picture is the same sheep head. It's just yeah. a better picture of it. There you go. Oh, wow. That's spectacular. <laughs> and Miss Ashley, what water, body of water is this? Mm -hmm. Lake Erie. Okay, Lake Erie. Lake Erie. Okay, cool. cool. Yep. Wow. Okay. Cool. That's spectacular, that last photograph. Yeah. Beautiful. Very, very the background is beautiful with the clouds in the sky. It is beautiful, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was gorgeous. Well, that, my, my color on my body is evidence. <laughs> Honestly, if I wanted to go fishing, not during the winter months when it's frozen, but I could probably, if I got the right gear, find mm -hmm. a way to do it off of Lake Erie because it's, uh, I mean, there's there's guys who go down there. They'll have, there's guys who get up, they'll have like 10 lines to sit up and get up like five in the morning just go out there and. Just set them up, and then whatever they get in, bring them in, they call the market shit. There's, there's, there's still not many, but there's, there's some people will do it. Uh, yeah, we, we do, um, we do ice fishing too. Um, I, you're on my Facebook, but if you go on my Facebook, I'm sure I got pictures of uh, us with the dogs. Oh, yeah. I used to take, take the huskies out, and the huskies had their pool things. And they would pull the hut out with us and carry, carry a bunch of stuff. And uh, we go out ice fishing. You set up your hut. It's actually not too bad once you get like it's expensive. It's but, like, really, you, getting that hot. Yeah, I got a buddy. My buddy Mike goes ice fishing because he can't do it every year. It's like areas and freeze every year, but when it does, they, they jump on it. And uh, I think 2017 18 was the last time it froze, and that was a big frozen year. I went out and actually that year the lake froze to the point where me and the kids went out and we were just walking around on the lake. I got pictures of that in my Facebook, That's but like you're talking about where they're just uh running around. It's it was it's ice fishing is crazy, it's fun though. I, yeah, I, it is. I'm kind of, yeah, I'm yeah, kind it's of pretty warm too. Like we have a heater buddy thing, you just put the little uh one pound mm -hmm. propanes into it. And it's awesome. Like you're so warm in there. You actually have to leave the, the hut sometimes to get out to get warm. But oh, you can yeah. set up blankets and everything you want, like right on the ice. And because it doesn't melt, it's not that hot. You like lie down and just lie down fishing. <laughs> it's, it's a really different experience. Every time I think of ice fishing, it reminds me of Grumpy Old Men. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> love that movie. Both of them. It's a great movie. I've never done ice fishing. I, I, I mean, always do it all around here all winter. Yeah. I always have this paranoia in my mind that I'm going to fall through, <laughs> or sorry, that I would fall through. Yeah. You know? Every every you year, check the ice. Time. They won't let you out. Or yeah. You'll get those cases every year on March. People trying to eat that last ice fish in, and then the Coast Guard has to come rescue some bunch of idiots on a fucking piece of ice because they. The one year they actually it was melted. What they did, they put these. You ever seen those bridge gates things they do on mudders or whatever? And they put two of those that connected two icebergs together. On a, the lake that was thawing, and they got stuck in the one. It's a fucking dumbass. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's not good. But then getting getting what Colin's talking about, though, getting a uh, fear of being trapped under ice. That is a legitimate fear. I mean, I I've seen many movies like that where you see it, you look up and the guys. Yeah. Are trying to, oh yeah. Well, that, that's, Damian, uh, Damian Newman. Remember Damian Newman? <laughs> yeah. 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 fish on the Connecticut River that would, here. So that that's would scare reality. me more than any. That would scare me more than any ocean shark ever being trapped mm -hmm. under ice like that. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Absolutely. If you Most want to see people here have common sense not to go out on the ice. They know when it's booked. How they check it? Guys they who swim underneath the ice. There's one guy. He, he set like a record, and he they cut a hole in the ice, and he swims a hundred yards to the other hole in the ice. Oh man, it's yeah. you, get, you get fucking uh, you get you get you get claustrophobic fears on that because you think yeah. you get stuck and there's no. Oh man, you can't uh, find a hole. You can't find yeah, the hole. Yeah, what if you go the wrong way? Then what? Yeah. You take a left turn instead of a right? No problem. <laughs> Horrifying. Well, what was that one Adam Sandler movie? I think they were in New Hampshire. And when they were, it wasn't really the best Adam Sandler movie, but in the movie, they uh, they were out in the ice, and they, they saved, Adam Sandler saved it, and they, I can't remember the name of that fucking movie. What was that movie where, uh, where they were, I think it took place in New Hampshire, actually. And he was like a billionaire. Um, or somebody died and became a yeah. Mr. D. That, Mr. That's D. Mr. D. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Mr. D's. Yeah. <laughs> that's a um, I will have a video on this, by the way. On that cat? 
No, hang on. I just ordered these. Can you read that? Recreational narcotics. Yeah. Think about that. Think of this stuff. Oh, Dennis, I sent you the one last picture of the one fish that we caught. Oh, okay. He thought the other ones were big. That one's big. Okay, hang on. I'm getting it. Whoa. <laughs> Holy moly molus. Is that your dad? Yeah. Oh, you can post it because I cut his head off. <laughs> you guys wow. want to see it a little bigger? Hang on. Sorry, that's, a, that's a big one. It's a catfish. We didn't keep it, but yeah. Whoa. I got a lot of buddies to do that too. They'll go fishing, just throw it back, catch and release. Awesome. Yeah. You can watch those guys when you're trying to get the damn hook out of his mouth because those little whiskers sting you. Oh, yeah, Ooh, they do. That's right. So I'm gonna do a video that was from that was from Amazon. Mm -hmm. Recreational narcotics. It should be here in two days. I will do a video on that of what my cat thinks of it. <laughs> He's now I realize that's a reaction video, but it's not the same thing. It's there's a there's a stuff called you can get on Amazon. We get it for our kids. It's called Miawana. It looks just like weed, but it's it's a uh, catnip. Man, catnip. Yeah. You know, you dump a little bit of that, and the cat's just there and goes, "Oh, it's great, man." I love it. <laughs> He's, my cat's laying on the spot where I put the catnip the other day. There you he's, go. He's, and we vacuumed since then, but he still smells it. Yeah, at least he's right there on that spot. I think there's cat crack too. You could buy it. Yeah, <laughs> thirty-four bucks for a cup, Joey. I debated. Not, yeah, I'm not buying that. Sorry, kitty, but no. Mm -mm. I mean, with a cat years ago, you know, come back early two thousands, and uh, it was a real. It was really small, but just a wild cat. You know what I mean? Like, it loved me, but it also hated me. There you, you know, go. Figure that one out. That's my cat. But, uh, That's a typical we, cat. Yeah, we used to give it the catnip, and uh, it was stoned. The cat yep. was stoned. You know, it, it was a piece. You know, like th this this uh, cat I'm talking about. I, I think I told this story before. You know. It would hiss at me all the time. Mm -hmm. And then there was two occasions. Mm -hmm. uh, this, sounds, this sounds gross. It actually pissed on me uh -huh. in the nighttime. Yeah. In, in my, when I was dead asleep in the dead of night. Right. You know? And uh, my gosh, when this poor cat was dying, although it, we had a love hate relationship. Yeah, it got some type of cancer, you know, and uh, I had to take it to the vet, you know. Obviously, you know, it had to be put down. But oh my gosh, did I break my heart over over this little cat? Yeah. You know what I mean? Mick T. Yeah. Hey! Oh my God, it's the Brady Bunch on acid. Cheers, for <laughs> Wow, you are a crazy man. Hi, Mick. Hey, Mick. <laughs> What's up, Mick? Hello, Cheers, crazy Mick. Yeah. Fucking Scouser. What's up, buddy? <laughs> is Mick a Scouser? No, I, 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 think, I don't know if he is or not. He's from oh. Yorkshire. He's from Yorkshire. Uh, from Yorkshire? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good to see you, Mick. There you go. Oh, Ryan are the ones. I got to jump off quickly, but I figured I'd put it on here so you can see them for a minute. Oh, right, look at him go. Hold on. Let me put it over here. Next. I got to clean this up and I got to put them away. So I'll leave it until my phone dies. <laughs> when my phone dies, then I will I will jump off. Hi, oh, wow. How are you doing, cutie? Yeah, you want to see? Can you see this here? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's Ratapalula. They're having a blast. I like the black one. Look at the wheel. Look at them. Look at the babies. Oh, the babies. Look at the babies. <laughs> the long haired ones are the babies. Yeah. They're oh, the little babies. I like that the looks black like a lot one of that just jumped into the wheel there. What kind of one is that, Ash? What's that? What kind is the black one with the white face? That that's a roan. Okay, cool. Oh, and that yeah. Was, oh yeah, welcome to <laughs> that was a marble. Damn. This was a dwarf. She's a dwarf adult. All the rest of them are babies. But like this baby's bigger than this mouse. Yeah, this is mouse. The pleasure dome. Ash, yeah. did you make that little bridge for them? The, yeah, this is bendy. See, it can. Did you make it? 
No. Uh, this one we didn't make. This one mm -hmm. I actually bought because we haven't been able to keep up with the amount of people who want the ones that we made. No, um, we made the um, ones that Janice has. Yeah, Jules, you know the the rope ladders that are in mine? Those those long, long wooden ladders? Yeah. Those are from Ashley. That's very cool. Mm-hmm. All right, so I got, I got more, more information. For now. I have a whole okay. bunch of them. I just I don't want to rob them in my guys' cages for this. <laughs> Hang on, let me figure out how to do split the animals, so we'll do that. Okay, go ahead, Joe. What you have information about? Uh, what? The, uh, about that stuff. So th this is what happened to the about the goalie who died. The there was a fireworks malfunction. He was sitting in a hot tub. There was fireworks malfunction <laughs> that sent the fireworks in the direction of the hot tub. He got out of the hot tub. When he tried to leave, he slipped, fell, his head in the concrete, and died later. Oh shit! Oh my god! Been safer in the hot tub. Wow. Horrible way to go, she man. Just I, I an that's, a, that's such a fright, man. you just like, oh, my God. That's one of those things you're like, oh, my God. There's no way you can How really... many times as parents have we yelled at our kids, don't run by the pool? Yeah. Well, if you got fireworks yeah. coming in, it's, crack it's, your head open. it's different yeah. when you got inbound, inbound mortars coming. You know, you know what I mean? So I, was, everybody was probably panicking. I mean, oh. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Joey, Joey who, who was that guy? Was, He's the, goalie, the goalie for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Matisse. And that's a big, that's a big team. Yeah, uh, the, the Blue Jackets are NHL that's teams. That's very yeah. sad. Yeah. Oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> you got one of them under your blanket. My chipmunks do that all the time. I don't okay, know if I'm going to have enough time before my phone dies to put this guy oh. in there, but I will show you before just in case. He's a Siamese. No, oh, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Let's he's go fluffy. Sure. Hi, yeah, he's a, he's an adult now. Yeah. But if I get these guys out of here before my phone dies, I'll put him in there so you can get a look at him and see how big difference he's like. It's amazing how they love the wheel, you know? Well, they all love well, the wheel. Oh, yeah. yeah. they've ever been on the wheel, these guys. It's just as morning. Hey, come on. I got an achievement today. I just got a notice. I got 70,000 views. Ooh, oh, okay. Hey Janice, do you want to share? Hey, I, the mix uh, Instagram. You want me to share this? This is hilarious. You got he's he's loaded right um, now. Um, if you want to, sure. Well, let, well, let me let me preview the video first. Make sure it's uh, YouTube suitable. Yeah, make sure it is, please. All right, just him drinking, him drinking, him drinking, him drinking. Sorry for the. I might have to mute this if we do play it up. Yeah, it looks suitable. I'm gonna have to mute it though because I think there's music going on. So hold on. Nice. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop grabbing my hand, Misty. You're not helping. <laughs> Make charge up your phone. Charge up your phone for 15 minutes. I have no battery or signal. Yeah, he has a tablet, Colin, and his tablet is really, really bad signal. Well, he's at the he's at the bar right now too. It looks like so. I don't oh know. boy. Okay. That's across the street, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> well, to be okay, fair, right for those of you wondering, oh wow, it's uh, you know Monday at. 1240 like over there at 642 or five five o'clock but it's night there <laughs> evening. they've been in lockdown for 15 months they deserve to go to the bar oh my God. 24 yeah. hours. crazy over there joy Same as Ontario. the uh that delta variant is really actually a concern over there not to bring coronavirus into it but i don't know for some reason over there the cases are going through the roof not over there here there you go weird right there. Know. It's weird. The difference is so weird of how they how it is there and there. You know? Guys are messy. Oh. I like this thing. This is cool. Yeah. That, oh, that tumble thing. Cool. Yeah. I might get one. I don't know. We'll see. Messy little buggers. <laughs> <Look at this. laughs> I'm going yes, back. Like, I know this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There, now I got the animals in the corners. That's going to be a lovely screenshot, by the way. Look at that kitty. He's catnipped. No, she's just lazy. Uh. Hey, babe. <laughs> hey, babe. Hi. Meow. Yeah. Oh, hi. Thanks for waking me up, Mom. They can't want some treats. I actually just stopped my diamond out for a minute because I got to get up and stretch. So I just put the camera over there on her. So. I'd be working on mine, but when I coughed today, I think I pulled a muscle in my rib cage. Oh my god! Don't in my do back. That. Jesus. In my back, like it feels like I got a broken rib back there. It's ridiculous. Oh, I know all. I'm decrepit, man. I'm falling apart. 
So this is what I got. I'm going to tell you guys because I probably won't do these online anymore. So on Wednesday, I have my recreational narcotics, fine Nepeta Kateria packs. That's my catnip for the cat. I bought 10 soothing face masks for my face. And I bought three diamond painting pens with lights at the bottom of them. Mm. So, now, today... No granola bars? No, girl, I got like 25 <laughs> left. Really, Janice? I'm disappointed. I know. <laughs> I um, expect your granola bars out of you. So today I have one. I have three diamond arts coming today, and four. Oh my god, four packs of pot food. And then on Wednesday, my hairball relief for cats is coming. So because I can't find her cat hairball food, and she's puking up hairballs all over the place. So ew. When does your salons open up? Do you know yet? I don't know yet. Um. You're still like That's unbelievable. <laughs> this whole fucking time they've been in the lockdown we had for like a week. That's crazy. Crazy, Janice. We're all here now so far this year, I think. So, um, Joey, what's the verdict on Mick's film there? Oh, the, the music. It's I, I can't, uh, there's no way I can share it on Instagram. With, I can't mute it and share it at the same time. So I don't know if that music is. I don't know if the music would do it. It's not. Working. I mean, it's just him sitting there drunk, going like this. It's not no big deal. Okay. If you, got, if you got IG, they'll go over there and check it out. I mean, so uh, I do uh, have Instagram. I do have Mick on Instagram. I now have. I have. Who do I have on Instagram? Oh my god, I have. I don't even. By the way, Mick. Just so you know, I post on Instagram like once every two months. Okay, I just do it. I don't keep up with it. I just do it whenever. So I'm terrible. I hardly ever go online. Yeah, me too. Oh, Kitty, what are you doing, new people? Always on YouTube. I don't hardly go into Facebook anymore. Well, that's yeah, like and I, I'm not even too familiar with Instagram. How, how does it work? Like, can you can you get on and like right. chat? We're all chatting now, or is it just a, Instagram? Is it just a place where you, you can post photographs? Yes. All, pretty much all for photographs, and they have uh, Instagram TV and stuff like that and reels, but it's very proprietary. It's mainly based on your hashtags and you know algorithm stuff like that. It's a uh, a lot of a lot of brands go on there and the brand sharing codes and stuff like that. It's a lot of uh, I don't know. It's for me, Instagram is a lot. It's real real artificial. A lot of fake it's stuff on there. Too. It's hard for me to go on there because like I, I click click on there, it's always a bunch of people going, you know, stupid poses. Yeah, I, 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 um, Nick said we just posted a video for the town. Oh, nice, Mick. That might be cool, Joe. Do you want to check that out, or do you want me to look? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Janice got Ron Jeremy on speed dial on IG. <laughs> wow. wow. I can't oh, find awesome. Jeremy's email. I get Ron Jeremy on the show. He'd be a fucking awesome interview. <laughs> Can you get him? He's not. I, there's no way you can hold him. Oh, no. Really? I, mean, I could try IMDb. I don't know if he's uh, on there. Let's see. Well, that I'm would trying, definitely I'm trying, bring I'm trying, to fucking, I'm trying to get an ex-porn star on forever, or even a porn star or whatever, but they're so hard to get hold of. They don't know what's... I mean, I guess I can go on OnlyFans, but I'm not trying to download the OnlyFans app. I mean, I don't really want to... Yeah, no, I got gotcha. you. I get that totally. That's so cool. I don't have Instagram on my tablet. Sorry, Mick. I apologize, my friend. Joy, my yeah. tablet. Oh, okay. So Char Avery has said. Oh, here we are. Uh, this was at ten four. Oh, this was two hours ago. Okay. Give me half an hour. That was two hours ago. Awesome. <laughs> I will come on in the chat. I'm getting my dad a few things to take to him tomorrow and Aww. going to the park to see Princess. And that was two hours ago. So, okay. Yep, and my achievement says, here it is. I'll show you guys. Aw, that's kind of cool. It says 70,000 views achieved July 5th, 2021. Nice. Wow. That's a lot, man. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot to me. I don't, maybe not to other people, but it is to me. That's a lot. They have more views than I got. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm views are, uh, I don't know, it depends. I mean, well, you, you release a lot of videos too, so you should have a lot of views. No, I know, but it just, I mean, I don't know. 
I mean, if you got how many videos you got, like three hundred. Yeah, ish. Yeah. So, so wow. what's it, 70, 70, to divide by three hundred? What's that about? I don't even know off the top of my head. Okay, Google. What's seventy thousand <laughs> divided by three hundred? Two point two hundred thirty three views a video is your average. That's all right. I mean, it's okay. That's a pretty, that's a pretty, pretty good average when you think about it. I guess. I guess I don't know. It just sent it to me. <laughs> nice. Um, so that's cool. You know, I passed uh, five hundred and fifty subs, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, you know, just yeah. So I'm hoping my Amazon stuff will show up at the door, but if it doesn't, then I'll just that's okay. Yeah, I'm waiting on something from Amazon too. I think it might come today. It's a it's a snake grabber, uh, forty seven inch. You know, with a handle at the top and the clip at the bottom. Okay, so, and what are you using that for? What do you think? He was an exterminator, honey. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Okay. To grab snakes. Yeah. Ooh, cool. Yeah, I ordered. Uh, actually, put on the order. I think it was last night off, off Amazon. They said it might be here today, so no, it'll come in handy. You know. Um, I ain't mess with snakes. Oh, yeah, no, I was just looking at that. If Mick, T, if Mick T really knows Ron Jeremy on Instagram, maybe he can hook you up, Joe. No, check it out, check it out. I just looked him up on IMDb, okay, Internet Movie Database. Yeah. He does He does have an agent I can email, but oh, cool. two things. Uh, he has a title in development called Nuclear Zombies from Area 51. That sounds absolutely horrible. But, yeah, there, but there's a connection here because he did the – it says he did the movie – Killer Raccoons 2, Christmas, uh, Raccoons in the Dark. And I know oh. the guy who made that movie. His name's Travis Irvine. I had him on the show um, okay. a year ago. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to, I, I, I confess I haven't actually watched the movie. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm, I'm going to watch the movie, uh, see how Travis Irvine got a hold of Rich Ron Jeremy, and see if I can hook that up. That might be a possibility. Yeah, was well, it Killer Raccoons? Yeah, the movie, the, well, he, he did two movies. The first one was called Killer Raccoons. And the second one is called Killer Raccoons 2 Christmas in the Dark. I've never <laughs> seen or heard of either of them. I remember, I remember Killer Tomatoes. Well, the, 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 that I remember. Well, the guy, his name is Travis Irvine. He ran for, the, the background on this is he ran for, in 2018, he ran for Ohio governor on the Libertarian ticket. So I reached, and he's, but he's a stand-up comedian. He's a stand-up comedian as well. So I reached out to oh, him and said, hey, man, can you be on the show? And, so he was one of the one of the first one of the interviews we had on the show. There you go, Joe. You know, third or fourth interview we had on the show, and uh, so it's like I, there's a connection there. So I'll see, I'll see, because I want to run for governor under that. Cool play. We'll see. Yeah, Bill. Yeah. You see my chipmunk? You see your tail? They do that when they're annoyed. By the way. Really. They whip their tail twitch, back. Twitch, twitch, twitch. I'm not she's sure. Like, let me out. Let me out. Let no, me. she's mad at the other one that's on the wheel. Oh, okay. See? And that's Give me a turn. Give me a turn. It's my turn. It's my turn. There's three other wheels in the cage, guys. Come on. No, but that one's the best one. No, it's not. <laughs> well, she thinks it is. Yeah, well, she's crazy. All right, I'm not actually going to the bathroom. I'm just trying to put this thing up in the bathroom. <laughs> Back in my old house, I, I used to have a chipmunk, and I, uh -huh. you know, I I swear it used to visit me every year. If it wasn't that exact one, it was his uncle or his, his cousin. <laughs> whatever. But yeah. every year in the fall, you know, come the end of the summer, mm -hmm. you know, this this chipmunk used to always be in the same spot. Yep. And it, ran, it was in like a drain pipe, you know. Um, yeah, they like those. Yeah, all, always for for a, quite a few years, it was the same the same chipmunk guys. They always say it, it, they always came back, you know. I mean, uh, they, technically, Colin, they can live for up to twelve years. It's not like yeah. they can't, but in that's usually in captivity because they don't have the same crap to be careful of in in captivity that they do outside. Yeah, and it's but, like. No. Sorry, go ahead, Janet. Sorry. No, go ahead. No, Janet. So you know, it's it's just like you know, touching on that so, that topic, and then going back to something that relates to it. It's you know, 
going back to my grandfather, yep. there was always a robin red breast. A yep. bird. <laughs> came to his backyard. Yeah. Every year. And this this was for like decades. Obviously it wasn't uh -huh. the same bird up, but whatever whatever was in the birds. One always came back every year to my grandfather's backyard and was up, up in the tree, you know, because I remember I, I was very young then and uh, he used to take me out and tell me, look, oh, this Robin Redbreast, red breast, you know, comes back every year, every year or else his his family or his ancestors, there's for some reason it keeps coming back, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But no. Not your uh, camera sideways. You just thought you'd like that. I mean, it's an interesting view. <laughs> Who's the camera sideways, Ashley? <laughs> Ashley's camera is sideways, but that's okay. I can look sideways. It's cool. I love play pens. They're so fun. Even though two of mine, I figure out how to get out of them now, but eh, sorry. I might actually have to get two and tape them together so that they're double the height. Ugh, such a pain. Your cat is sleeping well. Uh, Janice, how, how does the cat, you know, with a, get on with the uh, the, the chipmunks? Uh, Colin, I, she's fine. Um, yeah. She was raised with mice, fancy mice. Yeah. So she's very tolerant. Okay, Joe, can I show this wedding photo? Uh, of who? Me? You? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So Joey posted this on Facebook the other day, guys. And I kept it. This is Joe's wedding picture. Oh, wow. Aww. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, Joey had awesome. hair. Yeah, isn't it nice? Awesome. I just, whoop. <laughs> Sorry, kitty. Here. Buttons! Buttons! Wake up, Buttons! We can actually do it. Wake up, Buttons! <laughs> Wake up, Buttons! <laughs> wait, wait until I get the uh, wait until I get the uh, that cat yet. Oh, okay. Oh, we have an oh. It's now called the rat cam. I love it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I don't know the last one. Well, yeah, you just your your camera went sideways and then. Bloop, yeah, but so like that phone died, and then I had to switch to the other one. Oh, so who's going into this? Uh, who's that going into this guy? Mick T's charged his phone. <gasps> Hi, right, buddy. Oh, so that's a full-grown one, right? Yeah, it's a full-grown male. <laughs> Hey, wow. hey, Janice, Janice. You got a little bit better light because I did this in the bathroom this time. Oh, cool. What, Joey? Hey, uh, let's take let's take a bet, all right? Mick's charging his phone for a half hour, all right? Mm -hmm. Mick, Mick won't lie. He's an honest guy. Let's ask how many beers and, or shots do you think he's going to drink in that half hour, or do you think he ordered in that half hour his phone's charging? He has to phone. walk across. He has to... He has to bob and weave across the street to his apartment. I say, I say he gets three beers and one shot in this half hour his phone's charged. Oh, I will God. say two beers, no shots. <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh, dear. What can what the matter? Go ahead, It's your guess. <laughs> if he's drunk already, they're going to go down a lot faster until he gets ready to pass out. Then he even has a beer in oh. front of him. If Mike's over there watching soccer, you know, the adrenaline kicks in. Yep. I don't know what games are going on today, so... Uh, I know the Euro 2020s are going on, so who knows, hey? Um, did you know that the next basketball game is until Tuesday night? We have a three-day break. Blech. I think tomorrow is the other semifinal match in the Euros, and then um, okay. England plays uh, again. So Denmark? Yeah, England and Denmark are on Wednesday, and then tomorrow it's, uh, I think, Italy and Spain, maybe? Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, it'll be in, yeah. Oh. semi-finals. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, next on the eleventh is the uh, the Euro finals. So that's next Sunday. I'll be the. Hi, Jaws. <laughs> Hi, Jaws. Hello. She's gonna bite you. She always bites me. Well, you're teasing her. Nah. You're tickling her whiskers. 
Okay, hang on. I'm going to give her some catnip. That'll be fun. Hang on. I do oh. have some. I just don't give it to her very much. So if she's crazy. crazy. She only has about 82,000 toys. Feeling so lonely. Okay. I got you on that one. Okay. I gotta so go this. I gotta do some uh, stuff outside, but I'll try to pop on later if I can. Okay, okay. Hi guys. See you. There's a uh, how many? There's so many different versions of that song. Crazy. There's like Crazy from Norris Barkley. There's the original Crazy. There's that one, and then there's Patsy Cline. Patsy yeah, Cline. Cool. But Patsy I, I love Willie Nelson. I love Willie Nelson. Yeah. Yeah. Stay there. It's okay. No, stay there. And hey, what are you doing to buttons, Janice? Poor buttons. What? Buttons. What you doing to your buttons? Me out twice if you're in trouble. Nah. I just gave her a catnip toy, so she'll be happy for a bit. Right? There you go. It's in front of her, by the way. Kitty. She's Kitty, what you got? Yeah, she's eating the catnip off the toy, so... <laughs> There you go. See? Hold the right, stone the She's I'm about crazy. to email Ron Jeremy's people. Let's see what they say. Actors LA at gmail.com. They don't Here, let's see. see? Up, I gotta check their website. See how see what the website looks like. Here, see. There you go. <laughs> Organic cat. Hi, baby. No, oh, there we go. She'll be good now for a while. She eats it all and then she goes crazy, but yeah, she's eating all the catnip off the bed, so. Cool. Yeah, that's a nice picture, Joe. That looks, did you get married in the fall by chance? No, it was uh, winter, actually. Dead of winter. Oh, February, really? Okay. February 21st, it was uh, the wedding day. Oh, those are very fall colors. Well, they're, they're actually browns colors is why I did that. It's brown and orange. Yeah, <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, I just was thinking it looks fallish. That's what, when we were getting them, that's what the lady said. Usually these colors are, colors are out in the fall, but. That's funny. Cool. That's funny, Joey. When the the time that I get married, also it was in the winter. It was like January the tenth. Kind of married summer. Look, it was so hot out. That's what. That's a, that's a major reason I wanted to do it in the winter because it was well. I didn't want it to be in football season for one, and for well, two, sure. I, I like the idea of you know because if, if the anniversary is so close to Valentine's Day, it's, you know, you can kind of combine the two. You know, oh, yeah. That's yeah, I mean, so cause I got that idea because my birthday is like right before Christmas. So it's like. Yeah, you don't want too much stuff all at once. They're like pushed together. Right, right, right. Hey, where's your toys? Where's your toys? Buttons. 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 I'll make dog noise and see if I can scare buttons. Roof, roof. <laughs> I won't care. Arr, arr. I'm gonna get you buttons. Oh. Now, if you play like cat sounds, sound, you might hear. Buttons, like buttons, like <laughs> buttons like I'm over this. I'm gonna kill myself for another hour. Kitty, what you got? Kitty, what you got? Kitty, Kitty, what you got? Oh, you Kitty. There you go. Oh, now you lost it. Now you lost it, you silly goof. There you go. How old is Buttons, Janice? Four. Buttons is nine years old, Joe. Okay, wow. that's all. That's all. Peaches is. I got a, a boy cat. Is, Pe is Buttons is a boy or a girl? A girl. Calicos are always girls. Okay, I think orange cats are always boys too. Isn't that weird? How that how that kind of goes? It is weird. It's totally weird. Yeah, there are no male calicos at all, and I'm like, well, um, okay. I don't right. know why. It shouldn't make no hard. sense. Either. I'm in a cat group. I'm in a cat group in uh on Facebook here. It's oh called, no! It's called oh, Weirdo Cat man. Lovers of Cleveland. She just left. Oh come on, come back, kitty, kitty. All right, I gotta go back to my art here. All right, there we go. Boop. All right, let's still put work on. on the wolf, Janice. Yep, I am actually. I'm just gonna put it back up here and. Bring the camera back and i'm working on my cars too but i don't do that when i'm i can explain for my wonderful birthday this year of which you all made it so fabulous and i thank you dearly amanda cannot do diamond art but she loves diamond art so she said i'll tell you what she said is there any way that i can send you some diamond art for your birthday 
and you can do it. And I said, uh, yeah, sure. So she went on to my am. I sent her my Amazon wish list, my Canadian Amazon wish list. And she ordered some stuff from there for me, including this lovely second wolf picture. You saw the first one, I know, and there it's getting, it's coming along. I mean, you have to see it kind of close to see what's missing, but I go color by color. I don't, because it's a pain in the ass not doing it color by color. Mm. So anyway, now, this is what I'm doing for me. This is my... If you can't tell already, it's a it's a sports car. Yeah. And a truck and a hang on. Do, 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 hey, I'm gonna dip for a little bit. I got something I gotta take care of. I'll let you have a couple minutes. Okay, Joe. Oh. So as you can see with this, it is a car, mm -hmm. another car, a pickup truck, and an nice. 18 wheel truck. Wow. That is what this is. I love this one love it but you see because of the fact Colin that Amanda was kind enough to buy me the wolves for my birthday uh -huh. I believe that it is only decent of me to do I believe it is the only decent thing to do is to do the wolf when my show is on doing diamond art because she bought it for me no that's nice so I don't do the wolf in my spare time so that she doesn't miss any of it, you see. Yeah. That no, I... is why I have two going. That is the reason. <laughs> no, I I think it's awesome. Um... Yeah, it's very sweet. Because she said she, um for and I'm not going into it, but for personal reasons, um for physical reasons, she cannot do diamond art. Mm -hmm. So she said that she loves wolves and she would love to watch me do this. Yeah, you know, wolves are very, very mysterious. Yes, you know? I bought, I'll show you, Colin. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I apologize for that. Hi, Jules. Hey, Jules. Good My lovely you. Jules. Okay, I'm going to show you, Colin. Um, uh huh. I'm going to show you the wolf that I just, it's here. I just didn't show you guys yet because I have too much crap to show you guys as it is already. Mm -hmm. have way too much crap and way too much crap. And then I have way more too much crap. So, okay, here we go. This is the one I just ordered and it's here already. So, there you go. That's the wolf I ordered. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Now, That's what I'm beautiful. trying to do now, guys, because of the fact that I have white animals and they're very rare, I am now trying to do a series of white animal diamond paintings. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the pattern. Huh? I'm seeing the yeah. pattern. Yeah. Well, let me you show you the my white wish. peacock, the white chipmunk. Yep. The, yep. The white wool, the wool. And, so yeah. I want to show you a couple other things. That Unicorn. Are Here's Unicorn. one, Jules, that I know you'll. You may or may not have seen, but there is the white unicorn. Yeah, you've got two white unicorns. Yeah, I don't have this one yet. This is in my wish list, but I like that one better. Actually, it looks I more. do too. I like it too. So it's next, but it looks more detailed. Yeah, it looks spectacular. So next, Janice, you you gotta have one of a mermaid. Oh look, Arctic wow. fox. Yep. Beautiful wish list. And did you have a rabbit? Why am I thinking rabbit? I did, but let me finish showing you the owl first. Um, I'm actually partial to the background on this. I don't like. I like. It's a drawing. I realize, but look at this. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. The it's, colors it's, are beautiful. It's everything. It's not just the placement of the owls. It's all the whole, like Very the whole funny. thing, right? That's awesome. And then I also, oh yeah, Jules, you like this one. It's not white, but I got to tell you, this is probably the prettiest bunny one I've ever seen. Oh, you showed me that one. That is adorable. That makes me think of Char. Just, it's it so does, cool. doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now, I want to tell you, Jules, you could do me a favor. Maybe you can find it. Um, I spent an hour looking through Amazon in the States looking for that stupid squirrel with that stupid purse, and I can't find it. The what? The picture with the squirrel and the and the per the squirrel with the purse. Oh no! 
I can't find it. Now, this is another one. I don't know, but it's kind of white. But, I mean, I don't know if I can resist the cuteness of this one. I, I might have to get to it. That's too cute. I mean, look at it. It's just... Yeah. It kind of reminds me of the mice with my cat, except that it's a drawing and it's not mm -hmm. real. But, I mean, yeah. It's cute. And I have one more here, too, which I really like. But I was looking for white animals, yes. And what I about like this, a white tiger? I haven't gotten to that one yet. Mm -hmm. I uh, I do, even though it's a drawing, I know, but I like it anyway. I can't help myself. A dove? A white dove? No, I haven't got there yet. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of all the white too, animals that there which are. I really like. I know it's a yeah. drawing, but I you really like You showed us that one. That's cute. Yeah. I really like that one, too. Yeah. I mean, I really like a lot of them, but... And uh, a white bison. Yes, there's so <laughs> many, right? Hey, hey look what I found on the weekend. Woohoo! And they come in queen size. I'm going to die. Check it out. Yo. Look at that. Love it. Patriotic. <laughs> I, did you like my comment yesterday about you I being did. the only one on panel? <laughs> it was of weird. Course, yeah, I was the only one who had any. Uh, Fourth of July, <laughs> and you're the only you're the Canadian, and, and I'm the Canadian. I know. Isn't that that's too funny. Okay, I gotta go to the washroom, guys. Sorry. I found humor in that. Uh, yeah. I'm over really quick. Okay, I'll be right back. That was awesome. Awesome. Jules, what's going on? I just woke up sick, and I'm sore. I broke my toe yesterday. Yeah, I no, fell the no. night before and bruised my knee and my leg and pulled the muscle behind my knee. Like, I'm just a hot mess. And I woke up sick today. I'm like, what else? No, don't ask. Just don't ask. Yeah, it'll probably take a few, day, few days to come back, you know? Yeah. Like, I was, I was out in a job the other day, and all of a sudden, you know, going, going through, you know, the exterior of a house, and all of a sudden, whatever way I stepped, I felt this massive sharp pain in my knee, oh, my oh. left knee. Yeah, I kind of, yeah. Thankfully, no, it's okay, but, you know, it's been a few days. Yeah. I strained my knee, knee yeah. limit, you know what I mean? I do. I, I did that when I fell and tore my rotator cuff. I also yeah. messed up the inside of my knee. Yeah. But it wasn't so bad that it's not near as bad as my shoulder. Hi. No, nah, well, thankfully, it's, uh, it's on the mend. I'll tell you what, what's really getting me right now is this my back, like this pulled. It's right in between my ribs. Like I can touch it. Oh. I coughed. That's what I did. No, I you must have coughed a lot more. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Hey, you know, it comes upon us all, you know. So, you know, my husband so, broke uh, his floating rib when he sneezed one time. The bottom yeah. rib that's not attached. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he literally broke that by sneezing. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not fun. So mm -hmm. this is too high up to be the bottom one. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Okay. It's right in the middle of my rib cage. Uh, I gotta yeah. that thing and get close to change. So, so there we go. Uh, back to this. Uh, this is how much I've done now. You can see uh, the thing about the ones Amanda picked. I mean, the blue, the colors in these are so incredible. These ones, uh -huh. um, they're they just they flow so beautifully. These colors, so yeah, it is beautiful. It's very. I mean, and you know, the other one was the Dreamcatcher one. Yeah, with all the I remember that colors. one. In it, somebody got one. Was it Ash or Kelly? Got one yeah. with the um, something underneath it. It was the wolf, and then something under it. Um, what was it? No I, love idea. That, I love that one. The, the wolf in the center, and then the two wolves coming out of the side. There's so many. Like if you go onto Amazon, there's probably a hundred wolf hunt paintings. So it's very hard to. Um, it's very hard to, um, it's just really hard to find. Okay. It's not even in here. Wow. 
there's, there's something, there's an image that I always loved, you know, even, you know, growing up, uh, the image of a wolf mm -hmm. with a moon in the background. Mm -hmm. Maybe a half moon or a full moon. You know, just the, the night sky, mm -hmm. uh, then the stars. You know, I, Very cool. mm -hmm. yeah, that, that, that's an image, you know. Okay, I'm going to show you something, Paul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, if you guys want to see the one I'm working on right now, here is the, oh, hang on. That's the photo of it. Wow. This is what I'm doing presently. That's what this is right here. See? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you go back here, even so call and all I did was look up, this is one that's in my wish list that I'm, I'm absolutely thinking I'm determined to get this. It's just too. Yeah. It's pretty special. So. That's wow. gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. Um, there I'll show you them all. There's, this is just the first page. There's a black and white one. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it's just because wolves are so pretty. I don't know. But this is just this page. And this is the first one I looked up. Okay. Oh, they're capturing, they're capturing your other spirits. Or they're capturing yeah. something like uh, Native American influence. I, I petted one before. Look it at was this one. domesticated, but it was wolf. Look. Two different ones, actually. Oh. See that? Yeah. How pretty that is? Um, I mean, oh my god, guys, there's just there's tons of them in here. Like there's ones with babies. Yeah. I mean, there's a million of them in here. Like this is only the first page. Um, let me see if I can't find. Oh, and this Colin, in case anybody who's here who missed it, this is it looks almost, this is the first one she bought me. It's done. You guys might remember this one. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's amazing. So these are the two she picked for me. Um, there's so many guys. Howling at the moon. There's this. Oh, my God. I'll just show you them. There's this one. Howling at the moon. Mm -hmm. And then there is uh, the one below it, which I personally really like now that I've seen it, actually. This one. Stop it, stupid thing. Hi, kitty. There's this one with the beautiful, like, scenery in it, you know? Yeah, I, I have a fascination with wolves, you know, and, you know, some of the, the portraits and the paintings. Of Jesus, wolves. look at this. Wow, that is so gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> like, I mean, I could just call and I could just order the wolves ones and never be done ever. Like ever, 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 ever. There are so many. Now that's pretty. It's a little different. Jules, you might like this. It's more fantasy, but it's got a woman and a moon and a baby wolf. Oh, yeah, and, that's and beautiful. And an owl. See the owl? Yeah, she's a moon goddess. That's just pretty. Yeah, it's you know? gorgeous. It's just pretty. It's very Native American looking. It is. Or yeah, even just older than that, like when, you know, the Druids and the. Oh, boy. Like old. Oh. Exactly, Jules. Yeah. Ancient. It's, uh, Ancient. It's, it's enchanting. Yes. Look at that one. That's pretty. Ten bucks, Jules. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You but need to just open up the diamond art drawn, shop. And they've got ones that are art. And they've got one with sheep. And they've got yeah, ones running. And they've got them in the moon and the water. And yeah. just, oh my God. I'm on page three of Wolf. I have to stop and go in the store. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, look at this. I love to hear them howl. You know? That's why, why, uh, you know, years ago I had, you know, a little, it's not a wolf, I had a husky, wolf's, wow. cousin, wolf's cousin, but I just love, love to hear them howl, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, Colin and Jules, I bought this one, 
It is freaking huge. I am going to start at this one I bought. See that one? Yeah, that's gorgeous. That's I bought that for my kid. Oh, that's beautiful. And it's probably three and a half feet by freaking, oh my God. It's Good so great. Yeah, it's huge. I I can't even, I can't even, I haven't even done it Poster yet. Poster size. Sorry. It it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god! Look at how beautiful this is. Wow. Well, if I want white wolves, I guess this would be the one. Looking. Look at this. Oh, stop. Hang on. This is a nice one if you want white wolves, guys. Amanda, if you're watching, look at that one. See the the two wolves in the. See. That's cute. Hi, sweet pea. Well, that, well, the dream, the dream catcher surrounded them. Yep. Yeah. I mean, for a white wolf, that's a pretty beautiful wolf. I mean, you know. There we go. It's all stuck to me. Okay, so yes. Hi, sweet pea. How are you? Oh, this one, Jules. Is this the one you're talking about? I bought this, but I haven't decided if I'm going to make it or not yet. It was It was on sale. Really good price. This one I bought. Sorry here. Sorry. I like that one. one. Uh, That's very cool. I bought this one because it has everything in it. It's just cool. Yeah. It was on grizzly. sale for ten bucks. Okay, I couldn't not buy it. I had to buy it. I mean, the grizzly, the the black bear, the it's got everything. It's bear. awesome. Yeah. No. No, I was gonna gift it to someone, and then I thought, oh, I don't know, maybe I don't. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm not sure I really want to do that, so I don't know. <laughs> you, 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 you have uh, you have definitely uh, Native American blood. That's for sure. Who me? Well, you know, somewhere down the line. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. I got German and Dutch that I know of, but who knows after that? Yeah. No, same as you know. I find this one very beautiful too, and uh, I know it's a drawing, but it's a damn good drawing. Look at how beautiful that is! Oh my God, woman, put the thing right. There we go. Okay, there. See how pretty that is? Like that just screams United States to me. That is beautiful. And that's a drawing. That's not even a like a picture. You uh -huh. know, that's crazy. Crazy gorgeous. Oh, look at all the oh, oh Wow, that's beautiful And that one and that one and that one and that one and that one. Oh nice skull They got some running wolves like running in a pack mm. That's kind of pretty jewels Oh Look at this one. I know it's a drawing, but look how cool that look at that the castle and a wolf howling at the oh i like that that looks like count dracula's castle isn't it <laughs> that looks like uh the bates motel, or not the motel but uh, the mother's house with yeah. the wolf <laughs> Arman! yeah that's but, crazy no, it's, beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful image yeah There's just some oh my god i love this one too i just wow I think it's a photo. Yeah, it looks like a photo. Here, look at this. It's in the snow. See the picture? It's really pretty. It, it's just it's pretty. Really pretty. They're all pretty. You know? Yeah. And I like the... Oh, man. Look at this one now. Oh, God damn it. Why am I shopping? Okay, well, there's a beautiful white wolf. <sighs> And we're only on wolves. If I put white animals, you should see the crap that comes up. <laughs> I'm going to need a whole wall just for that. Do you know Janice, you know? I've got to run these girls to Walmart and drop them off. Okay. I will be back in like 15 minutes. All right, Jules. Okie dokie, Julie, Jules. There's some gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous animals in here. Wow. Oh, yeah. Some, some great images, Janice. Janice, give me two seconds. Sure. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Mm hmm So, anyway, yeah. Um, hello, sweet pea love. How are you doing today? It's nice to see you. We were just looking at some of the diamond paintings. 
that are up for that are available. Mm -hmm. And this is my lovely wolf that Amanda gave me. So, yeah. Thank you, sweet pea. Your, your uh, ASMRs are quite lovely. Very fulfilling. I love them very much. So that's cool. Yeah. I was going to do the E. I could do the E, I guess. Here, why not? What color is E? Let's look at our little thing. And it is four. So now we will find packet number four. Hmm. Let's see what we get here. No, that's 18. Four still looks like it would be blue. It is. Look at that beautiful blue. This has such lovely colors in it. Man, it's so beautiful. All right. So now we are going to go on. Color four. Whoop. Color E is four. Four is E. Yes, yes, yes. It is so pretty. Yeah. Now, when I do my art, I do do it by color, guys, unless it is so huge that I'm not capable of doing it by color. Um, <laughs> like the peacock that's coming up and the wolf. But, you know, I do do my best to try to get it done. I took the plastic off because, unfortunately, when I'm here... Hi, kitty. Unfortunately, when I'm here and the fan is on... It rattles my my paper, so. And I noticed that Marlon is not on today. That's okay. I'm still here, still here. Be right back. That's all right. I'm here. My friend Marlon in the Philippines taking a day off as he much deserves. We got to see some rats today. That was fun. Thank you for that. Got some really, really, really lovely. Some really lovely stuff coming from Amazon today. All right. So would you like to see what's coming today, Colin? Yeah. What'd you get? What's, well, uh... it's not here, but I'll show you anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where are we here? <laughs> All right, you may have seen them, you may not have seen them. Um, this is coming today, guys. My beautiful uh, white unicorn. Unicorn. Wow. I just love this whole. I just love the whole thing. So, and it was a very good price. Yeah. Also, another one that was a very, they had a sale. Like, I've spent a lot of money. So, here is the black unicorn. Very nice. It's just pretty. I, I mean, it's just pretty. I don't know. I love the butterflies along with Yeah, them. it's very special. Oh, and of course, because I don't have, I mean, I'm giving all my skulls away. So, mm -hmm. I bought that. Because okay. it's cool. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you not love that? It's just so gorgeous. And also on sale, by the way. One, two, yep, those three are coming. And what's this one still? I don't know if you saw this or not, but I'm going to show you again anyway. Um, here, this this holds a lot of meaning to me for a lot of reasons. But um, mm -hmm. this one, it's not here yet. It's coming from China, as you know. But that's my pirate ship one. Oh, uh, no, that's awesome. Now, what I love about this, I like the rock. I love the color, the sky colors. Oh, just fabulous. Anything, anything to do with like the old ships. That yeah. Used to sail across the world. And this. Like, yeah. My, my father, when he retired, he bought a 42 foot sailboat. Mm -hmm. Now I realize that's not a sailboat. Right. But it reminds me of his boat. It just. Because it's a boat. I don't know. It's just that's yeah. what it reminds me of. Um, this one I got a couple weeks ago. It's a dragon, obviously. I love dragons too, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, this one came. I don't know if you saw this one. This one I'm keeping because it reminds me of Charlene. But 
Uh, and anybody who's watching this, sorry if you've seen these before, but this is the one I picked for Charlene. So, oh, wow. big the man. Yeah, man. It's, double it's, decker. Uh, yeah, this I'm going to keep because it reminds me of her. So. Black taxi. I love it. A new old phone box. I love it. Do you know what, Janice? I, you know, I'm, I'm sure you saw, you you remember those uh, old phone boxes up in Canada, also. You know, um, but I remember those. You know, although they were predominantly, uh, you know, it was something you you know you'd, you'd have saw like in London or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I remember even living in Ireland, you no, know, in Northern Ireland, we had those mm -hmm. big red phone boxes. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's come back. And not even that long ago. Well, for some people, long ago, but I'm going back to the early 80s. Yeah. Yeah, with those uh, big red phone boxes. Then they took them away. I know you saw this, right? No, I didn't see that one, but it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's gorgeous, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so wow. that is the one that I'm keeping to remind me of people in the States that I know. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you know, on this one is one of the ones I gave to Squirrel. I don't know if you saw his unboxing, but I sent Squirrel. Did you see this box I sent Squirrel? No, I didn't. But that's oh, you should see it. You'll go nuts. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> it's um. I'm sure he. You. I'm sure he appreciated that deep in his heart because that's 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 a cool snap. Okay, so Colin. Mm -hmm. This is my this is my page. See, it says white chipmunk at the top. If mm -hmm. you go into playlists, my this is you'll see my crazy chipmunk friends. Hit that, and it is this top video right here. American reacts to a package from Canada. That's from me. See? Okay, so that's on YouTube. Yeah, that's on my channel. If you go okay. into playlists. Yeah. And the top one is uh, Squirrel, and then the second one is also Squirrel. It's a short. And then the third one is Julie's fan appreciation when I sent her a gift. And then the fourth one, which was actually the first one, was Joey. So what right. I decided is when I'm sending people stuff, I'll just add it there. Because that way, like I just said to you, did you see it? Now, it does link to Squirrel's channel, not mine, as it should. But mm -hmm. that way you can see it, and it's easy to find it. You just go there, and there it is. So, okay. Mm -hmm. I sent him a lot of stuff actually. It was uh yeah, it was three really tightly wrapped packages in one package. So it yeah, was squirrels. squirrels a good guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> it was it so was fun. Some, something funny, something yummy, and something lovely. And I sent him two diamond paintings and I won't tell you the rest. You can go and watch it. It's got a lot of views. I put a lot of thought into that gift. Yeah. And many months of work because there's two diamond paintings in there too, and they took me a while to do. So I know you guys think I'm really fast. And you know, when it's a gift for someone else, I'm not as fast, trust me. Because everything has to be perfect because I'm a perfectionist, because I'm a Gemini, and that's what we are. So can't help it. it You're is a Gemini. Crazy. I so, am. What's uh what what's a month? June. You're June? Oh, so you're right, right. Well, we're in July. I but just had my birthday, yeah. Like uh, the first week of June. So, well, I'm I'm on the cusp. I'm okay. uh, sometimes Libra, sometimes Virgo. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah. Gemini's the twin. Gemini's, I always see both sides to every argument. I both see both sides to every everything. And it's mm -hmm. not necessarily a good thing because. Sometimes you don't want to be neutral. Sometimes you don't want to be on the good side of something or the bad side of something. You just want to be, but it doesn't work that way. Yeah, so. you just want peace, you know. But, uh, you know, being on the cusp, it's like crazy, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like topsy-turvy. <laughs> oh, there's Charlene. Hello, Charlene. How are you doing? Hey, Charlene. How's the chipmunks? I would have come on, but I was out shopping. I went back, didn't see Princess, but she's okay. I'm getting dinner. Okay, then. Wow. That's a lot of stuff there, Miss Sure. 
I am working on my wolf, as you can see. I'm hoping that uh, I have no idea what to do next. I also got, uh, just so you know, Colin, mm -hmm. I also got a, I also got a package of square. These are round diamonds. Mm -hmm. I got a package of square diamonds and it looks like it's going to be really tough. Um, round diamond paintings leave a little bit of room for error. Square diamond paintings leave zero room for error because they block the whole entire piece, right? Mm -hmm. So if you don't put them on exact, it's going to look like a mess. And I am not looking forward to that. <laughs> but I thought, well, if I'm going to do a diamond painting class, I really should do one of the special, one of the square, and one of the round, right? All these ones I've done have been round, by the way, because uh, they're the easiest. They're just the easiest to do, as you can kind of see as I go here. Um, and this is slow because I have to concentrate on the chat and the downstairs because Joey gets mad at me when he's in the basement for too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. His, his message come came on, up. Come on, woman. Yeah. What are you doing? His message came up there a while ago. I just, I just. If you see it, it, if you see it, by all means, say something. Because when I'm in other people's streams and they don't see it, I say something. I mean. Yeah, but I mean, if the chipmunks are in the playpen, especially if they're in the playpen, I'm always watching them intently. And mm -hmm. I may miss seeing someone because I'm trying to make sure I don't lose where the chipmunk is going before it ends up six feet up on the top of a cage. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit more important. Now, in this case, I mean, I can talk and do this for probably forever, but because um, no, it's I really... It's not really not that hard. I mean, you should give one a shot. I'm telling you, they got me. Yeah, no, it looks, it looks spectacular. You know what? If, if I, you know, I, I put that on my wall. You know, I'm I'm a big guy for you know, you know, photographs and. You can you know. make your own. You can make your own from a photograph. Yeah, anything artistic. Oh, really? Yeah. You can make your own from a photograph. Yes, you can. You know, like like of of somebody. Yep. Really? Yeah. I'm not even kidding. It's totally. That, that's phenomenal. Yeah. That's phenomenal. So, uh, if you, you, so if you find a picture, you find a picture of something you want, and you would make it into a diamond art painting, then you let me know, and I will help you figure out how to. I will help you. I will help you figure out how to order it. It's really wow. not that hard. It's really quite simple. I got the custom chipmunk one, if you may remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's from a photograph. So no, that's that. That's actually that's exciting. What you just said because you know I can think of so many things. You know. And well, so pick one. Think about what one would mean the most to you that you would never want to ever have it be. That you'd like something that you really, really like or something like a person or a event, um, something. And then uh, let me know and we'll get you, we'll get it into a diamond art for you. It's really not that hard, really. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, there might be something like, I, I think I've told you guys before. I'll tell you one more time. I have a friend who didn't know what to get her parents for their 50th anniversary, 50th anniversary. HR. So she got she got a picture of their wedding. It was in black and white. Mm -hmm. And she got a picture of their wedding and she had it made into a, a diamond art and she had it framed for their anniversary. I mean, how cool is that? Yeah, see so, something like that is spectacular. And that's right. that's that's along my thinking. Right. Of, of, it doesn't of, matter if it's black and white, it'll just be shades of grays. Right? So yeah. Shades of like, just like this is like, just like if you're looking on this, especially on this side here, um, mm -hmm. see, see all the shades of here. Look at all the shades of blues in this. Mm -hmm. Those are all blues. Look at all blues, shades yeah. of blues, right? To make a beautiful gradual. See, so if you have a black and white photo, obviously it would have some white, obviously it would have some black. 
but um it would also have shades of grays there's got to be 50 shades of well at least in these there's there's got to be 50 shades of every color there's just i mean they have everything you can imagine right uh -huh. so if you can think of something yeah i really want a custom one of princess yeah i know sure so yeah i see you have a picture of lincoln on your wall yeah that might yeah. be a cool diamond art actually I mean, uh, I don't know for whatever reason, but I think it's cool. So, you know. Yeah, you know, anything, anything that got there will be, you know, spectacular. Or else, and even if, if um, Colin, even if it's a picture that you took yourself and it's one of your favorite photographs for whatever reason, like I wish I could find my Grand Canyon photos mm -hmm. because there was glass in the bottom of the plane. Like there's glass in the middle of the plane. So I took all my photographs down through it. Right. So they're all of the canyon with the with the rock and the can you imagine a diamond painting of that? Oh amazing. You're right, right? And I yeah. took the photos myself. So you know, go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, I was just gonna say, you know, you mentioned the Grand Canyon. I remember years, years ago. I used to work in a place uh, developing photographs, mm -hmm. you know, and I remember this person from Ireland had just mm -hmm. been back, you know, from uh, Colorado area, and you know, when they'd visit visited mm -hmm. the the Grand Canyon, yep. And I developed their photographs. You know, it was all scenery, all scenery. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I actually asked them mm -hmm. at that time. Because, you know, I actually asked them for a negative or for mm -hmm. one or two negatives of the photographs of the yep. Grand Canyon. Because, you know, and they, they were taken that way like a Kodak 24 mm -hmm. picks, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and, uh, yeah, and they, you know, they were cool. Small town where I grew up, you know, they had no problem. There you go, you know what I mean? And uh, I, I got those photographs of the Grand Canyon. They're gorgeous. I mean, people have no, if you haven't, okay. I've only been to the Grand Canyon once granted, but I went through it in a helicopter. Okay. That was like oh, an wow. hour tour. Hi, Nina. I went through an hour tour of the Grand Canyon in a helicopter. You, you cannot get pictures like that unless you do it that way. You can't, you can't see it. It's, oh, it's overhead. You can't, like you can't climb, you can't see down to the bottom where the river is because you have to be way above it to see it, right? Mm -hmm. Now that was, oh my God, that was 27, 20, 20, oh my God. I went to college at 27 and I'm 54, so 28, maybe 27, uh, 37, 47. Yeah, like a long, over 25 years ago. Yeah. Um, but wow, man, those photos are, they're gold. They're just gold. And also, too, at the time, Colin, I was taking journalism in college. Mm -hmm. And I was learning black and white photography in a dark room. So I took half my pictures in color and half in black and white. And then all the black and white ones I developed myself when I got back to school. Mm-hmm. So they're, 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 I mean, they're, I have an eye for photographs, apparently. Uh, so. You know, you know, that, that's something just now that you touch the base on, that's mm -hmm. something I would always like to get in there is photography. Mm -hmm. It's really fun, especially when you're using a, a, a now remember, this is pre cell phones. You guys got to remember this is pre cell phones. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is a Kodak camera. Yeah. Um, it's at school and this is when you do the kind of photography that you have to manipulate the lenses. You have to, you have to figure out your apertures and you have to figure out your timing and like it's an, an actual skill, not just yeah. your yeah. cell phone and, and your angles, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess you, you got to lie on your belly. You got to lie on your belly. Yeah. I took this. It's very cool. Um, I mean, I don't know if you guys would like it, but my, I won an award for it. So um mm -hmm. at school so what happened was every now and again when they replace our police cars they mm -hmm. replace 
like a whole fleet of police cars. They don't just replace a couple. They get a new, like, say they decide they're going to use the Dodge Charger now because it's so much faster and blah, 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 right? So mm. then they end up having like a hundred Intrepids or something that they don't use now, right? Mm -hmm. So they strip them all and they sell them to the car dealership and they get sold off, right? Like they take the computers out of them and they take the lights off, but you know they're police cars because you do, right? Mm -hmm. So I was going by the dealership by my house at the time and I noticed this huge row of cars and they were all white intrepids and I knew they were former police cars. I knew they were because I, I, I knew and um, I took a photograph and they're all, Colin, there's got to be a hundred of them. There's got to be like they're in this line. Okay. And I took the photograph this way. Okay, so the biggest bumper is here, and then a little smaller, little smaller, little smaller, little like in a pan, like a, a landscape. And it's all the cars in a row, right to the last one, and it's cropped this way. So all you see is their bumpers and the lights, and they go all the way down. I won an award for that from my school. So um, I also, hey, you know what else, Colin? It's kind of cool. Mm hmm. I want to, have you heard of Crime Stoppers? Yeah. Oh, you've heard of that? Okay, well, I won an award. Yeah, from I, I used to watch it. Oh, I, I, got, I got an award from Crime Stoppers here in Ontario for helping them break. Um, there was a whole bunch of break-ins and stuff going on at my college in the evenings, like in the, mm -hmm. in the night times, in the evenings. Mm-hmm. And I helped them figure out who was doing it. So I got an award from Crime Stoppers for my diligence and uh, my photography skills. <laughs> hey, fair play. That's, that's, that's uh, pretty cool. That's a nice one on the CV for sure. I would, I would not have done that again given my, like, you know, this is when you're talking, like, I wouldn't have done it again. Um, I mean, I could have ended up. Janice, what was the name of the guy that uh, he was... He was the. Uh, no, I, I, I'm thinking of no. I, I've, I've watched Crime Stoppers, but maybe I'm thinking of America's Most Wanted. Yeah, no, it wasn't that. It's a uh, Crime Stoppers is basically a group in on like it's actually like an anonymous tip line that you can report stuff that's happening or stuff that you see, and and you help the police catch people doing bad things and I helped them catch yeah. the people that were doing that. So I got recognized. I got a, actually, I got an award from crime stoppers and I got a letter from the chief of police thanking me for doing their job for them basically. But no, I didn't awesome. say that, but now Not Char big. says, Oh, hang on. I got to read this private chat. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. My, my dad's appointment tomorrow. I see when he'll be out. Hopefully it'll be this week. Sorry, I missed your live. I didn't even know there was no link. Yeah. I don't know what to say about that. My food is ready. Having chip shop. I will see if I'm still here. Miss Char. Okie doke. Sorry. Chip shop sounds good. Yeah. I had fish and chips the other day too. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're lucky. Hi. It, we have a place, Colin, here that does... Uh, oh, I might have a picture. I know, I send it to people. I know it's weird, but I'll explain why in a minute. I take pictures of my food sometimes. When I have out food, I tend to mm -hmm. take a picture of it. Oh, here. And this was just the other day, Colin. So here mm -hmm. we go. This was just the other day. There you go. Whoa. Yeah. Haddock. Nice. No, nope. yeah, haddock, homemade coleslaw, beautiful French fries, and beef gravy made from scratch. Oh my gosh! That comes with a drink, and it is like eleven bucks. Bye, yeah. Char. Bye, Char. Bye, Char. Thank you. So yeah, I send that to people because well, part of the reason I do that too is so we can compare because our fish and chips don't look anything like mixed fish and chips. They probably don't look like your fish and chip like. It depends where you get them from. I haven't had a decent fish and <gasps> chip for many years. I, I, That's I, but too bad. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you Janice. Yep. I, I tell you, the last and the best uh, fish and chips I had was in, uh, it was up in uh, Gettysburg. I visited uh, Gettysburg. I bet. Mm -hmm. and, uh, 
there was a, a pub in, in the street, you know. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> they, they had a small menu, mm -hmm. but a very spectacular menu. Yep. And uh, I got the fish and chips on there. And uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, you know, you can get cod, you can get a sure. haddock or yep. pollock, you know. But you know, I, it was the haddock that day, and it was a, it was a big, yeah, slice of fish. Yep. With the chips in there, and mm -hmm. then you the, malt, the malt vinegar. Oh the yeah, I love malt vinegar. Oh. And you know what? I, you know. I, I would drive there. I would drive there every weekend for, for yeah, the Yeah, I believe it. Unbelievable. But, uh, you know, it's been a while since I've been back up there. But, you know, I relate to what you're saying. And, and what you showed me is like, yum. It's yeah. I mean, and it's so reasonably priced. Yeah, it's so simple. Now, halibut, which is much more expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like halibut as much because it's too greasy. It's got too much grease. I know it. I just don't. I like haddock better. I just do. No, um, me too. I do like. Okay, now I'll say this too. They only sell haddock and halibut. That's all the fish that they sell there. That's it. Because those are the most too popular. Mm -hmm. um, but myself at home, I will eat cod, and I will yeah. eat. Um, I'll eat cod, and I will eat haddock and i will sometimes eat um pollock yeah it might be that one mm -hmm. tilapia Tila Tila yeah that's a, yeah. Bottom, a bottom feeder that's yeah a, i if there's nothing pollock. else i would rather eat that than no fish yeah because you're supposed to, okay i know guys this is what they say here i don't know if you listen to them so you should have seafood two to three times a week. It's good for your body. <laughs> it's good for your everything, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Because they say pork and beef are very hard to digest. And that the average American is holding a ton of beef in their body and they don't even realize it. Yeah. So, well, for, okay, Colin, I'm not talking a person like, okay, the last time I had a steak was, um, I can't remember. So there you go. We're not even this year. So, um. If I eat steak, it's filet mignon. I don't eat like normal steak. Um, right, right. I eat the highest quality because because it's the easiest to digest and it tastes. I think it tastes the best. That's Absolutely. well, no, but I eat. That's not true. Wait, I make homemade tacos too all the time, and I use extra lean ground beef drained to hell. So, um, but the reason I make homemade tacos is because I need the iron from the beef. But basically. It's like having vegetables. Like tacos to me is like one little bit of beef like this and then this much vegetables on top. <laughs> so it's yeah. basically like, it's like salad with little meat chunks on top of it. <laughs> it's not like, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, exactly. You know. Oh, wait, I, I might have. Oh, wait, Colin, I might have a picture of my tacos too. Hang on. <laughs> I just like you know, I have eleven thousand photos in my tablet. Eleven thousand <laughs> photos. Okay, seriously. I you have no I like people look at this and go, oh my God, how do you even and I'm like, well, you know, I don't know, but okay, so there's fish and chips, right? Okay, hang on. And I also have the Chinese food from my birthdays in here too. Um, because I was trying to explain to people how much food you get for how much money so that they could like have something to Reflect. Oh, here you go, Colin. I'll show you this. This is my. Oh, hang on. This is my favorite pizza. This is a Canadian pizza. There you go. That is pepperoni, bacon, and mushrooms. Woo! Look at that. Does that not look? Oh, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. I, it, I, it, I like a pizza every now and then, Janice. I like really, yeah, every now and then, yeah. Um. I can't eat it too, too much. Like, it's not good for you. It's really not. Um, I'm trying to get better about eating better things, but. I'm a, I'm a big margarita guy. Just oh, the old traditional, cool. you know. Um, but uh, no, what you showed me, I could, yeah. I could, I could eat that whole thing. <laughs> oh, no, not me. 
I can eat a little less than half of it and then I eat a couple pieces for lunch the next day and then oh did you see my birthday cake Colin no oh you sure you want to see this yeah yeah absolutely. Oh, this is tuxedo cake my friend wow yeah <laughs> this is <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because this is like a week before I this is a week after I told my doctor I'd go on a diet forgetting that my birthday was coming and I always have this is the only time of the year I eat cake and it's the only time of the year that I eat whatever the hell I want for dinner and I don't care because it's my birthday this is this is tuxedo cake okay looks this, like a tiramisu this looks, is looks delicious this is vanilla mousse mm -hmm. this is white chocolate this is ganache chocolate, and this is fudge cake, okay? Damn. Now, just so you know, Mr. Colin, oh that is the edge of the cake. See that? Wow. Those are shaved pieces of shaved chocolate. White and... and Disgusting. Uh, I know. It's about 802,000 calories, and I didn't even care. Okay. No, that's delicious. Delicious. Oh, here oh. you go. And here, Colin, was my birthday dinner. Now, I will... I'm going to go through this. It takes two of us three days to eat this. Two people, three days. Okay. So we have sweet and sour chicken. We have chicken fried rice. We have chicken chow mein. We have soft noodles. We have beef with diced vegetables and almonds. And we have six chicken roll, uh, egg rolls, which are over here. And then this is General Tao's chicken. Whoa. Three days, two people. It's about sixty bucks, but it's two people. Oh, so good stuff. Good stuff. Oh my god. For gosh. three days though, right? So that's pretty that's pretty good. Okay, I'm looking for my wonderful tacos because every time I show people this, they're like, Oh my god, I'm coming over. I got I can't stand it. I gotta come over and have that. So um, I'm just looking for it in my midst of so much crap I have on here. My god, gone. Oh, so much pictures in here and so much beautiful stuff. Do, 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 do. Let me see. I know it's in here. Oh, there's the cat. And there's that and the dandelions. And nothing is organized, of course. Because if I was going to actually organize my 11,000 pictures, it would probably take me a month to put them all into different categories, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So I don't. I just leave them all in here. Oh, here you go, Colin. There's one. Okay. Sorry to say, this is only the sides. But there's the sides to my tacos. Nice. So this is all, uh, this obviously red peppers, um, calamala olives, fresh mushrooms. There is diced green onion, diced cucumbers. Cucumber cheddar cheese, grape tomatoes, and this is a combination of lettuce. It's spring mix, so it's probably kale, spinach, ugh, kale, spinach, um, some various greens. Anyway, that's this, this is what goes on them. So, yeah. yum. Looks phenomenal. Oh Doesn't my God. it look good? Yeah, I'm getting hungry. I know. Colorful, and oh, and here we go, Colin. Here you go. So here we have... <laughs> Are you hungry now? Okay. Yeah. I, hear, so I, heard a, I heard a rumble. In the, I heard a rumble in the jungle. Yeah. Here is my Greek salad. On here, that is my Greek salad with all that crap in it. Yum. What else have I got in here? Hmm. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, fish and Greek salad. See, I started what I did, Colin. I started saving my meals for my dietitian. She said, take a picture of what you eat for a week. So I made this category and I have all this food in it. <laughs> That's what I ate for a week. So not the Chinese food, though. That was a different time. That but, was a celebration. Well, I said to my doctor, too, I said, listen, you know what? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I got to lose some weight. Who the hell doesn't? But anyway, I got to lose some weight. Yes, I know I've been lazy. Yes, I've been locked down too. So you can't fault me for that. Right. Um, I quit smoking right before COVID came. Yeah, yay. So that didn't help at all. 
No, mm -hmm. they, then you got the munchies for sure. I know. Like I replaced, okay, the only way I could quit smoking, and this is me, okay, me only. It doesn't mean it applies to anybody else in the world, but for me, the only way I could switch, quit smoking was to start eating way more food because it, it made me think not think about smoking. Mm -hmm. Well, it is what it is. Um, here you go, Colin. This is a different uh, this is a different setup for tacos, and that has fried onions in it. So, wow. Yeah. So Lovely. there you go. That's a typical what goes into my tacos. So I love those little little tomatoes as well. I you know what's you know want to hear something really funny? You'll think I'm so weird, but it's okay. Um, the big you know the big tomatoes, the normal ones that you eat. Mm -hmm. Um, they give me terrible heartburn. And the little grape tomatoes do not give me any heartburn. Yeah. Yeah, weird, right? I know. No, not. I mean, at all. even even look at this. This was what I this is what I made for my for my chipmunks. I mean, look at that. Look how nice that looks. <laughs> wow. Everything's kind. Of, I know, right? People look at this and they go, "Holy Christ, your animals eat better than I do." And I'm like, "Well, that's not. I'm only responsible for my stuff, not yours. So if you oh, don't okay. eat, if you don't eat well, that's not." on me if you were here you'd eat well so um yeah. and i'm not necessarily talking like well money wise i'm talking variety and you know like the chipmunks have like 20 things in their diet that's the way it is it's it is that's the way it is so yeah oh, here you go i'm gonna publish this next year i think this was about five years ago this is our walmart parking lot look at this that was winter look what they did to this car Covered. That, that's snow. And that was a snow plow that, that plowed you in? That's not my car, but yeah. Wow. Well, that's what happens. They tell you not to park in this certain spot, and if you do, that's what happens to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you, they tell you not to. Oh, here you go, Colin. Oh, my God. This is what my this is this is what my hubby's dinner looks like when he eats Chinese food. Look at that pile. My God. That looks good. <laughs> I, I say, I say, I say with them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's all the like General Tao's chicken is too hot for me. I don't actually eat that one, but mm -hmm. um, I can't eat anything spicy. So, um, yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I I got some. I, I got don't. Some. Mind, I don't mind a bit of spice, you know. You know, yeah. come back, come back, you know. Quite a few years ago, I used to love spice, you know, but, you know, as everybody says, spice with flavor, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, but now, you know, yeah. you know, as I said, in two months, September 23rd, I'll be 47. Yeah. You know, I cannot, I, I cannot take in as much spice as what I used to do. No, you me know? either. I can't eat any of it now. None. You know, although, although I still love it. Yeah, me too, but my body does not want me to have it anymore. Yeah. Hey, you want to see a cool picture? Uh-huh. Check this out. This is from a video, by the way. Look at that. That's my cat's eye. Oh, nice. Isn't that pretty? The colors in it? Look at that. Yeah. Look how freaking cool that. Man, I want to... I should put out a video like this and ask people to figure out what it is. Now you'll already have guessed, but look at the color in that. Oh my God, man. Yeah. That's an iPhone too. It's almost like one of those, uh, what do you call them? Siloscope. Mm-hmm. Remember? Cool, right? to, yeah. I used to look through and you remember when we were kids, you had yes, them. Yes. I love see, those. Yeah. That, that's, that, that's a spectacular photograph. Yeah. And it's a cat's eye. With cat's eyes. It are is. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great, but yeah, you just captured everything there. Yeah, you know? I love. I mean, I love filming my animals. I really do. Mm -hmm. um, this is one of my favorites. That's Chaz, of course, with his, with his mullet, with his millet, millet, right? That's millet, bird millet. Mm -hmm. And he loves that stuff to death. He'll take the whole thing from me. He'll just fight me. Until he pulls off like a 12 inch piece and then runs away with it. So that's fun. <laughs> um, yeah, they fight me for food a lot. You guys just don't see it. So um, I do have some fun videos in there, Colin, that you would probably really like. Um, 
I know I do because I know I have all kinds of stuff in there. And there's stuff that appeals to all different, like there's stuff that appeals to all different people. You know, like each thing, I'm going to just, hang on. I'm going to retake this if I can. Because mm -hmm. Char's always bugging me for a picture of my black spiny mouse. And I, I never, I never have one. So I'm going to try to do this and see if. Oh, no, that's the wrong button. Oh, it's up there. Yeah, it's my tablet. I don't I don't do stuff with my tablet. I do all my editing on it because obviously it's a good size. And there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so anyway, um, that's my black spiny mouse that you guys never get to see. That's Boots. She's uh, yeah, she's Egyptian. She's an Egyptian spiny mouse. She has spikes on her back. Is she is she the one with a long tail? That's an acacia rat, yeah. yeah I That's that. a different animal altogether, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, they're pretty cool, too. Yeah. If you go actually, Colin, if you ever really want to see, like, I know you didn't see this one here. That's a that's a baby zebra mouse. I know you haven't seen this either, but uh, my last one died last year, so... Um, if you go into special feature, it'll give you a variety of the animals I've owned. So it'll say special feature acacia rats or special feature, I don't know, mice or chipmunks. Where does, or, where does the, the baby uh, zebra moist come from? <laughs> Look at that. It's it's a kitty. Beast, man. That's my cat being all snarky. And Anyway, what? I'm sorry. Was that buttons? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sir. Where does the where does the uh, the baby zebra moose originate from? Okay, so zebra mice are also African. Mm -hmm. They are very very smell. I don't know if you guys know that African rodents have no smell. So male mice have to be one of the stinkiest animals in the world. Okay, they're disgusting. They mark all their property. They oh, yeah. have a musky urine. Imagine having a cat that isn't fixed. Oh, like, yeah. Okay, now, also, too, Colin, all my animals are litter trained. So I only have to clean the litter boxes. I don't have, but it takes time, but it, it's worth doing, obviously. Um, but because, because African animals barely drink any water, right. they barely ever pee. So, I mean... If they barely ever pee, they certainly can't smell because right. like a male rat probably pees like 50 times a day. It's just. Okay. Yeah, it's it's not like our, our domestic, our domestic mice or, you know, no. here. Oh, no, they're way different. So, every, every, every step they, they pee or they shit. No, oh, dude. You know? I mean, even Princess, every time I take her out and put her on my shoulder, she pees on me every time. That's mm -hmm. fine. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I haven't made the video yet, but I'm making a video called um, how to, it'll be either how to wear your hair and it'll be where, how to wear your hair when you have rodents or how to choose what clothes you wear. Because I have rodent clothes and I have, I okay, this here, if you look at this, here, I'll show you. I know you've seen this. So this is mm -hmm. how you wear your hair when you have rodents. Because if you don't, mm -hmm. they get in it and they get tangled. And you have to pull them out. And it's horrible. So you have to have like, okay, so what I do is I always have one set of rodent clothes per week. Okay. So what that is, is, is a specific, it's usually a paint color, a paint covered pair of pants and a torn t-shirt or something. Mm -hmm. And it's something that you don't mind getting pee and poop on all week long because they'd basically be garbage anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, if you're going to own rodents, you better get used to being peed and pooped on because that's what they do. It's They're very small, so they have very active Bleh. bladders and, you know... Um, but if you wear your hair the right way and you wear the right clothes, it, it minimizes it. Um, sometimes, yes, sometimes I've been in a hurry to go get something and I've run out of the house in my rodent clothes and, well, you know, wasn't maybe the best smelling person.
but um you know um and then you just wash them you just wash them every week it's really yeah. not that big a deal like you i have a little pile of clothes they also might be something that's still like um it's way too big for me now or it's a little small for me like it's stuff that you normally wouldn't even like you don't put on your calvin clients to freaking handle rodents you just don't right. do that right you don't wear a hundred dollar nike shoes you don't you know you just you <laughs> wear you know what i mean yeah and then that way also you don't you don't mind so much if you get peed and pooped on because you're not even in decent clothes like who cares it's you know yeah. um, and you know what what's what's amazing is that they get they know you they what sorry it's what, what what's amazing is uh they get they get to know know you know you yeah oh yeah they, yeah they yeah they get climb to... on me all the time you guys mm -hmm. just don't see it it's very difficult for me i will just add it is very difficult i don't get any help filming my videos okay so uh -huh. if i have a chipmunk on me and i'm trying to make and i'm trying to tape it, it it's really difficult because i have to tape it with the camera facing me which is really weird i never do that mm -hmm. and um i only have two hands and one's holding a phone so it's it's really hard <laughs> it's really hard sometimes now one of them got stuck in my hair when it was down and one of them got all wrapped up in my hair and i actually had to cut a piece of my hair out in the back underneath because i couldn't get them untangled so I now wear it up. Even if I wear it in a ponytail. Now, also, too, you may have seen some of my videos or lives where the where the chipmunks will sit on top of the bun on my head. They, it's the high like chipmunks like to be at the highest point, okay? Because they mm -hmm. like to look down on stuff. And uh, so, if I put the bun on my hair in a bun, they'll sit on the bun and then they'll just sit there because they're like they're content, right? um it just makes it less because they have long nails they have long nails and i don't want to rip their like i don't want to rip their nails you know yeah um, well you know I suppose, I suppose that's their uh although they're, they're they're not predators obviously but you know that's you know their predatory instinct for their own defense yeah you know? people don't realize that chipmunks chipmunks are not vegetarians i don't know why people are so shocked to hear this mm -hmm. um like the other day uh chaz has been losing a bit of weight and so i've been giving him very high very high i just actually i just gave him cat food starting yesterday because i'm a little concerned and my cat's food is about 38 percent protein it's pretty good stuff Mm -hmm. so um it's very high you know that's the dry food that's the one i leave out for her all the time but i just put like a couple of handfuls into chaz's cage because i want him to gain more get weight the, faster. Get, the, get the pounds back on again you know yeah yeah i'm trying but it's what's wrong man why is he not eating yeah it could be age he's six years old now oh wow uh, I, I don't know. It could be like he's I'm looking at him right now. He's fine. He looks fine to me. Um, he's actually gained a bit of it back, so it's OK. But I, I have to be really on that kind of stuff. You know, um, it's important. Now, all the white chipmunks that had lost weight have all gained it back. So I'm hoping by giving him the same things um now he ate five crickets the other day by himself i was like holy freaking hell man how do you eat so much <laughs> how do you eat so much crickets um keeping in mind colin mm -hmm. that we've been closed down you can't buy live crickets when we're closed down right. so it's affecting their diet it's effect because they used to have crickets every tuesday that's cricket day it's just what it is that's the day that my that's the day that my hubby that's the only day of the week my hubby has off work when he's working is tuesdays so tuesday is cricket tuesday <laughs> but now they haven't had crickets in like months and it's affecting their weight like that's a very high protein right yeah no absolutely phone. don't do that phone please don't don't do that phone thank you
There we go. So, oops, yeah, I don't even see any of them in there. Where are you? Oh, yeah, there's one up on the. Can you see the one at the oh. top in the in the black thing? Yeah, he's chilling. He's looking down. Here, there you go. So she's up in the Sputnik. <laughs> That's a Sputnik, by the way. And mm -hmm. one of them obviously just hit that stick, so they've gone by. But uh, yeah. So yeah, I've had some really interesting animals, honestly. Um, yeah, over the years, I've had some beautiful mice. I mean, you would just go nuts if I showed you them. I miss well, them very much, but yeah. Well, well, it seems like uh, you've you've taken something on from uh, your pops, you know, yeah. come back from the early days, you know, for the love of chipmunks and. <gasps> um, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Mm hmm. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What? Look. Look, Colin, look. That's my front door. There's my Amazon packages outside. Awesome. I'm going to go get them. Is that okay? Yeah, uh, yeah. no, go ahead. Go ahead. Because I don't want my neighbors to steal them. I know that sounds terrible, but... It happens. It happens. Let me no. go get those. Okay, I'm going to run and I'll be right back. All right. So excited. I love mail. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, great. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, dude, this is so heavy. Okay. Hang on, I'm climbing back over. Okay, I'm back. Okay. Still here. Oh, you got your packages? Oh my god, wait till you see the one I just got. This one here. I can't even lift it, it's so heavy. Well, how about we'll open it? How's that? You want to see what's in it? Mr. Colin? Yeah, what'd you order? Uh, I got, well, I, I'm always ordering stuff from Amazon. Yeah, me too. Um, I've also now, just recently, holy crap, that was heavy. <sighs> okay, one second. Let me just do this because... I don't care what Joey says. I am not leaving my address public because I'm not. I have enough problems in my own country with people stalking my animals. Mm. <laughs> it's just what they do. I don't know. Yeah. They don't need to know where I'm at, right? Exactly. Right. So we'll just cross those out. I gave squirrel hell too. The first time he did the video on my stuff, he uh, left my address uncovered. And I said, the only thing, and I tell everybody this too, I'm like, you know what? I have a, I have an address where my mail goes to in Canada. It's not my address, but that's really not the point. Um, but people can send it to me and he'll make sure I get it. So I have a younger brother. I already told you that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have stuff sent to him in case. Anyway, uh, Yes, yeah, squirrel. The only thing I said, I was like, there's like six notes inside for you, and there's this, and there's that, and there's this. And he's like, is there anything I can't show? And I'm like, yeah, I don't show my address on the front because it's not even mine. And that's the only thing that he did. And I was like, ah, but he fixed it, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one thing I ask, and it's the one thing you do. And I'm like, oh my god, this is craziness. So we're gonna we're gonna move this crap off. There we go. Uh, so we have this. Oh my God! We have this 
freaking bo- oh my god it's huge damn that's heavy it's huge okay here we go oh my god here hang on oh okay oh scissors <laughs> okay oh my good god it's just wow Ugh. Ugh. there we go wow oh my god do they ever send your stuff with these colin yeah yeah i hate these things yeah these are not good to have in an environment with cats and rodents uh-huh not good but okay so here i keep telling you guys these are sold out all the time this is what my cat eats <laughs> So you can't even get it at the grocery store anymore, by the way. It's always sold out. So there's four containers of these. That's why it weighs so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they were sold out for four months, by the way, of this stuff. So, yeah. Um, well, this is the only place I can buy it. They don't sell it in the store anymore. Well, they do, but it's always sold out. So now I just order it from Amazon. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's crazy. Janice, you know, you know, I went on the Walmart on yeah. Saturday. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's not Whoa. not just not just Saturday. You know, uh, yeah. I'm talking like previous, <gasps> and uh, the shelves are empty. I know it because this is why you need to shop with Amazon. See, can you see this little picture here of the skull? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this diamond art. This is in a package. Look at the color in this. Yeah. See, look how nice that is. Wow, that's gorgeous. So this is my this is my skull and dragon, as you can see. Yeah. And this is my black unicorn. With yeah, the, the photographs you showed me. Yeah. Huh? Yep. And then, okay, so this is empty. Oh, there's another one too. Holy crap, man! Okay, here we go. Do you, you get those? You, you get those uh, portraits, or you know the, those. That art uh, artifacts you get them off uh, Amazon. The diamond paintings. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. And what yeah, also? there's all kinds of them. Yeah, and also what what you said to me earlier, you know, you know, you know, like like if you had a photograph or something. Wow. Yeah. You wow. could actually have the same thing. This one is bigger, as you can see. This is the this is the white unicorn. Look at how it's bigger than the other ones. See, look at. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, all right. Yay! Four diamond arts. Just what I needed to go with the other twenty-five. I haven't done. Yeah. Awesome. They Janice, had a sale. I couldn't resist. Yeah. Janice, when you're when you uh, when you complete uh, that diamond art. What, mm -hmm. do, you hang it, do you hang it up in your house, or? I'm not sure yet. I Most of them I've given away, honestly. Right, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Now, yeah. the one that Amanda got me, I obviously I can't give that away. Mm-hmm. Because I can't, because it's a gift, and I would not give a gift away. Right. Because uh, that just has a whole lot of other, that, it, it's just not right. You can't give a gift away. That's just stupid. No, I'm not anyway, I'm going to show you what I showed the other. Oh, Colin, I was showing Joey this this morning. Isn't this nice? That's our provincial flag, guys. That's Ontario. So that's of course, the, that's a city flag. State uh, province. The province. Yeah, that's a provincial flag. We have the nicest one, so of course we do. Anyway, no. <laughs> Hang on. Let me find. Amazon.com. Here we go. Go. Custom. Okay. 5D Diamond Painting. Oops. Painting Custom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what you do, Mr. Colin. Mm hmm is you go to something like uh this these are custom sorry about it'll adjust sorry so let's say we hit this one it says oh uh 5d do it yourself custom now see this is this is a lady yeah and she's holding up a custom painting that was a custom painting so let's hit that one oh there's how's that's how it looks see 
Oh, wow. Right? Yeah, it's amazing. So this one is 30 by 30. Yeah, you probably wouldn't want that. So what you do, Colin, is you go down. I'm just going to, I'm going to show you, and then you'll know how to do this. Oh, that's square drill. No, you want round drill. Okay. So, Colin, these are the sizes you can get your picture in, okay? You go all the way down, like I would suggest, uh, I don't know, I would suggest at least at least 12 by 16. That's standard size. So, that's 30 by 40, okay? Mm -hmm. so you pick 30 by 40, and then you go, okay, yep, that's awesome. And then, okay, so, Colin, at the top is a button that says customize now, okay? See this? Okay. So I'm just going to show you. Customize now. So browse for a custom image. Photo library. I have lots of those. So, okay, let's just say we were going to do this one. Sure. This is great. Perfect. Small, medium, or larger. Actual, do actual size. Use. Okay, and I got to make it. Uh, yeah, I have to stretch it to completely fill the. That yeah, was a terrible choice, but okay. Just say. Hang on. I picked it because it was the 4th of July. Oh, I can't use that. <laughs> anyway, no, let's find a different picture that's a little bit. I picked a 4th of July picture. looks terrible. So let me pick one that's a little better. Um, do, do, do. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Use. Okay, and it still doesn't want to go stretching out to the, yeah, it still doesn't want to go, but Okay, well, let's just say, okay, I'm just going to show you this. Just, just. Okay. Okay, so yes, that's good. So there, I picked that photo. You take your photo from your library, you stretch it into the space that you want it to be, okay? The whole, it doesn't actually fit because it's not that done that way. Anyway, you pick that image, custom, browse, blah, blah, and then you go add to cart. And when you go to add to cart, Proceed to checkout. Oh, boy. I don't want to order this, but okay. So, um, Mr. Colin, that is about, that size is about $14 US. Wow. That's, that's, awesome. that's cheaper than ordering Diamond Art. Like, this one here was $14.99. And this is for your own custom photo. Now, mine, when I ordered it in Canada, was almost $50. This is 15. So that's how you order it. That's how you do your own. Oh, I wanted to show you this too, Colin. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> I know, so, right? Yeah. So, you know, that's something that I would have to do or that would come already done. You have to find the photo. You have to do it. Right. You have to go on to Amazon. You'll have to, well, you're American, so it'll be easier for you. I'm a Canadian looking on American, so it adds taxes, duty, and everything else when I'm looking at it. But um, oh, yours amazing. won't do that. So you go on there, what I told you, and you type in 5D diamond painting custom photo. And mm -hmm. then you pick your photo. And you, uh, yeah. So I'll show you what's in my Amazon. I'll show you what's in my Amazon, actual Amazon. Uh, yeah, I don't want that. Please don't make me get that because I don't want that. Wow. <laughs> but here, look, Colin, you can see them everywhere. These are all custom. Look, custom, 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 custom. Just pick one that looks like it has a decent price and then yep. get that. I might even consider buying mine from the States from now on because of the difference in the prices. Right. Honestly. Um, mm. Here, I want to show you. This is in my, and I'm sad I don't have it, but oh well. This is in my list for my American Amazon. Look at that. It goes with my white. It goes with my white uh, theme. A beautiful stadium. This is ten dollars US. Okay. Wow. You know what it'll cost me? You want to take a guess what that'll cost me to order from the states to get it to my house? What? Like twenty five, twenty five, twenty six dollars. Mm -hmm. to get that ridiculous because they don't sell it here i'm going to get hit with tax exchange and duty yeah Ugh. no thanks okay anyway delete i'm deleting that oh and this one colin also because this one goes with my um i've told everybody this one goes with my with my my skull 
But that's mm -hmm. the other one that I want. Oh, sorry about that. Hang on. Ah, there you go. My fire horse. Because it looks like my skeleton one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want that one too. But um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with them all, Colin. <laughs> I'm not really sure. My friend, they had a big sale and I got like two or three dollars off each one of these and I couldn't resist. So Yeah, no. Good job. Yeah. I couldn't resist. I had to do it. Um yeah. some of them that I've done now are for Christmas presents. Yes, I buy Christmas presents all year. Um, because I know the people that I buy Christmas presents for and their tastes don't change. So if I see something like I already made one for my kid, you already saw it. So mm -hmm. I made one for him for Christmas. Um, I may actually, cause my brother's into cars and stuff. I may actually give him this for Christmas. That'd be nice. No, I like it too much. I don't know if I really, I mean, I bought it for me, but <laughs> you might have to keep it. Yeah, I don't have to, you know. Um, now, he went to Australia. I might take one of the photographs from Australia that he has and put blow it up into something and make it into a custom one. Yeah, do a koala. I don't know. Koala. You know, like it's, uh And yeah, yeah. These, these are Give very one bad. of our koala bear, a koala bear or something. I do have a picture of him holding a koala bear. Oh, really? um, now the only problem is he won't he won't want to be in the photo that's the problem so, right um, but he has beautiful pictures of the sydney opera house and yeah uh, very i i mean honestly colin i don't find anything cooler personally i don't think there's anything cooler than making a diamond out of your own photograph that you took because no one in the world can ever have it except you I think it's, I think it's, that, that's, that's the coolest part to me is that right there. What I just said. Yeah. So that, that's what captured me, you know, oh, an hour ago when you were talking about it, yep. you know, that that's what captured my heart and soul. For sure. For sure. Like, yeah. Um, I don't know if you know, thrash, thrash metal. It's not called, it's called thrash life. Now he has a horse that he just adopted. Yeah, a little baby horse, and um, he also has another horse. If you could get a photo of the two of those horses together and make it into a custom painting, I mean, what could be more cool than that? Yeah, right? no, I, I I know who you're talking about. I I was on a live chat with him mm -hmm. one night, probably months ago now. He's a very oh, nice guy. Oh but yeah, I mean, oh, what a heart! Cool. What a heart! Yeah, what and a, Dorito. What a you know how I, you know how fond I am of Dorito. Oh, great! Yeah, Dorito. I would yeah. love to take a photo of one of his ATVs and and custom make it for him into a, a diamond art. But those are a lot harder to get away with because I don't. If I'm going to make a diamond art for somebody and it's custom, I don't want them to know that I'm doing it. <laughs> so. I don't want to be asking for photos and stuff because it's like well, I don't need it for anything. Um, you know. Because they'll clue in, so right, right. I don't yeah. want them knowing. You want so. a surprise? Well, it's it's kind of you know it's kind of private. I want I don't oh. want to spoil it, and mm -hmm. you know, oh, tell absolutely. everybody. So yeah, I got all my stuff. That's cool. That's great. Yeah, uh, I know awesome. I have more of them, but nah. that's exciting. Um, so you're going to be busy for quite oh a. Oh my god, I have so much to do. So let me explain to you what you do next. Okay, so let's take the skull. And the skull I bought only because it was the most colorful, cool-looking thing I've ever seen. Actually, you know what? I'll show you what it'll look like when it's done, relatively what it'll look like. Mm -hmm. Buy Amazon.com. See ya. Okay, great. Let's go back to Amazon. There, CA, that's Canada. My orders. And I don't know why it doesn't show that my skull's arriving today when I've got it in the box. That's very weird. Yeah. I have to say that's very strange, but okay. All right, I'll go find it. I know it's in here. Some wow, I can't believe it's not in here. Wow. Um, that's very strange, Colin. Yeah. That, that's, that it that's, would not say that it's here, but okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Maybe it's the one that's not in there. Hang on a sec, Carl. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay, found it. 
It's because I'm stupid and don't know how to open a button, apparently. But that's okay. Not at all. So I want you guys to see this just because of the just because of the coolness factor alone. And I don't know who's here with us, but it's okay. Okay, you ready for this? Look at how cool that is. Wow. Like, just look at the look at the color in it. How do you not love this? Like, I just love it. I just love it. I don't know. I just love it. That's the one I showed you here. Yeah. Here, Colin. There's there. See? Can you see the? Yeah. See? So amazing, this, amazing colors. Aren't they? Like, look at the color. It's so colorful. Like, now I might give this away, but I just love. I mean, the colors in it alone are just wham. They're just so awesome, right? It's electric. Yeah. Uh, it is right. Like it, yeah. look, at, look at how rich those colors are. That's like fat, and it was on sale. So this one particularly, Colin. Yeah, this one was on sale for nine dollars. How do I not buy it at nine? Are you uh, kidding me right now? Absolutely. Um, like it's just so pretty, you know. Oh, and here, Colin, when you order one, usually also you'll see this as well. Now, what this is is this is they show you this. This is the legend. There's your legend. Mm -hmm. And here's your, that's how your colors go. So you can count, there's 19 colors in it. And you can see whether it's symbols, numbers, or letters. Right? You see it in the, see that? So mm -hmm. I know you can't see that, but <laughs> it's really. Um, okay, so Colin, if you ever order a custom one, this is how it will arrive. They all arrived exactly the same, by the way. Like it's amazing. This, it's amazing. They're, they're very, very easy to package. They're very small this way. And you can usually get away like all the, the tray and this and the glue and the diamonds are all in there in the center. See? Oh my so they're God. all sent like this so that they're easy. Look at look how flat these are. These are so easy to mail, right? Yeah, right. And then yeah. what you do, well, I'm going to help you out now and then you won't have to ask me later. So this is the black unicorn. Wow, this is going to be gorgeous. Only 13 colors, but they're rich, rich, rich colors. It'll always show you them. It'll almost always show you the, um, see, there's the, oh, this one has a lot of colors. It's like all the way around. Anyway, this is the one. So what will happen is it'll say it's a diamond painting. It'll give you the, the number of the painting and then the size of the painting. And then inside here, you can see the, you can see the stuff. So what will happen is it will arrive and then you're going to want to, okay, so then after that it, it go you, you unfold it like this. You mm -hmm. take the stuff out, you open it, you unfold it, and you put some books on this. Like usually overnight I can do this and you'll notice all the, all the uh, you'll notice that all the um, things are out. It's mm -hmm. great. Right? Mm -hmm. You leave the plastic on because you just do, trust me, you don't want to, now it's off this, but I'm working on it, but um I've also been doing this a long time too, so I know what I can get away with. But if I lay my arm across this, it's all going to stick and I'm going to have to peel it off my arm. Um, so anyway, your custom one will come roughly this shape. This is 30 by 40. This is a way standard sized diamond painting. All of them are 40 by 30 or 30 by 40. But sometimes you get, you know, sometimes you get... 40 by like that one I made for my kid was 45 by 55. So it's a lot bigger. Like it's a lot bigger. Um, but like I said, most of them, like you can tell already just by what I just said to you. Um, these are all, as you can see, these are all 30 by 40. It's a custom, it's a normal size, right? The custom photo I ordered was also 30 by 40. Because it's just a standard size. And, like, think of it this way, Colin. If you have a bunch of them like I do and you ever decide you want to frame them, well, I can buy a whole crap load of 30 by 40 frames. Like, yeah. the whole bulk of them because I can use them all. Um, I, think, I, think you should, I think you should teach this stuff, you know. I try. Yeah, I think you should uh, you should have classes and, and I do. I have a how to, I have how to videos and Oh really? Uh, yeah, I've taught all kinds of people how to do this. It's really not very hard. I mean, it's it's really quite easy. I think I think it's spectacular to be honest with you. I it's, it's fun. And it's, it's more fun. if more people knew if more people knew that you could 
that you could do your own custom photos. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's what makes it so cool. I'm gobsmacked. Just like, yeah. <laughs> like what if you wanted to, okay, now here, here you go right here. This is what I would do if I, well, I don't know what you're thinking of doing, but just say for the sake of argument. So let's look at Colin's wall. Okay. So I would take a picture of your awesome flag that's there. Maybe put it, lay it beside <laughs> me. Lay, okay. So put the flag down then put your picture of Lincoln on the flag and then put two or three more pictures and take a big photo of it. And it's a collage. And then you have a collage of your stuff and then you make that into a, you make that into a diamond art. So it's not one wow. thing. It's a group of things. Wow. That means something to you. Like if you had, like I have my grandfather's war medals. Uh huh. So I could lay the, I could lay a black, like a black piece of cloth out and I could put all the war medals on it and I could take his war picture and I could take like his uh, patillion in Winnipeg. I could take their photo and then I could make like the World War II, blah, 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 World War One, whatever. And I can mm. make that into a really freaking cool custom art. Oh my gosh. Like just think of stuff, like think of something that you, that that's really meaningful to you and try yeah. to group it with other things like char wants one of her squirrel well i'm not sure that that's really the best idea why wouldn't you put her squirrel up the tree her squirrel with her babies her squirrel drinking water her squirrel and then put them all into one big collage and then make that into a diamond art that would be more cool in my opinion but um i just picked the four chipmunk picture because that's one of the first pictures i ever took Number one, number two, they're all sitting together, which is really hard to do because usually when you put them down, they all want to run in all different directions. Mm -hmm. If you saw my 4th of July video, that was a disaster and that was the best I could do. There was way that more was stuff awesome. that didn't even get published because it was so, it's in my blooper video that'll be coming up though. Man. Well, that was awesome. All the chipmunks all running around and uh, the, the music in the background was Oh, great. yeah, I got a copyright claim for that song. Yeah. I yeah. can't use God Bless America, but I can use the Star Spangled Banner. I will never understand that as long as I oh, live. That's, a, that's unbelievable. unbelievable. You know, that, that's what we were talking about yesterday, too. You know, I yeah. a song one time, 100-year-old folk song that nobody even knows the original author. Right. And, and they probably still have it copyrighted. Yeah, I got copyrighted too. Uh, Give me one second. Just grab a beer. I don't mind if I get a claim. Right. Like a copyright claim, I don't mind. It's the copyright strike I don't want. Yeah. Um, I have six claims now on my channel, but that's fine. I, I mean, the You're stuff I do like that, I don't expect to make money off of. That's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing oh, it because exactly. it's exactly. And any, going anybody. for what I want. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Janice. And anybody with half a brain. Yeah. You know, you know yeah. as you said, you know, you're not, not looking to make money off it, you know. I mean, Colin, you're talking about six videos out of 330 videos. Who cares? That, who yeah. cares? Why, what yeah. do I care? Yeah, no, true. You true. know, um, this is also why, and I've had a couple of people mention it, and I'm not changing it, by the way, so you guys can stop asking me. Um why don't you play YouTube music in the background? And I'm like, you know what? I have heard of so many people getting their streams pulled. I refuse to have any sound in my background. Then there's nothing that they can get me on. Yeah. So it might be boring, but at least it's like nothing would probably tick me off more than having a whole bunch of people on for a live for six hours and having it pulled over a two minute song or something. Yeah. That would awesome. really annoy me. <laughs> like, yeah. why can't you just punish me for the two minutes? Take the two minutes out. Why do you got to punish me my whole stream? You know? You should so much. What is that? You can't fight the law. You can't fight the... Can't fight the corporations. You can't... You just got to... So, I. this is why I don't have any music in any of my lives. Because what's the point? You know, yeah, unless unless it was your own that you you know you yeah you well wrote and created yourself. Yeah, you know? I don't know how to. That's one area I'm not any. I don't know anything about creating music. So yeah, nope, that's not gonna happen. 
but um yeah like the other day i put out a video okay so okay i have a copyright claim from right said fred for i'm too sexy obviously Is i have serious? that no that's okay because that that song i made them a parody because it was the 30th 30 year anniversary of that song coming out so i made that and then joey interviewed them and they did a reaction to my video of their song so it got played again well so i got a, a claim for that and then i did uh sexy and i know it by lmfao and i got a claim from that and then i got a claim for oh can't touch this by mc hammer that i just used the other day um, yeah because everybody loves it and it's awesome so anyway i did that oh and i also have a claim for a short that i did which is really annoying actually but it's a short which is called chipmunk flashes gang signs and it's got a it's got a a rap a rap kind of song in it and then now i have a copyright claim for god bless america i can't even believe that's that. ridiculous it but is ridiculous. ridiculous i get the rest okay those are artists those are huge bands like huge bands they get used all the time i get oh it my and, gosh. but god bless i mean really god bless america what yeah. would you, you know what i almost should go and put that's bullshit that's I know. Bad. I should go back and change it to the Green Day song "Don't Want to Be an American Idiot" and let them copyright that against me, because God bless America. I'm trying to pay tribute to your country, and you're going to give me yeah. a name. Come on, cancel, cancel. Jesus. Like, come Unbelievable. on. Unbelievable. I'm trying yeah. to show respect. Yeah, your you're country. putting that out. You know, yeah, you're 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 putting that out. You're putting that out. You know, from your heart. You know. Yeah. Hello, you live in, in Ontario. You know, you're, you're, you're being patriotic. You yeah. know what I mean? And showing total respect. So, <laughs> I know. And you know, you're going to punish me for it. That's so funny. Yeah. Um, hilarious. Um, I, um, I think I said that in my in my little description. I was like, uh, I said whatever. Uh, thank you. I appreciate because I know you guys don't get to see these analytics. But the reality is that about 30, oh, I don't know. 28 to 30 percent of my of my following is uk now and mm -hmm. about 25 to 30 percent is america canada is about two percent y'all suck by the way uh can't even get people from my own country to follow my channel that's awesome anyway um i put a little i put a little thing on it saying i just wanted to show respect to those who follow my channel and fans of the chipmunks i hope you have a nice fourth of july and then mm -hmm. it says under it it says oh fyi um i used god bless america and got a copyright claim thanks america appreciated because i mean what am i supposed to say yeah it was... they should be honored that i chose to do that <laughs> I mean, yeah and rightly so no, what I... i'm not even american piss off i didn't have to do that yeah you now know. just so you know i can change it and i can i could put the copyrighted song because i can still change it by the way i could put the copyrighted song on the cat video and put the star spangled banner on which is not copyright claimed by the way um i could put the star spangled banner on the july 4th one and have it not be claimed mm -hmm. but that's not the way I filmed it, and that's not the way I wanted my songs to be. So I probably won't change it. But the one with the cat is not, there's no claim on that one. So mm. that's weird. It's still a cut. How can a, how can a, Colin, how can a national anthem of a country not be copyrighted? I don't understand that. Yeah, it's it, it it's for everybody. You Wouldn't know you I mean? think God saved the queen? I'll bet you I can't find God saved the queen that doesn't have a copyright on it. Yeah, you know it's. But the Star Spangled <laughs> Banner. Oh, by the way, Colin, I could not find a copy of O Canada last year that I could use without a copyright claim either. Oh really? So why is it that I can use the American anthem without a claim? 
because the whole world is a mess. That's why. Yeah, no, it's upside down. World, and I use taps. I used the song Taps for my little Memorial Day thing, and I didn't get a strike for it. I didn't get a claim for it. Yeah, I, I have I have a Twitter account, and uh -huh. it's under Colin James Michael McManaman. That's my full name. Okay. Uh, Joey's on there. Um, you know, you might not like everything that I stand for this Saturday. I don't day. care. It's none but of my it, concern. But but for me, it's it's you know it's. You know, it's very patriotic. And I don't judge people, so yeah. Um, as long as that, you're not, as long as you're not hurting anything, or you're not like, as long as you're not physically, you know, like as long as you're not causing harm to anything or anyone, or um, doing something really questionably le legal or no. not legal. No, well, mine, my, my, mines are all down, down your lines of what you're just talking about. You know, yeah, like, like it's truth, um, honesty. Yeah. You know, yeah. call, I don't, call, get, call I don't understand people anymore. Um, not, anyway, let uh, me see this. Oh, and by the way, mm -hmm. Colin, mm -hmm. see this envelope that I got that had my thing in it. Hi, Jules. Okay, babe. Hey, Jules. I, I keep these, and then when I send stuff to people in the states, I wrap everything in these. Right. So that's why squirrel stuff was so well wrapped because it was wrapped in like five of those things. <laughs> yeah, <protected>. used, no, <laughs> fair play, fair play. I, I used all the bubble paper and wrapped all his chocolate because Joey's chocolate leaked on my other stuff because oh, it was all together in a bag. So when I sent squirrel stuff, I individually bagged everything so that it was in little sections so that if one got wrecked or opened or whatever it wouldn't damage the other two mm -hmm. so i did thank joey for that because he taught me that because getting his package taught me that so, so his chocolate melted to, well it was i sent it in friggin summer i should know better uh, than that but yeah. i didn't think of it at the time no of course not i didn't no, think of that. <laughs> Plus, the, the postal system has been so slow. Well, okay, Joey's package took three weeks to get here. He's only a three-hour drive away from me, and it took three weeks. So, yeah. sure. needless to say, unimpressed with that. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, and that has nothing to do with him. It's not his fault, you know. Um, yeah. Meanwhile, though, Colin, I sent, I sent my package to Squirrel. Mm-hmm from Ontario and he lives much farther away than Joey and he got his in three days from my place to his mailbox three days wow I don't know how to I don't know how to it's there's no rhyme or reason or <laughs> as you say the world is upside down it, it, it is I don't understand like we got tornado warnings here last week we don't get tornado dude there's there's been maybe one tornado here in my whole life in 50 mm -hmm. years and it's a fluke. Yeah. But yeah. look at what's happening. Like everything is just falling apart. It's just yeah. Wow. No, absolutely. The, the world's so, going, world's you know, going, the world's going crazy, and it's I, also been. It's not getting better. No. Exactly. Now, right now, our government is fighting right now to um, make. Okay, so our government is fighting right now to have made to make it mandatory that all the teachers before they open back up because our schools have been closed all year just so you know um, they're trying to make it mandatory for all teachers to have their vaccinations but they're not making it mandatory for all the kids the students mm. and the teachers are like well wait a minute um I mean, if I, honestly, Colin, if I was a teacher, I'd, I'd be banging down that line. Like, yeah, are you kidding? You're going to put me near 500 kids? Give me a damn vaccine. Like, I want to build up my resistance now <laughs> before you try. Um, but it's going to come down to it in Canada where if you don't have a vaccine, you're going to have your rights taken away, basically. So they are forcing you without actually forcing you. They're forcing you by taking away everything else so that you can like live in a shack like a hermit or yeah if you want to be a part in a functioning society you will get a vaccine period and you know what it's uh shockingly scary for it what is. you're 
um, because it will be forced. It will be forced upon yeah, the, well, the, you the know people. What? They're trying to eradicate it. And the only way to eradicate it is to get everybody vaccinated against it. It's the only way it's ever going to be gone. And the faster people figure that out, the better off we'll all be. So I got mine. So all I need to say is I will do my best to keep. I've done my part for the people I live with. I've done the best I can do. And for the people that I'm around, I've done the best I can do. And I will continue to try to not be part of the problem. That is where I stand. And everybody else um Colin my own son won't get a vaccine and I have to like people are like well why don't you make him like what okay I he's 28 freaking years old how right. do you what do you what do you want me to do drag him I can't drag, he's an adult I can't make him do anything and honestly if I was in his position because when I thought when I was younger if I was in his position, the more people would try to make me get it, the more resistance I would put up. Like when people told me to quit smoking, I only quit smoking when I was ready to quit smoking. Right. Mm -hmm. Which was two years ago. I know I smoked for 30 friggin' whatever years. It was yeah. my choice. And the more people bugged me about it, the, the less likely it was going to happen. I'm like, stop bugging me about it. Like you're stressing me out. Yeah. When I've had enough, I'll quit. And I did. Yeah. It's got to come from yourself. You know, it's right. called. It's called free will. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. It's so maybe, come. maybe when he realizes that he cannot return to his normal job because he does not have a shot, maybe he'll think about it. But I'm not going to be the one. There, there's. I mean, the only thing I can say to him is, um, I'd really like you to get one. And mm. if he says no, then there's nothing. I can't make him do it. People don't get it. Like, that's like me saying you, okay, Colin, I'm driving down to Virginia right now and I'm going to make you have a shot. Yeah, good luck. Like, right. you, you can't, what am I supposed to do, handcuff him? What, so you can have me arrested? No, thanks. Yeah. I'll just pass on all that. It's his choice. And, um, yes, I mean, the one argument I do have, the one argument I do have is because it's it might be different here than where you are, but um, the Delta variant is wiping out, wiping out, people between 13 and 30 years old and he's in that group and I don't think he has any concept of how dangerous it could be if he catches that um, and I would just like to tell him look um, I shouldn't be burying my own kid like you need to take this very seriously like don't just not do it because you don't want to do it Figure out why you don't want to do it and then think about what the consequences are and maybe you'll change your mind. So the other than that, that's all I can do. I can't say, oh, go get He's just going to say, for you. I'm not doing it. I, I don't blame him. If I was in this position, I would probably say the exact same thing. Nope. He said, I want to wait until more research has been done on it. And I want to wait and make sure that the vaccines that they have are going to protect us against all these uh, variants. He's got a point. I can't really, I can't really argue, you know. Um, also, too, I promised myself that I would never be that kind of a parent that would be do it or else. I don't want to be that kind of parent. And I never have been um, even, uh, you know. Being, being a parent, you, you know. It's hard. You, you naturally worry. Of course you, know, you do. Of course. You worry about, about your. Of course you, know. you do. They're your children. Yeah. I mean, you're supposed to protect them. But then I say, okay, well, you know what? I have done everything I can do. I've tried my best. I've asked him nicely. I've explained why I think he should. I've explained what I think the risks are and the fact that if he gets really sick with it, I will never forgive myself for not trying harder. But the bottom line is it's his choice and there's nothing I can do about that. And I have to accept that. So that's the hard part right there is accepting the fact that you can't make someone do something they don't want to do. That's like, imagine, Colin, it's exactly the same thing. Imagine if your best friend or your kid or your niece or your nephew or your sister or brother, whatever, imagine they were an alcoholic, mm -hmm. terrible alcoholic. Just, just, that's a bad, that's the only example I can think of right now. So they're a terrible alcoholic and you know that what they're doing is killing them. You know, it is. And you do your best and you give them the, you give them the, 
you give them the the real facts on it you give them your personal opinion like look I really don't want to lose you you're really important in my life and I really wish that you would consider I mean I'll help you I'll do whatever I can for you but the bottom line is until they're ready to say they have a problem there's nothing you can do but sit back and just hope that they figure it out before it's too late yeah you got you gotta you gotta ride the ship you gotta ride the seas so you it's know? kind of the same but different because I, I got a lot of friends that are like nope I'm not getting it I don't care what you tell me I don't care what this I don't care what that okay okay that's that's fine um again if I didn't have a if I didn't have a hubby uh if I didn't have a hubby who had a major mass heart surgery a year ago mm -hmm. I would probably feel a little different because I wasn't going to get it I feel the same as my son actually I want to wait and see I don't want to find out in five years everybody who got a Pfizer vaccine is going to die now because the stupid something in it that's anyway whatever well, I think I think uh you know I, I think your your son is expressing uh mm -hmm. great wisdom I think I get what he says and I agree yeah. but I'm in a position where even if I don't want to get it I kind of have to because right. if my if my hubby if my hubby catches that after having open heart surgery a year ago, it will kill yeah, him. Yeah, he's, he's almost done. well because his lungs are still recovering from the freaking surgery. Yeah, yeah, it takes a he's, long time. He's done, and I don't I don't want to be responsible for being the one that catches it and gives it to him. So I did it for that reason, and that again, as I said to my son, that's my choice right like if and also too i mean honestly in all honesty colin if the mm -hmm. if it was reversed and i was the one that had open heart surgery a year ago i would expect i would expect him to get it for my to protect me right so it's the same we were just talking about this do on to others as you would have done on to yourself that was driven into my head all my life mm -hmm. treat others as you want to be treated yeah yeah well, that also, is the, go ahead. I, no, I was just going to say, I also think that uh, we got to be very, very careful of what, you know, what we're listening to mm -hmm. as, as far as uh, the media is concerned, mm -hmm. you know, and it's very easy to be caught up in media reports, you know, yep. yeah. um, and I think we got to, we, we got to, you know, whether you're a God fearing man or woman or not, I yep. think, I think, I think you all always have to pray for that discernment. Yep. Do, do you realize, you know, what's, you know, mm -hmm. what's right, what's wrong, you know? See, because, here, Colin, um, I mean, mm -hmm. you have to realize that we, our country is less than a tenth, less than a tenth of the size of the United States. And um, basically, our government is telling us everything. And I mean, like I said, terrible, Joey, terrible government, Trudeau. Terrible yeah. government. I yeah. know, but I didn't vote for him, first of no. all. Hey, and happy, uh, obviously, happy. I got outvoted because <laughs> he's in power, not for me. Yeah. Uh, I didn't vote liberal. I freaking can't stand the liberals. But like, like his old father before him, you know what I mean? I liked his dad. His dad was a good prime minister. But he's mm -hmm. not his dad. Right. You're talking 40 years difference, 30 years right. difference. Mm -hmm. It's it's just a different time. Um, yeah. When Pierre Trudeau was prime minister, we did not have the technology we have. There was right. no internet. There was no cell phones. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. And then I, 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 I agree that, that Justin... I agree that he is young and I agree that he is not his dad. And I also agree to some point that this pandemic has put every person in power in a very hard position because what, how do you face something that no one in the world has ever faced before? It's very trying. And that is whether you're a good government, you're a good president, you're a bad president, you're a good prime minister, you're a good king, you're a good what everybody's been put into a position of wow, I've never dealt with this. How are we going to get through mm -hmm. this new thing? Um, 
like I said, I don't know if you know the situation, but it comes down to basically if you listen to people that our government, okay, number one, you do realize we have no vaccine making company in our whole entire country. That's the first bad part. Um, we used to have Smith, Klein and Beecham here, but one of our last governments shut it down. Big mistake. Yeah. Uh, so we had the capability, but they took that away. Not our, not the present government, another former government that wants to save money and destroys things that are probably shouldn't be destroyed. You have um, a great, you have a great guy uh, in Ontario in Canada that speaks out about this stuff, and he's a, he's a Catholic, right? Um, I guess so. Yeah, he's a Christian. Uh, guess, his, name, yeah. his name, his name is Kennedy. Hall, okay. Kennedy, H A L L Kennedy Hall, okay. And uh, his uh, he's on the the Fatima Center, okay. F A T I M A, if if I'm correct, the uh, the Fatima okay. Center, and right. uh, he, he he's been he's been posing stuff for a lot of time, mm -hmm. for a, for a long time, um, and he's totally against the. The, the current prime minister, mm -hmm. you know, because of yeah, his, because of his draconian, you know, his lockdown yeah. and stuff um, like that, you know, but, but no, check him out, give him a listen. I, I listen to him, I post him on my Twitter. Cool. And we, uh, Kennedy Hall, the Fatima Center. Um, cool. Yeah. So what He's I speaking. wanted to, what yeah, I go, wanted ahead. to go ahead. What I wanted to say about him, um, you're, you're, and I said the same about, well, I won't say the same about Trump because I'm not having a Trump conversation, but I have nothing good to say about that. So, um, okay. And it doesn't directly affect us, although it started to, but anyway, it's not our country. It's not our president. So whatever. But mm -hmm. so imagine that you're faced with this situation where you're in a position where you do not have the capability to make your own vaccine in your own country and you are faced with having to protect 38 million people that's a lot of stress on a, on anybody um so it's very easy for the other parties now to look back and go oh you should have done this you should have done this but nobody really knows if it would have made any difference it's the other candidates obviously they're obviously going to go against him because they're already different people um oh you should have done this you should have yeah maybe but you know when you're in the midst of a pandemic you can't maybe things don't maybe things don't go exactly right but did anybody do it perfectly right no so i mean they really shouldn't come at him for that now number two colin since okay so this is what happened so they had to secure they had to secure vaccines from other countries because we don't make any ourselves. So what happened was in ordering them all and in having it all screwed up, he ordered them way late. They didn't come in. We're still fighting with, um, who the hell are we fighting with? Moderna, I think, where we were promised X amount of millions of doses a month and they're not filling their, they're not fulfilling their obligation. Mm -hmm. um, it must put a lot of pressure on him because he's he's doing the right things, but the the things, yeah, but they're out of his control. Like if you okay, so Colin, if you say to me, okay, so Colin, I'm gonna order from you. I'm gonna order uh, twenty five thousand. I don't know, uh, humane traps to capture raccoons. Sure, why not? That's good enough. I, and, I think. I think. I, I think. Uh, Janice, I, I think he's an evil man. You think what? Sorry. I, I think he's I think uh, he's an evil evil person. Huh. You know, um, I I don't th I don't think he, he does you use good Canadians any justice at all. You know. Um, yeah. I I, I I I just think he's he's part of a a new world order. Huh. You know that uh, stems you know. From him. It's, it's really, it's really, um, really Jeffrey hard. Sacks. It's really hard to say because. That's I just mean, my, my, my Yeah, I, I didn't vote for him. Um, 
I I lost obviously <laughs> obviously because he's prime and he's a uh, the prime minister, but um, I think I think all over the world people in power have had to make some very very tough decisions and i hope when it's all said and done colin and that's for you that's for the uk every, the africa at the whole world i really hope mm -hmm. we can all look back and figure out how to be prepared next time like how to be prepared how do we get ourselves ready for the next time this comes let's not do this crap again where the whole world goes on hold for two years because that's ridiculous. I mean, there are people, myself, I will never, ever, ever financially recover from this, ever. It's not, uh, ever. I hear you. It's not possible, okay? No, and that's just something we're gonna have to live with. It, 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 You can be pissed off and mad about it, but it's a reality and people need to start looking at what is their new reality because this is the new reality. It's. It's just as long as you're not going to force people, um, like they said, in order to get now, you know, the expression herd immunity, mm -hmm. herd immunity. So they've said in Canada, in order to get herd immunity, we need to have at least 80 percent of the population vac vaccinated. Sounds number like one, lot, like a lot of cattle, you know, yeah. let's, number let's, one. They don't, even, they don't even have a vaccine they can use for kids that are 12 or under. That represents millions of Canadians, kids that are 12 and under. So better fix that first. Secondly, they don't demand that you get it. So what if we always sit at 75%? If we sit at 75%, it's never going to go away, ever. So how do you solve that part? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I hear you. Load like, here. Now, is it like this in the States? Have they gotten most people? Are there, are there big, like, do they have a percentage for you guys of how many people in the United States are fully vaccinated? Like we get those stats every day on the news here. So it's um, probably, uh, probably 50, 50, you know, but see, that's I'm, too low though. I'm one of the ones that uh, does not support the vaccination. You Correct. know, and I will mm -hmm. not, take, I will not take it unless they, you know, strap me down. Well, um, yeah, but I mean, but mean, even the scary thing is that the, it may be forced, like like the guru. That's log. where we're dealing with here because it, yeah, you, you know. may not be able to go back to your own job if you don't. They can demand that you be. And that's my it, worry, Janice, yeah. That's my worry. Yeah, that's my worry. Because it can put your job, like um, my son works, my my hubby works in a restaurant, and uh, I, I, I live alone, Janice. I have no. Yeah. Story. I, I don't know anybody. I have no cousins or uncles or anybody. Yeah, see, there's circumstances like that where it shouldn't. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't be concerned. But like here, they're making it so that if you're not vaccinated, you're not traveling out of the country. You're not going. They won't let you fly without it. So, yeah. well, so you're. They're not giving you a choice. If you want to have a life, you have to have it. Period. Yeah. That's what they're doing. And I, and I know they can say, oh, we're, we're not forcing you. Yeah, you kind of are because you're taking away every freedom we have if we don't get it. Yeah. So you uh, are making us get it. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's a, forced, a forced thing. It's you awful. Know, Re revelations say it, you know, and, you know, the yeah. revelations, you it's know, the, the mark of the beast, you know. Yeah. You know, um, you know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I looked at my situation in my own home and said, I don't have a choice, so I'll do it. Period. That's it. Yeah, well, I have you know, reservations, but I'm, 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 I'm with you. You know, the, you know, that certain point it's, where you know, your husband's just recovering from open heart surgery, which is, and I live with other people also, and I have, I have an elderly person in my house too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, look at the, like, I, I, I just don't have a choice. I could move, but of right. course, if you've seen what's going on with our, and our government won't step in, if you've seen what's going on with our housing market, it's going insane. And 
it's going to get to the plate. It's going to get to the time when people are not going to be able to afford to live anywhere anymore, and we're going to have a homelessness situation. Yeah, but, so, but look, look at it now, also, Janice. You know, mm -hmm. you know, they're, you know, they're they're talking about this uh, new variant. You know what you mentioned. You know, the Delta talking, variant. Yeah. Yeah, they're talking about COVID yeah. twenty one, right? Mm -hmm. And then you know everybody that's had these vaccinations. Uh, or they're not even vaccinations, you know, they're experimental or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, um, they're going to have to get booster shots, you know, um, yeah, then we're talking, about, we're talking about the Johnson and Johnson, you know, <laughs> because, that, because, yeah. that was only, because that was only one shot that yeah. may not be good for the next thing. So what's really going on? I you don't know, know. Not the big conspiracy. Uh, conspiracy yeah, theory. I don't know. I'm like I said, it 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 I had to decide. I always like to try to put myself in other people's positions before I decide right. something. Mm -hmm. Because I have to think, well, what would how would I feel if I was in their shoes? Right. Um and honestly, if I was in my house mm -hmm. and I was the elderly person or I was the person who had just had open heart surgery, I would hope that the other people would have enough respect for me and enough care for me to go, you know what? She had open heart surgery. She, we really should, you know, it'd be, it'll kill her if she gets it. Maybe we should be, so maybe we should be more, you know, thoughtful. So I didn't really get it for myself, Colin. I got it for other people. No, not that, not your heart, your heart. I mean, I, I, I would want them to do it for me. So I can't be a hypocrite and then go, well, I'd want you to do it for me, but I won't do it for you. That's not happening. I'm not that kind of person. So, no, I hear you. so yeah, if it kills me, it kills me. I guess I made, I, I have to live with my decision and I will obviously have to live with my decision. And, um, you know, I will tell you this too, though, Colin, too, just for, just to go with the, the thing about the government again. Um, we have 370,000 shots of Johnson & Johnson that came into our country two months ago. And our health department, our health government, health, Canada Health, whatever they call it, I don't know. Um, they have banned the use of Johnson & Johnson in our country because it does not meet our health standards. So they, they blocked it. So now we're holding 370,000, well, we were holding 370,000 doses that they won't give us. And I mean, the first thing I'm thinking to myself is, well, you guys are bitching at everybody. Let's send them to Africa. They'll take them. Um, these people don't have anything. Like, right. mm -hmm. uh, send them. Give them to, if you're really seriously not going to allow our own country to take them because you think they're not safe, then give them away. Give them to someone else that can use them. What the hell's wrong with you? Like, don't just because you want to be an, a a jerk or whatever, uh, whatever. Um, don't don't deny other countries that are begging for vaccines. Do not deny them the opportunity that if they want to take them, to take them. Like that's. That's now. That's not you just governing us. That's you governing other places, and you don't have that right, right? Like, there's people here, Colin. I don't know if you heard this. There's people here that got the AstraZeneca shot, and they're pretty pissed off, by the way. There's people here who got the AstraZeneca shot, and we're told it's fine and whatever. And now we're finding out that they're not giving them a second shot of AstraZeneca because of the blood clots and shit that it solves. So these people have been given it, telling it being told it's safe, which it's not. And number two, now they're being denied their second dose of AstraZeneca and they have to take Pfizer or Moderna. People are pissed about that. Like you told me this was safe and now you're finding out it's not, but I've already got it in my system. Yeah. So screw you. Good old, um, good old, good old Bill Gates, right? Uh, you know what? There are going to be so many lawsuits. I, dude, I can't even tell you. There are going to be so many lawsuits in this country when this is all said and done by people who have lost people. Um, I'm just going to tell you something, and I don't know why this has happened. I don't have enough information on it, but mm -hmm. get this, okay? 
the very, very first, <laughs> very, very first person that's gotten both Pfizer, uh, both Pfizer vaccines has died of COVID despite being fully vaccinated and they are a 13 year old kid. Mm -hmm. That just happened this week and people are freaking out. Like how the hell does a 13 year old die? First of all, 13 year olds don't just drop dead. Just doesn't, doesn't happen, you know? And this is a fully vaccinated person. If that is the case, Colin, we are all so screwed. It isn't even funny. <laughs> because yeah. if you can go and get a vaccine and it can still kill you, if you catch the disease, we're all screwed. There's a lot more worse bad coming before it gets yeah. a bit better. Um, now they're not, now I said, again, I said, I haven't, they haven't released all the details. There could have been something underlying um but oh my no, god can you imagine being that kid's parents yeah it's a lawsuit first yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's, what are you gonna do right like it's too too off the cuff 13 you know? years old is too young to die too young it's not acceptable yeah you know? um so there's a the, like but there's that kind of stuff and then there's also calling here um the people that were turned away from the hospitals because they were too, um, our, our, our medical system has been stretched beyond capacity. It can't even, it's just starting to recover now with all the people getting vaccinated. But, um, there were people that were turned away from hospitals two, three, and four times, and they've now died of COVID because they couldn't get any help. There's a whole nother line of lawsuits coming. Um, it's not going to be a good scene for many years <laughs> to come yet. Um, I can't even imagine the, the uh, like people getting ready to sue the government, the Trudeau government. Um, because basically... There's going to be a lot of people not around to even have the, the capability or the capacity of uh, suing yeah. the government, you know? Yeah. Do and, you know, uh, Colin, for mm -hmm. the very first time in my life, for the very first time, I mean, people joke about the Canadian Army. You never see them. Uh, we, I mean, okay. we, don't, we don't get invaded or anything. So, um, And plus, we live above the United States, one of the superpowers of the world. So they're, they're, the United States isn't going to let anybody come and screw us up. They're going to protect us. That's the way it is. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Um, yeah. So we don't need to have a big ass army because we don't, nobody invades Canada. It just doesn't happen. But for the very first time, Colin, three or four months ago, our Canadian army was called into my province to airlift patients out of Toronto and take them all over the province to other hospitals just so that we could undo the burden on our Toronto um, hospital system. They built, they, they had parking lots that they used and set up these, these, um, these huge, very simple um, places well, where they could. What was that in, in relation, uh, Janice, to COVID? Yeah because our hospitals got so overwhelmed so fast that doctors were at the point where they had to decide who would live and who wouldn't. So, so our, this, you know, that, oh my gosh, I, I, just a question. Did, did any, anybody see this or was it, you know, cause I, you know, a year and a half ago, you know, when the, the crap started here, you know, uh, you know, especially watching the news up in New York and that, mm -hmm. you know, President Trump, you know, he, he, he uh, brought, you know, a couple of hospital ships up, you know, in the, you know, Hudson Bay, mm -hmm. is that in the other? And, uh, yeah, you could see these there was, colors. There was nobody there. There was nobody there. Oh, no, no, this, we don't, we don't have, um, we don't, we don't have, <laughs> we don't have things like that here. If they say that there's a thing in the Don Valley, that's just a big parking lot place. Um, if they say that there's a big thing, I mean, they have pictures of it. They have people that have been there. They've interviewed doctors and nurses that have been sent there. They don't just report stuff and then make you wonder. Really? They, 
back things up. Yeah, they had a, probably about 200 beds in there because they had to get... So what happened, Colin, is not that they put the COVID people out in the parking lot. What they did was they treated the people who didn't have COVID and got them out the hell of the hospital so that they could put the COVID people in the hospital. Do you see what I mean? So that the other patients that were in the hospital who didn't have COVID wouldn't get it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I, so they I, took, I agree. They took very, them I'm away. Skeptical. I'm very skeptical, Janice. I yeah. understand. But but, uh, but I hear you. Anna. Yeah. They, um, things awesome. are a lot like actually Colin, things are a lot better now with all the people. Like, I don't know if you heard, but, um, Ontario, there's an Ontario clinic last weekend that has set a world record for, and oh. Texas, Texas was the last one, by the way, Texas state, um, did 11,700 and something vaccines in a day. And this place here, it was a COVID, it was a get your vaccine push. And we broke the, we broke the record at over 20,000 vaccines in a day. So as long as stuff like that keeps happening, um, our population of people who have gotten it is going up, 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 like really, like, okay, Colin, here you go. I got my shot in April, April of this year. And in our country, Instead of a that like I know you guys well Joey for instance I'll use Joey sure why not Joey <laughs> Joey got his three weeks after getting his first one he got a shot three weeks later he had his second two weeks later he's got a ninety five percent immunity he's good to go okay our wait time in our country is four months between shots that's not even safe okay. But there's nothing we can do because our government decided, Colin, that if you take this pile of 38 million people, okay, so say 30 million can get a vaccine. Let's take the other 8 million out because there's some kids and then there's just, anyway. Um, so what they decided was it'd be better to give more people one shot than give people one shot, wait three weeks and give them two while others had none. They're trying to stop the spread of it, right? So what they did was they blanketed first shots right across the country so that more people would have a bit of a resistance, like would build a bit of a resistance. So originally, Colin, my shot was April. My next shot was August. Okay, August. And I just received my second shot seven weeks after my first. So it's been moved up nine weeks. That's how much they're blanketing. But see, now, Colin, we just hit stage two of reopen. That wasn't supposed to happen until August, and it's happened, it happened in June. Well, the beginning of July. So, see, we're, we're getting more toward getting our lives back. And that's mm -hmm. what people care about because we've been, like Joey said this morning, if, that, if the kind of crap your government is pulling was pulled on Americans, they, they'd have guns and be storming capitals. Well, we don't do stuff like that. Um, but it's getting to that point where if we don't get some freedom pretty soon, it may turn, it may come to that Yeah. because we've been locked down and we've been obeying the rules and we have no privilege for it. Well, then why did Janice, I waste my time? Janice, when the people are held down, yep. there comes a time when the people will rise up. They will revolt. I, I, I was born and raised in Northern Ireland and, yep. you know, I saw my father, his father. His grandfather, you know, my mother's That's a pretty side. revolty kind of country, isn't it? Wh like whenever, a pretty stand for your rights kind of country. Whenever the people are oppressed, immensely, yeah. they will rise up. Yeah, they will. You know, um, every, I, I pray it doesn't come to it. It I've won't. Seen it, I've seen it. It won't. You, you know? know why? Because it's starting to open up. So if we're certain now... I will say this, Colin, mark my words. If we get opened up in this country and then school, this is where it's really going to, when school starts in September, mm -hmm. if we get another huge outbreak and they try to lock us down, people will revolt. You can no longer, we've done what you asked. We got your vaccines. We got your second vaccine. You've opened us back up. If you ever try to lock us down again, people will not stand for it again there's no way no 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 it won't happen so you watch 
this September, mark my words, that is that is test time. That is crunch time. Yeah, it's a, it's in the balance at the moment. It's you know it's, I mean? yeah. it's as long as they keep opening stuff back up, people are so happy to have some of their freedom back that they don't even want to put up a fight. You know, um, outdoor dining is back. There you go. We got outdoor patios back. That's something. Um, yeah. Outside. <laughs> Yeah, you can't you can't keep lock you can't keep locking people down. We've you been locked up. Keep uh, keeping people in their house. That's you know, been like this all year. Under under this demonic oppression. Yeah, it's it's hard. It is hard. You know I mean, it's, yeah, I it's, do. It's it, you know you know anybody with half a brain, I think. Hey, you know what? Now there have been huge. Of course, obviously, you realize the capital is in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. um and there have been protests there have been many protests and all those people have been arrested and charged and put in jail and yeah we don't have the right to do that beaten, beaten down for for standing up for their own civil rights it's pretty oh. sad i know i agree yeah. but you know you know beaten down for standing up for their own civil rights i i, I, I know not, not be, like be colin afraid. um there are people and this, I don't want to get into this any further, but there are people here that are ready to fight the government for breaking their constitutional rights. Yeah. They're breaking our constant, you know, and I mean, that could be millions of people doing that. So that'll yeah. come. You're taking away my God granted right to be free. Yeah, but Janice, exactly. Right? I agree. I can't, the, 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 that constitution was written. It's for coming. <laughs> it was written for a reason. It works absolutely. And, you know what I mean? I'm breaking so, it. Yeah. So I know, Colin. I, the, I hear you, man. The lady, the lady, and yeah. the the normal citizens like like ourselves. Yeah. We we got to defend that. That that was written in stone. There is. Uh, and you can't have this new world order coming in and trying to yeah. dictate all I can say is that of every individual. All I can say is it's coming. And right now, the most important thing to most of us right now mm -hmm. is just doing what we have to do to get our freedom back. Yes, Amen. sir. Yes, Amen. sir. Yes, sir. You know, um, we will Amen. deal with we will deal with the backlash it will cause after we get our freedom right now everybody is so tired of not being free that we will do whatever we have to do awful, awful to get it back awful. right mm -hmm. but then i don't mind that i told you right now if they try to block us down again people are going to go no way you guys have already locked us down all goddamn year um, parents, parents have had to quit jobs because someone has to stay at home with their kids now because we yeah. live in a country where both parents need to work because everything costs 50 times as much as anywhere else. Mm. So you have to have both people working and now one that can't work because they have, there's no daycares because there's no, you're not allowed to be in groups. So, um, it's going to yeah, come. Yeah. yeah you know? I, I saw it in, uh, as I said before, you know, I saw it in Derry city, Northern Ireland. Oh yeah, where, where I grew up, you know, it was you know when Ireland was partitioned, you know they oh, left yeah. six right. counties, six counties in the north, yep. you know, and mm -hmm. they left the, the the Catholic population and oh yeah, six counties were just tread upon. Yep, you know, yeah. Um, between the the only thing that kept them marching at that time was, you know uh was was the catholic church mm -hmm. you know um but I, I i saw and i had the experience from first first hand um what's the word first hand you know people first, that first -hand there hand experience like being yeah. there first hand okay in those, in those situations, the people raised up. Yeah, they, well, they as I up. said, um, um, let me ask you a question. I know this is really random, 
but is it easy to get a gun in Ireland? Because it's really impossible to get a gun in Canada. There are so many no. restrictions and rules and Janice, crap. Yep. Janice, same yep. situation in Northern Ireland as mm -hmm. what it is is in Canada. Okay, so impossible um, to get a weapon. Okay. Yeah. That uh, you couldn't go into your your local grocery store or your Walmart and buy Not a gun. like the States no. where you can get a gun anywhere, anytime. Yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, you, you can't do that, you no. know. Here it, either. It, it's outlawed, you know what I mean? Yeah, here too. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, you can, but you can, you got to pass like 50 tests. It's just stupid. Nobody in your family can ever have been arrested for anything. Um, you have to have it for a purpose. You have to keep it locked. You have to keep your ammunition X amount of distance from your gun. I mean, it's just rules, 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 you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. This is another reason why, and I hate to say this, mm -hmm. and please don't be messaging me that I'm uneducated and I don't know what I'm talking about. But I mean, I know what happens in the states. I've seen I've seen gun tragedies all the time in the states because everybody's got a gun. Okay, well, it's real easy for the states and people to rise up when they can do it with weapons. We don't have any weapons, okay? And like the only weapon we have is is when we vote, our speech from our vote, which they've yeah. pushed off the election because of all this crap. So there is no election right now. It'll be next year. And bye bye, Mr. Trudeau. You'll be gone. Amen. Um, people can't wait to get him the hell out of there. Get him out of there. Uh, um, and even though people, this is funny too, Colin. People say, oh, well, you know, the states, it's hard. There's only two people running. But you know what? Even though we might have six or seven people running, they're all morons. It's just it, it, just because you guys only have two morons and we have six, it, they're still – now it gets to the point, Colin, where you have to say, okay, I don't like any of them, so who's going to screw up my life the, the least? You Which know what you got to – Go ahead. Sorry, Janice. You, no. know what you, you, know what, you know what you got to – look for is, is is the candidate that loves life yeah we don't have any of those you gotta you gotta look for the candidate that is totally pro-life yeah we don't have any of those they all have hidden agendas and mm. it's really hard like i feel bad for you guys because you only have two morons like you may as well flip a coin really um we, no, it's, we have tough. it's tough it's tough. It is. I know you don't like Donald Trump, but, um, you know, obviously, you know how I stand. He won. And, there must be yeah. people who like him. He won. He, he was robbed. Right. You know, on, on the last one. And any anybody with half a brain that is yeah. not biased. I don't pay a great deal of attention to American politics. Because I'm having enough trouble, <laughs> I'm having enough trouble presently dealing with our own government. Um, oh, I'm, I'm with you. Oh, my <laughs> thoughts, my prayers. Because I yeah. know, I know, I, I listen to a lot of news, and yeah. especially the guy I told you, Kennedy Hall. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Fatima Center. You yeah. Some of his videos. It's He's funny a good because, guy. and yeah. he speaks just like you as well. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, obviously, Colin, in politics, there's always going to be people who believe in their heart of hearts, their way, their side, always. It's always going to be this way. And I mm -hmm. mean, people need to understand that um, people, all people need to understand that everybody is entitled to their own point of view. And yeah. just because they don't have your point of view does not mean they're wrong. They just right. have a different point of view and it doesn't need to be a big argument between people i mean you i'm not talking about you i'm talking about you meaning that you the general public you, you general, anybody general. um people need to people need to realize that you can have a difference of opinion and not go into this huge oh you're a, because you do this you're in the, no you just have different opinions so just agree to disagree and move on like just this is why i don't allow religion or politics on my channel 
No, no, I mean when there's a ton of people. You know what I mean? Like if it gets into a big political or religious battle, I'm shutting my stream off because I don't want to host a everybody's on opposite side thing where it gets to the point where people are arguing and calling each other names and it's yeah like, you know um yeah but that was awful the other week i was on see, uh, that on, okay i wasn't gonna bring that up specifically you remember that that was awful i do and i won't ever have a stream like that i'll 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 axe the that thing off immediately was, before i'll put up with that and i told joey that too i said if it's a it's a good thing this is your stream because if it was mine, it would already be shut off. It would already, yeah, be shut off. you know, it, it, uh, I, I, you know, it took me, took me a few days to get over that. I know. And why do you want to, like, you're supposed to come on the, you're yeah, supposed to come on here, Jules. I'm, I'm taking sorry, your window out because I don't want to keep looking at your window. So, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. and it was so unexpected, you know, I know. I mean? And this is what I tried to explain to him. Why is it like, okay, okay, well, we'll go there. That's fine. Um, why is it like, okay, I've had people, I've had people stalk my channel, Colin. Mm -hmm. I've had my haters. I've had my animal, animal right. activists, even though technically I'm giving them a better life than what they have. But some people yeah. don't agree with that. Anyway, whatever, it's their opinion. Yeah. Um, now, if I had a live stream, just randomly had a live stream, and it's a Saturday, and somebody would come in and start in on me on that, on like out of the like, it wasn't even like we were discussing anything. We were just, we were just moving from my channel to another channel because that was yep. the plan. That's it. Mm -hmm. How does this just turn into immediately someone just coming in and attacking someone? Yeah. Where does this even? How does this even? like i'm still confused how it even happened and i told joey i said listen if we do this again if we do this kind of a stream again and that guy comes into my my stream right he's blocked and banned within three i'm not even listening to that he's gone yeah i wouldn't even give a person an opportunity to do that yeah even even when i was driving to work on monday and tuesday and you were thinking about it, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. It, it, I was so disturbed. So disturbed. Yeah. You know, and, you know. I get it. I would be like, wow, what the hell, dude? What did I do to you? I don't yeah. even, like I said, okay, no, I didn't say it out loud because I didn't want to do that. You have to understand if Joey and I have a stream together, it's Joey and my stream. But if it's on his channel, he can do whatever the hell he wants. And if it's on my exactly. channel... I'll do whatever the hell I want because even though we're doing it together, you can't tread on the other person's on my channel. It's my rules on his. It's his mm -hmm. because Colin, the first thing I wanted to do when this mm -hmm. all happened was mm -hmm. kick him out and block him. But yeah. then I thought, wait a minute, if we were on my channel, I wouldn't want someone to do that. So I text him and said, Hey, if this was my channel, I'd do this. And he said, if you do that on my channel, you will never be a moderator again on my channel. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, I have to respect that because it's his channel, right? Marlon. Hello, Marlon. Marlon. Hello. Hey, Marlon. Good, to sleep. Good night, Marlon. Have a nice sleep. <laughs> Marlon is from the Philippines, Colin. Yeah, Marlon. It's very late there. It's like uh, 11. It's late there. Thank you, Marlon, my friend. I appreciate you coming in. Anyway, Colin, so I thought about that. And yeah. at least I had the sense to ask. And I said, can I do this? And he said, no. And so I didn't. It's, like, it's the same thing. Do on to others. Right? Yeah, I would have killed, I would have right? killed this right Jules, away. are you back yet, Jules? Jules, I don't want to look at your black stream. I want to look at your beautiful face. Come back. Um. Anyway, because of that, I don't know. But if again, if it was my channel, if it was, if it happens on my channel, it's not happening. So. Um, yeah. 
No, I, I, I uh, de definitely, definitely took me back, you know, because, you know, um, yeah, you know, I, I, I don't feel ashamed of anything. That no, I and there wasn't, but now I want to say, hi, Jules. I want to make a point to you, Colin, because I don't want you to think that um, I was totally on your side. And eventually it got, you heard my anger and I'm upset at myself for losing my temper, but I didn't lose my temper for an awful long time. Okay. It takes a lot, but when it gets there, it's not coming down. It, it, it's now up there. Right. And, uh, what I said was, uh, I mean, Joey makes a really good valid point. And when I tell you this, you might go, yeah, I get, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, I wouldn't want it on my channel because a my channel is about animals basically. Joey's is not. Joey's is a interview slash shoot the crap slash talk about whatever show. Uh -huh. Mine is not usually. Mine is more about animals or art or or things. Mine is not geared the way his is. And in all honesty, you guys were having a heated discussion but joey's channel is the place where something like that would be more likely to happen because it's right. just it so okay so i see his point because neither one of you okay neither one of you was threatening the other okay no i i, I was you know i you know i i was only speaking truth right and you know, the, he was the challenge Right. So I mean, Joey made it very clear that neither one of you are really breaking any rules. And because of that, I have to say, yeah, I guess you're right. I, I was being polite, to be yes, honest. Yes, you were. I wouldn't have been as polite, but Yeah, I was being polite, you know. The guy comes you were very the you were very nice. You were very you were I, you had a lot more patience than I would have had because Yeah, but believe me, deep inside my heart, I I didn't have those patience. You know, I know what I mean? But I but, just, you know, when a guy comes on and starts saying Hail Satan and stuff like that there, you yeah, know, I can't, that's it's, just, it's, that's it's not my game. That's not yeah, my no, game. Me either. Now, you know? I don't know if you know this, but I've, I have think I've said it a few times. He was times. messing with you. He's not really a Satanist. Yeah, but that makes it worse, Jules. You know what, Jules? He probably doesn't even have a clue what he's talk, what he was talking about. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Um, he's just got a, a twisted sense of humor and a lot of people on youtube that's do. not that's not a sense of humor um, I, I mean he totally rubbed me the wrong way i will never ever let that guy on a stream that i have ever 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 um so like half joey, here, no, Marlon. Marlon. yeah Thanks, joey Marlon. um Cheers. Hey, the compliment. Um, i concur marlon house. Ah. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice of you Thanks, to Joe. say? Thanks, Marlo. That's very nice. That's very nice of you to say. That's very sweet, Marlon. You're a very sweet, uh -huh. man. Yeah. Um, see, Jules, Joey's sense of humor has taken me a little bit of time to get used to. But I get it now. Um, that, I don't think that topic, though, is one thing that I don't think is funny. No, it's not. Great. It was in poor taste. Of course. Bad form, right? Bad form. So. Like Joey says insulting things to me all the time, but I'm starting to get to learn that that's just a sense of humor. Right. right. It, it but not I hurt help, you know. Well, I hope not because. Just, yeah. yeah. Wash your hands of it and walk away and just say, you yeah. know, it is what it is. Some people just so aren't. What is Miss Jewel doing all. today? It was, it was just. Bad, bad choice of humor. Well, because of that, uh, but right, see, now here's where it becomes not cool, Jules. Now Joey and Mai's plan to have this show every month may not happen because of that. So I hope his sense of humor was good. Was a I didn't see. I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't there. I've heard. Oh, one you should have been there. Now I'm here on the other side. So it was pretty I'm just bad. saying. Yeah. It, yeah, it, but again, you know, like, well, let's I've been on two way. panels where I got heated, and I'm thinking to myself, why did I let myself go there? I should have just clicked out and not looked back. Okay, well, here's, here's my point, Jules. If Joey doesn't even put it published, 
that should tell you everything you need to know. Joey can't even publish it. Yeah. Well, that should tell you because Joey will so, publish anything. Publish it. It's not right? going to do his channel anything positive, right? Well, I'm just saying now, now I will think twice before Joey and I do that show again. So because of that, and I wouldn't have, we were just going to start it. And now I don't know if it'll ever happen. Well, so if, if you don't think that you would be able to do something like that again and not have a way to do well, like, where were the moderators? Channel, That's my question. So. Where were the mods? Why wasn't something done? To nip it in the bud, right off the get go. No, I tried to. I was told. I was told not to. Um, I disagree with that. I think that if you give somebody the power to be a moderator, that you trust them with your channel. Yeah. And if you're not going to give them that, you know, and you can chat privately and ask, "Hey, look, can I please?" But see. This guy, he's got, a, you know, he's well known in that community. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so, what was Joey's real purpose? You know, I don't know, Jules, but I asked before I did it because, yeah. like I said, so if, I mean, I, I love, I, you know, I just love all my YouTube friends. And yeah, I, of course. I hate seeing Discord or, of course, you know, I just can't stand it. But it I happens. Know. It does. I mm -hmm. just try. I try to be the well, bridge. You know. How but, about we? Um, how about I tell you this, Jules? So today I've been teaching I've been teaching Colin how to order uh, custom diamond art. Oh yeah. So he's thinking he's looking through and trying to decide what kind of thing is very important to him, and then we're gonna get him to uh, get a nice. custom diamond art, and oh, he'll yeah. have something uh, one of a kind. Come hang out with us. Yeah. yeah I, have, I have crones. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I actually have a photograph. Back. it's taken you know quite a while ago it's uh it's my grandfather uh -huh. and uh, my uncle oh that's nice and uh you know i think he's already got you're already thinking that's cool yeah all cool, right I, I think he's out you know i think he he'd taken my grandfather out for like his 80th birthday my grandfather <laughs> oh, wow. he was 85 you know god rest wow. his and uh, it's just a nice photograph in an old pub in Ireland. That's you know? nice. That's uh, precious. That's precious. That's even yeah. that. That's awesome. That's your heritage. That that's your lineage. That's yeah. the lineage yeah. right there. That's the connect. That's but, very uh, cool. Exactly. And you know what I would love to do is like you know like you know Janice and I and uh, Jules yourself and us all are talking about now. Yeah. Um, I would love to. Put something like, like that together and send it mm -hmm. because we grew up like brothers. Like today's his 49th birthday. Like mm -hmm. Janice was saying, it's her brother's birthday today, too. Yeah, today, so, yeah, 53 today, my younger brother. Wow, yeah, he's, he's 49 today, you know, and, uh, <laughs> two months, That's two so years cool. older than me. That's but, so cool, though. Yeah, but uh, no, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens, you know, hopefully. I, would I just the, think, and also too, I know Joey. I can't convince Joey that this this is just not his thing, and that's fine. But um, I was gonna say, Colin, even if diamond art is not something that really may not appeal to you, um, I do know very few men that do diamond art. That is true. But I think, think I, about I, think about the joy you would have doing it, knowing that it's something. Per, it's you. It's personal. It's you. And every little I'd be bit afraid, you're doing I'd be is, is a mess it up. What's that? So I, I'd be afraid in case I mess it up. So I might have to. Uh, you can't mess it up. It's way too easy. Tell them, Jules. It's way too easy. You, get, you can't mess so it up, easy. buddy. Really? It's Worst so thing that easy. can happen is one gets stuck where it doesn't belong, but they oh, send you tweezers for here. that. There. Done. Maybe let's pick it off. Yeah, it's not. It's really hard. Now, mind you, it. you're going to spill them. Yeah, you will spill them. You're just gonna spill them. It now. It's part no, of it. No, gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Just pick them and off just and just accept keep going. it, laugh about it, and move on. Yep. Yeah. Do you see, Colin? Do you ever notice that when I do this, I hold this in my hand? You yeah. know why? Because if I don't, it'll flip and I'll get them stuck all over. And then I'll mm -hmm. get annoyed and I'll pick them all off and then I'll keep going. We'll I give spill you mine all the time. 
I'm gonna give you pointers. I'm super slow at it because I can only sit there for so long in one position. Right, and I could do this 15 hours. Until my legs start freaking out. Marlon oh, also yeah. asked you some, yes. a question, Colin. Yes, go ahead. It's Marlon, just, Marlon just asked you if you would uh, stop by and give him a, a hello. On his channel. Yeah. Yeah, uh, absolutely. What's, what's Mar Marlon's channel? Just like it's spelled. Just spell it like it is there and you'll find him. He's got many, many subscribers. Very happy face. On Very YouTube? Very nice music. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Hang on. I'm going to get another screen up here. Yeah, so he he's said, on. You can visit my house too, sir. Call absolutely. Him. Absolutely. Mr. Marlon. Yeah, I don't know if Colin follows me either. I didn't ask. So. I do. Yeah, I oh, do. Oh, wonderful. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm subscribed to you. That's how I see you coming on every other day. See? Yeah. There you go. Hang now, on. actually, um, Miss Jules, hmm? Ashley told me this morning that YouTube had unsubbed her from me because she didn't get my notifications. It happens. It does happen way too much. It's annoying. It's frustrating. It is because, I mean, I can't remember all the people I sub to. Are you kidding me right now? You know, that's why, you know, anytime I'm uh, on here, I always go to live and see what who's live when. Yeah, me too. And this morning, there were six people live when I signed on. Six. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? Doesn't matter. I got to go do my show. Do your I, thing, I Chicken Wang. Hmm? Do your thing, Chicken Wang. I had to. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just uh, subscribed to Mar Marlon. Mm -hmm. Hi, Char, sweetheart. He's in the Fi he's in the Philippines. Yeah, awesome. Great people in the Philippines. You know, Great on people. his channel, he he's about growing other people's channels. Yeah, he's an outsider. Hi, hon, I'm back. I have a headache. Get your glasses, Char. How are yes, you? Yes, Char. I have seen you done more. How are the chipmunks? Angels fine. Boots is fine. Buttons is crazy. Give them all a treat. I will when they deserve it. No, I'm kidding. That's I princess. She didn't That's see her today. Hi, she didn't see her today. Oh, I thought she was going to try. Yeah, she didn't see her, but oh, I'm sorry. she doesn't always see her when she goes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes she doesn't get to see her. So, And you guys know that it's dinner in half an hour anyway, so... Mm -hmm. Another Don't thing that I, and I've told people this as well, um, except for the time when Char was here, Charlene, except for the time when Char was here and she was in dire trouble, I will leave at 4.30. I don't care if there's 100 people here. I'm leaving. It's, right. it's the one stable thing in my life, and I have to keep it. Right? I have to. So... Um, yeah, I don't even know, but okay, Jules. <laughs> My family's lucky they get fed a meal every day. It yeah. ain't on time. It's hot. It's yummy. I know, it's right? Really late. <laughs> oh, and you know what else? Fit. I and was ain't showing, nobody starving up in this house. No, I was showing Colin the um, fabulous food that we get here. I like comparing fish and chip meals because fish and chip meals like you saw the one that nick got oh my god that's like total english fish and chips like oh, yeah. oh my god yum delish right mm -hmm. um but then i showed colin the one from here from canada and he said that the best place he'd have had fish and chips was pennsylvania yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. gettysburg yeah yeah old irish bar up there oh, yeah that's so yeah. cool and, uh, it's so amazing how different they are from diff it's fish and chips. I mean, it's fish and chips. It's, yeah. But everybody does them but so. It has to be prepared properly, and the fish oh, yeah. needs to be as fresh as exactly. possible. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, Jules. Here, Jules. I want you to fresh see oil now to if I can find anything under all this crap. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I found Aww. it. What? Char done visited. Yes. Um. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Sharing the love, I love it. So, oh, here. Um, Jules, you didn't see this, my dear. Sorry. It's okay. I've had a complete okay. here, fiasco. Look, I got this hours. today. 
Hang on. Oh, girly. look at Hang that. Hang on, girly. Hang on. Uh, it's this one there and there. There. Okay. There I, have to, I have to say a naughty word. That is badass. Look yeah. at Jules. Look. And oh. Colin said it too. Look at, look at the pattern. Look at. That was badass. Oh, that's going to keep you busy. That's beautiful though, right? It's all over the place. Isn't it pretty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Um, anyway, that's not what I wanted to show you. <laughs> but was, yeah. that's pretty that's pretty awesome, yeah. I wanted to show I just had fish and chips a few weeks ago. I always take pictures of my food. So what when, when the dietitian bugs me, I can say, Here, here's what I ate. Shut up. Don't bug me. Char. Oh my god, here, Char, this is for you. Here you go, baby. There's boots, Char. Mom, hey. look how cute. There you go. She hmm. says, I didn't see Princess today. But I saw other squirrels and they ate, they had food, but I did see Princess. Mm -hmm. Um, and she let me pet her and drink water That's and eat my day. walnuts. So there uh -huh. we go. Thanks, Marlon. Okay, so anyway, I want to show you this, Jules, because it's it's good. I don't know. Because Char never takes pictures of her fish and chips, so I don't know what they look like, but I know ours are badass. Ours are really good. You're um, lucky. You're so lucky. You know what? And Colin, I got to tell you here. I live at least. I live. Li I live near at least six fish and chip places, and they're all really good. <laughs> Do you know what? I, I remember. I remember years ago. You know, growing up in Ireland. You know, we used to walk down the street, and uh, there was like a a trailer at the side of the road, and the trailer was transformed and they like a fish and chip shop, right? Yum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and used to go down, and there were some couple of guys in there, you know, yep. and uh, they were just buying up fish and chips and battered sausages, you know what yeah, I mean? I don't know, Jules. I can't find it for some and reason. Scotch eggs, you know what yeah. I mean? And it was the best, you know. You put on. I've never had a scotch. Are they good? Yeah, you put on a lot of salt on there, and you know, malt vinegar. Jules, I found it. My grandmother. Oh, are you ready? Mm -hmm. This is our fish and chips. Whoa. Yummy. I love that. I love the haddock. Batter. This is haddock oh. and, and homemade coleslaw and beef gravy and wonderful crispy french fries. Wow. Okay. And you get a drink, Jules, and it's 11 bucks. Where's the malt vinegar and lemon? It's on the side, not in the pack. Hey, there you go. But the I got them both. The, ba the <laughs> batter, the batter, and that fish looks. Oh, looks and I ordered fish and chips from a restaurant in town here. Yeah. And I said, "Do you have any malt vinegar?" And they're like, "Huh?" Oh my god! I'd have left. I'd have walked out of the door. I said, already. "We don't have Bye. malt vinegar." They go, "What's Bye. that?" We have regular vinegar. I said, "No." No, you don't. No fish and you chips. You serve malt vinegar, vinegar with fish and chips. Am I in New England? Have I? Am yeah, I just? Hello. How do you this not is New know England. That? How do you not know that you serve malt vinegar? I would have left, Jules. I would have. Oh, oh my God! I was hungry, me. Janice. I understand, but do you know what? I, I bought it in abundance. That's the same one I have. That's oh funny. wow, wonderful! Yeah, it's only three. Well, three three bucks. That's not know? bad. Yeah, but I, I, I bought like six bottles because it doesn't go bad. You. It doesn't go bad, you know what I mean? No. And it's oh always nice God. to have, right? We're actually having I fish. Love it. Yeah, we're having fish for supper, so nice. not fish and chips, homemade like home like actually cooked at home fish, but yeah. Um well if I yeah. ever eat there again, I just take my own malt vinegar. Yeah, that's I just put it in my purse. Yeah. Take it with me. I just what? don't know how they could not like. I just that just seems like a crime. <laughs> <laughs> no, I you know what I mean? Like I, it's uh, evil. Like, like, a big time <laughs> crime. That's Ugh, crazy. Just like you call yourselves New Englanders, really? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's terrible. I so said, "What is everybody doing?" We had eight salt big. fish and chips. And even in California, they knew you serve malt vinegar. Of with course your you do. And chips. Yeah. Oh, be like, where have these people been? Oh my God, Jules, that's it's crazy. Just, so my channel will be an eclectic mix of international cooking. Uh, I want to delve into. 
Okay. And spot a feature of a dessert and a main meal, maybe mm. whatever, um, from different countries. Cool. But it will have a lot of baking and it will have a lot of cooking. Mm. But I want to have other stuff on there too. I just can't figure oh. out what to put in there and how to incorporate it. Like maybe do whatever one day a week, do something. Jules, my channel is nowhere near what it started out as. It just, you change as it, you, you just change it and adapt as you go. Right? It evolves. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. Pace and gallery speed. You just know really I mean? have no choice. You got to roll with the times, right? Yep. So I'm yeah. trying to think what I can do for my first video. You should do an introduction to you in your first video. There you go. There well, of you course, go. but what am I? You know, I mean, I, I can't throw everything at him at once. That's just silly. Just explain I can give are. him an overview. And yeah. another thing, Jules, mm -hmm. another thing you're going to want to do is make, okay, you want to make an actual video of you and who you are and stuff. Make a short of you because that could hit the short shelf and make it uh, very short and make it so that it's like, hey, come, you know, this is what my channel's about. Come on, join us, blah, 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 blah. And you yeah. never know. You may, that may hit the shelf and you'll just go wham. Like it'll just be like all these people coming to see, because you just need people. So you should do that. Trust me. 30 seconds. It's, and film it the right direction. Don't film it. I have lots of that. people already. Many yeah, don't know, sub to me that I know already that would I know once I start putting content out there, my 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 subs are just gonna go boom. Well because that's I'm nice finally view. having content. You know what that's I'm saying? Good, though. Well, it'll be fine, I think. I would yeah. be I would be most appreciated. Yeah. Whether they go in every week and watch what I do or not, I don't care. Right. It would be nice, but you know, I'm still gonna do what I'm gonna do. But I would yeah. like to maybe feature, like I sew, I do embroidery, mm -hmm. I, I do crafts, I can sketch. I mean, there's a lot of different things that I can do. I can fix stuff. So just trying to incorporate a few of those things in, like maybe once a month do a craft and tell everybody ahead of time, look, mm -hmm. this is what we're making. Go get yourself some of this, and we're going to sit and we're going to do this thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So um, just something like that. I But as far as I think, I mean, cooking seems to be my forte. Baking yeah, more yeah. so than cooking, actually, if I had to be honest. But I hate my kitchen. It's super small. I it's baking. ridiculous. Huh? I would watch baking. Baking is something I definitely, I um, don't do that's it, my thing. Yeah, I would watch I also, it. Yeah, huh? I would watch it. Yeah. Um, also, I, I, I love to, I, I mean, I do like to cook, but my, I think my favorite thing to cook is probably Mexican food, if you can believe is that. Is Mexican? Oh, love it. Oh, yeah. And I'm cool. pretty good at it. That's kind of cool, Jules. I yeah, think and here in New England, you can't find good Mexican food. Oh, so of course not. That's figures. I have to bring it myself. It's like my Fort Collins is in uh, yeah. it, where he is, and he can't in, in and he can't find any decent fish and chips. Like, well, there you go. It's ridiculous. So, <laughs> and and you know what I'm gonna start off with, and I know you guys <laughs> probably think I'm sappy, but I want to do. Um, I'm sorry, I'm so sick. I want to do a. a you start with my family, my lineage, and pick a country Ooh. that one of my ancestors is from. Cool. And highlight, like for Denmark, I would do Abel's Keepers. Cool. That could be a, technically a breakfast dessert. It's kind of like a beignet, okay. but it's a little different. So okay. they're, they're basically Danish pancakes, but they're filled with something, and they look like little round balls. That's cool. And you fry them. They're like fried in a, a cast iron skillet that's made especially for those. That's so cool. So I want to do, you know, so, and then for the dinner, like, I would have to find a Danish food. And like for my Swedish ancestors, I would probably do like Swedish people. So Scandinavian. 
<laughs> and yeah. Norway, I've got to find some Norway recipes. Because I, I didn't even know I had Norwegian in me until a couple years that's ago. That's funny. I have a uh, German and Dutch background. Um, that's cool. I guess. <laughs> Um, I yeah. have uh, the Baltic states, whatever that is, uh, Ashkenazi Jew, okay. Ashkenazi Jewish. Um, I have Scottish and I have English. Cool. Hey, you like so, the yes. you like I, have, I have one or two ancestors that are from Ireland, I believe. Cool. There we are. Hey, so, we're all connected. Hey. Unite the clan! We're all brothers and sisters. That's what I'm saying. Ooh. I Ooh. Yeah. I like that. I didn't even think about incorporating the name clan into my name. Yeah. Be careful. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I like it, but then as soon as I thought you got to be careful. I yes, you are correct. I, see, my head didn't even go there. That's yeah. that's what's so sad to me. When I hear clan, my head goes. Yeah, I don't think anything good. So, and I think of my clan, the Macintosh and the Stewarts, okay. and yeah. Okay, well, no, I think of terrible things when I hear that. So, yeah, but um, you know, it's it's not a bad thing to unite no. the clans because no. back back in the day, back in those old days of history, you mm -hmm. know, it, it was the clans, you know, the Macintosh, you know. Yeah, you know yeah. whoever it was, you know, they mm -hmm. they had a fight. Yeah. they had a, they had a fight for survival of under a, under a, uh, an English king mm -hmm. at that time. So mm -hmm. I, you know, and I I relate to this because you know being from Northern Ireland, right. we had, you guys had the same thing going on for a while. Yeah, we had, we had to do the same. You know, yep, and, right? I get so, it. Scotland and Northern Ireland are, are, you know, are very, very tight for the yep. most aspect, right. um, you know, um, because we had to unite the clans. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was Bonnie more. Prince Charlie. There you are. Eh? Who was basically worthless. But what do I know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it, but you know the odds were against him from the get go, and God bless him for having the valor and fight they did in their heart. Mm. They didn't give up. Can you imagine? They probably easily could have, and probably should have, but mm. no, it's not in them, and it's not in me. I'm not a quitter, man. I'm a fighter. You know, you know, years, 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 and years ago, go back, come back into the the penal laws times uh, in Ireland. You know. Um, you know, a priest couldn't say mass, right? right. And uh, there's there's one particular, you know, thing that I know about and I have seen. Um, you know, the priests they used to they used to say like a like a mass, but they couldn't say it like in a church. They had to go out into the fields, hmm. and they yeah. called them they called them mass rocks. You know, so I, I guess they found like a big, a big. Yeah, rock. they made their own altar out of rocks. That kind of exactly. thing. Exactly. Exactly. No, I'm not definitely. I'm not Catholic, but I know a little bit about like what happened. Okay, so like for my ancestors in Scotland to go to worship, and I know this because my sister, when she went to Scotland two years ago, mm -hmm. she met up with one of our distant cousins. We're related cool. to him, and he took her to the cemetery, to the church where my ancestors are buried and where my ancestors went to wow. church. That's and true. they were not allowed to enter the front of the church. They were wow. considered lesser than because they were coal miners and they were poor. Right. And what they would do is they were oppressed. Like they would have such high um, stuff. Like they would get charged so much money to have... Mm -hmm. Even if they were like trying to be independent, yeah. they never could were, were really allowed to be because they were financially oppressed by those that had the power to make them that way. By the union? And they kept them that way. On purpose. Uh -huh. So my ancestors left there and came here because yeah. they saw a chance to, to have a better life. But they used to have to go, and my sister walked these steps 
up cool. the back steps, and I have video footage of this, to the church, to the, it, like it was in the balcony and it was way behind, where they had to sit because they weren't worthy to sit down in the congregation right. in the church. It's amazing how, um, it's it's just amazing how. <laughs> History, you know. It's, yeah, it's I just, it's a just amazing how things, how, I just don't even know. I don't have words. Like, Jules, that's ridiculous. Okay, I, I get it. That's okay. the way it was. And it still I know. is. So I, like, I, this I, is what they did to the slaves when they freed the wow. slaves here. It's so Like, wrong. they said, okay, so you can have. Um, they would say, you can have a piece of land to work mm -hmm. when they were freed. And they would have that piece of land to work. But yeah. they would, um, like they didn't have the funds. to. They would have to borrow money right, in order right. to get the seeds to plant, so to speak. So they would borrow the money, but they would have to tack on such a high interest that yeah, they could right. never really get ahead like they kept them down yeah, here I get it. the yeah. same thing happened to my ancestors in scotland right. with uh -huh. the coal mines right. so and then that's just that's crap man so why did people come to america so long ago religious freedom of course uh, freedom from oppression some people yeah. were sent as indentured servants yeah. Some people were sent here at, because they were the less desirables, in other words, prisoners. And it was oh, like yeah, a prison right, sentence yeah. for them. Yeah. They did the same thing. They shipped people off to Australia. Oh, my gosh. Ba Van Diemen's the same land. thing. My gosh. Yeah. That was horrible. Just to get out of the tyranny of a monarchy. Yeah. And that's what it was. Have yeah. freedoms. Do you, do you know a very, a very strange phenomenon? Um I was just chatting about the mass rocks, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and years ago. There's a place, you know, since I was a again a young boy, you know, I'm my mother. She, she used to drive a Ford Escort, you know, years ago. <laughs> yeah. We used to head, we used to head down to the beach, you know, but there was a, a place they called Father Hegarty's Rock, right? Mm -hmm. And it, it it's in a a place. And uh, it's in Donegal, but you know Donegal's in the north of Ireland, but yes. not not a northern. It's considered you know republic, right? Yeah. Republic of Ireland, but Father Hegarty's Rock, and the history of it was Father Hegarty was out saying mass on on one of those rocks, and uh, the red coats, you know, just. Just like in the Revolutionary War, you know, uh, the redcoats came in and uh, you know they they invaded the mass and they captured them and they they, they chopped his head off, they cut his head off, they oh, decapitated no. him, and his head fell, you know, yeah. on on the rock. But you know, it's very 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 strange to this day. You know, if you, if you're going down the Baller Hegarty's Rock, you mm. can't see it. You can't see it from a distance, right? But okay. if if you come run, you know, if you come run at a different angle, there's a cross on that mm. rock where Fowler Hegarty's head hit. Wow. Uh, after the red coats decapitated, mm -hmm. and that, that yeah, that that that's in Stragil. It's called Stragil. Stragil, uh, S T R A G I L. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's in Stragil. That, that's that's Full that's floor, a true, I think. That's a true fact. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's cool. It. I made. Hey, I made. You know what? Mm -hmm. I got one more. I got one more uh, war fact thingy thing to uh, share with you, and then I guess it's uh, yeah, almost, uh, time, for, almost time for dinner. Time, so time. my grandfather got a. It's not a purple heart. What the hell is it called? He got a medal, medal of honor, of some sort. Yeah, a medal wounded, of honor. Thank you for wounded. My grandfather. Um, 
he got a medal of honor for uncovering a German crow's nest. Wow. Nice. In the, uh, yeah, I know, I have it. It's That's quite, a big deal right there. It sure is, man. <laughs> That's a big deal. That, I know. that could make or break the war right there. Some of those oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was very proud of that. Absolutely. Um, I didn't get to meet him, but it's not really the point. There were a lot of, like, a lot of people don't realize, like, there's Hadrian's Wall in uh, Scotland, uh, England. It's like the border. Yeah, that's how it's like a wall, wall, and it was built. Yeah, it's very old. Mm. Yeah. There were a lot of um, Scandinavian Viking conquerors that came, yep. and they bred with, the, like they, of course, rape, pillage, plunder. You know, of course. And uh, so a lot of people think, you know, like, well, I'm. 100% Scottish, or I'm 100% English. Like, yeah, but you're you know, not. Yeah. You really, really hard. So, wait, wait, there's a lot, so much history there, and and like, much like Scotland, um, and with the um, coal mining and the, you, you take um, the slaves and the land, working the land, um, Ireland and the potato famine. Ireland, they had this. The serfs and the lords, and they had to pay their rents on the, the the land. Yep. And if they didn't, if they couldn't pay those, they were kicked out. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah. Yep. And so a lot of them came here. Yeah, exactly. So if you look, if you look back in those, you know, like eighteen forty-seven, you Again, know that oppression. Keep them down. Ireland, Ireland had a population of nine million. Mm -hmm. You know, now it's a population of five million, maybe a little bit more. Well, and I think a lot of that, like you said, had to do with famine, disease. Yeah, two million, two million. to come here to the States. And also, um, you have to factor in there. Um, oh, God. Yeah, two, two, you know, two million died in the famine and then... The rest the, immigrants. The, the either, either that happened, the happened. Wars, the war, yeah. north and yeah. south. So I mean, there's yeah, there's yeah, no, yeah. Right. You know, you know, two million died, and like you said earlier on, Jules. You know, um, a lot, a lot, of, wars, a, lot of, a, a lot of them went the uh, wars of Australia, or else you know, yes. came, came west yes. of the United States exactly. So Australia is kind of like, like you are with Scotland. America is kind of like that with Australia in mm -hmm. terms of history and why people were shipped there, why they went there. Um, yeah, very similar. The Australia, Australia mostly back in, back in the day and, you know, it was, they, they, shipped out the, they shipped out a lot of criminals. Yes, they did, and indentured servants. Yeah, and they and called indentured the servants were basically slaves. In yeah, other they words, they owed a tax or a fine they couldn't pay. They may right. not have been a criminal, but they owed. And so, yeah. to pay their debt, they would basically get sold off into indentured servancy. I don't know if I said that right. And then they they have to work off their their time yeah, to pay off that. How much? How much? Whoever bought them, basically, is slavery. Yeah, no, it's true. Just has a different name put on it. That's all. They called it Van Diemen's Land. You know, if uh, if you ever look up a song uh, on YouTube, it's called Back Home in Derry. Back Home and, in Derry. Uh, yeah. As in uh, Derry Gold Butter. Like uh, D E E R Y, D E R R Y, D E E W E R Y, Dairy, Dairy, D E E R Y. Oh, I thought it was uh, D -E -R -Y. back home in Dairy. Uh, Christy Moore sings it, or else you know. Um, but no, it's it, it's a history of what Jules talked about. You know, uh, Van Diemen's Land. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I mean, the Irish population when they first migrated here were very much looked down on and frowned upon. Oh, and they had a bad rap. They had a bad reputation. 
and it wasn't their fault per se they were just victim of circumstance and they did their best to struggle and survive here when they got here it was the same for many immigrants that came here but i think the irish were some of the ones that had it the worst but there were many people brought here against their will so the civil war and that slavery was not the first slavery that appeared in this country exactly 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 and it's wrong i mean no human being should ever own another human being that's just mm -hmm. wrong and, you know it's ethically wrong so. agreed agreed but you can't change history all you can do is learn from it and try to make things better in the there you go there you go and uh who, who's those famous words from you know you can't change history but you know what we can learn i don't know i just threw that out there is that somebody yeah, yeah. is that a no. quote Sorry. yeah yeah it is it is i gotta look it up well, so my I dear. Heard it at some point and i probably agreed with it but I'm just speaking for, you know, just, just saying the only thing it's a fact. I was, you I was change it, but you can learn from it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, I was it's always like Rafiki in the Lion King when he bops them over the head. <laughs> yeah. It still hurts. You're going to remember it, but what did you learn from it? You know, yeah. I was always intrigued by the cool man in the past. Right. Yeah. I was always intrigued, like you were talking about earlier, uh, Jules, by the coal miners, especially yeah. in my early days, you know, coming into Pennsylvania back in the, the 80s, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, by accident, I was thrown in the total coal mine country. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. And, and the Molly Maguires, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it was, you know, just it was man. a hard hard life yeah it was a hard life my grandfather died my okay so he was my great grandfather nickel hood mm -hmm. who incidentally his forefathers are the ones that we believe came from ireland to scotland to mm -hmm. be a coal miner for work went there for work so i don't think that their roots started in scotland Last name was Hood, H O O D. Let's mm -hmm. with Hood. Yeah, but yeah, they they um they were coal miners and they were dirt poor. He died from um, kidney failure yeah. and never touched a drink of alcohol in his life. Yeah, that's so You know, he yeah. never drank alcohol, but it was from drinking the water near the mines where he worked the coal. Terrible. It was toxic. Terrible. It was toxic and his liver couldn't process it. But he sure. played bagpipes and he was oh, in wow. the Scottish community in okay, the I hate to break up it. your uh, I hate to break up your discussion. I would highly say that Jules get your damn channel up so Colin can come and hang and you guys can continue your conversation. That's what I think. Well, if you're down for that, I'm your Huckleberry. <laughs> you got a private message in there. What's what's in there? I have a private message. Oh, it was Char. Oh, it was it was yeah. Okay, gotcha. Never mind. Yes, I must go have dinner, my dear. So I cannot be a, a go hypocrite. eat. We don't want you to blow away with the next big wind that comes. Yeah, I wish I could blow away with like in my wedding photo when I wear it weighs like a hundred. Yeah, I don't pounds. want to talk about it. You could anchor. Yeah, I could anchor a ship down. Okay. So depressing. <laughs> and the thing is, in those days, I ate wherever the hell I wanted, and it isn't that crazy how that works. Yeah, we know that's not how it is anymore. So, um, anyway, my friends, thanks for coming. I appreciate Bye, you. Bye, Char. Chipmunks appreciate you, Char. We appreciate yeah. you, Colin. Thanks for hanging. It was a lovely conversation. Absolutely. I will try to. Um, yeah, I will try to continue to bring you guys cool chipmunk crap i have six videos ready for you guys by the way yeah um i think the next one i would like to release to you is the video of the chipmunk
custom photo from color one to 30. One photo at a time. Boom, 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 boom. Gotcha. From no colors to fully done. So, Sounds interesting. Go. What time is it? Oh, goodness. It is 4.30 and I must go. So oh, thank you goodness. all again. I don't know when my next show is. Probably two days. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys then. Have a nice evening. All right, so she's you're ending the stream, right? Yes. Okay, so when you said I thought you meant you wanted me to hang out and keep it open. All right. Oh no, I'm gonna I'm axing it because last time I left it All up, right, I got heart. in trouble. I got you, <laughs> Colin. I'll talk to you later. All I'm right. gonna go. I'm All gonna right, go Jack. find somewhere else to hang out for a few, and then I gotta start. Peace, 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 peace. Thank you guys. Love y'all. God bless.